Hello everyone! Welcome back to completing the living decks in Pokemon Emerald. Today, we're just probably gonna play a lot of Fire Red Leaf Green. Which, um, I know we've already done a lot of that today, or the past couple of days, but I forgot about the small fact that you only get one fossil. So we're gonna have to play through the game until I can get another fossil in a copy of Fire Red. But we still have some stuff that we have to do in this game, so we're gonna take care of that today. We have a list of, uh, a pretty decent list of encounters that I need to grab. Um, and it should be, in theory, not that bad. It's nothing hard to catch, it's nothing really that too rare to find. But we still need to find them. Um, and we also have to get some other special guys, like Unknown. Which won't take long either, but... Oh wait, actually, now that I look at that, it's really not that much. We're probably just gonna play Fire Red today. <laughs> um, but yeah, I say we just kind of jump into it. Uh, first one, yeah, I guess first one is Unknown. So let's go do that. Uh, right, gotta go here. So, chat, my- I had a, a party last night. I had about like 15 people show up um, for the Super Bowl. It was fun. I didn't really drink, to be honest with you. Because I was like, man, I gotta be up at like 8 to stream tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, mm mm. Not happening. Not happening. I also wasn't in the mood. I'm gonna be honest, Chad. I'm I'm a social drinker. I only do it if everybody else is, and nobody was like, "Yeah, let's get crazy." So I didn't want to get crazy either. Drinking isn't even fun. Uh, I think it is if you're around the right people. I was all by myself and bored. You should have come over. Hello, sir. This island! I don't care, actually. I don't. You can't even pay me to care. Uh... I have none? What? Oh, boy. Alright, Chad, can you type one one more time? I just want to make sure the delay is not bad. Oh, pfft. we're good. We're chilling. Alright guys, now we can actually play. <laughs> so, uh, this is one of the things I needed. Cool. Problem solved. Yeah, that's that's a really rare occurrence, but sometimes just when you go live, Twitch is like, Oh, that's weird. You've only been doing it every day. I know, it looks shiny. Same with, uh, Dratini. <laughs> I love that you guys committed to the bit when when Beth showed up to stream and I was encountering the Dratini and she's like, John, why are you not freaking out right now? That's a shiny. That was probably one of the funniest things of stream yesterday. Is she just did not understand why I didn't care. <laughs> ah, yeah, it wasn't shiny, Beth. That's just what it looks like in this game. <laughs> wow. It really stuck. I thought you caught on eventually. That's wild. That is crazy. Anyways. Oh, actually, on a side note, can I show you guys the Pokedex in this game? Because I know that may not seem like an exciting thing to show you, but did you know that the Pokedex is, like, really weird in this game? So you have, like, the numerical mode for Kanto, right? You have the whole, you know, the whole 151 from Kanto, right? Then, after you get the 60 Pokemon, you have the national decks. Oh, you know, it doesn't go all the way around. But yeah, here's the whole national decks. But then they do a habitat decks, where it's just like, it's every Pokemon, but it's Pokemon just like based on where they think that they would be. It doesn't really like give you any help to completing your decks. It was just like a weird addition. Like for example, if you go to like, Mountain Pokemon, you start on page one with number 74 <laughs> with these Pokemon, and then you go to 56, and keep in mind this is in order, 
and then you got all these guys. And it's just like kind of- and then you just get slug- <laughs> Like, where- how did we get to this point? Then we go to Snorlax. It doesn't go in numerical order. Char like, they're- these are like the first Pokemon in the entire National Dex, and they're the last ones. Uh, anyways. Oh, it is on page 6-9. That is kind of crazy that Slugman is on page 6-9. Anyways. Um, so we had to grab a, a few Pokemon in this specific area of the map. Which, actually, I believe that I need to catch Weeping Bell at some point. Because I don't think I have two. Mm, it says that I do. I don't recall doing that, but... Uh, Papa, thanks for the four months of Prime. I appreciate it. Randy Numbers, thanks for the 22 months. 22. Long. Jack Michael, thanks for the 11. Danny, thank you for the 100 bits. Hi for another great stream. Well, I appreciate you for stopping by. Haha, <laughs> Slugma balls. Thank you, guys. Any XD today? Um... No, I think we're gonna do that tomorrow. Right, Weeping Bell was an XD. That's why. Yeah. Oh, wait. I didn't mean to go here, but that's fine. Because this is where I get Larvitar, which is a 5% encounter, but I'm going to see if I can Repel Trick it. I didn't really think about that, because I'm trying to go to get Unknown. Uh, Pokemon. Larvitar is the lowest level Pokemon on the route, except for Fampy. So this is <laughs> this might take a little bit, Chad. It's a 5% encounter. Great. I will be breeding Larvitar, because it probably takes less time to hatch an egg, even though it takes forever to hatch an egg. That's Larvitar. But I'd rather do that than deal with 5%. Wait, I only need two. Yeah, I only need two, because I have T-Tar. I hatch one egg? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> the party was, like, super chill, super laid back. I had it on two TVs. I have a TV upstairs, or a projector upstairs, and I have a TV downstairs. We just all hung out, kind of, like, split the floors, so it wasn't, like, super crowded. It still ended up being kind of super crowded, but, um, yeah, it was, it was fine. Chat, here's the thing. I don't... I don't- this challenge is- I- I, I want to clarify, Chad. This challenge is hard. This is a- this is a hard Pokedex to complete. Why is the game not making it- you're just making it seem like it's way too easy to beat this challenge. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Levitar does be judging. Wait, you're rock. Oh, are you ground? No. Levitar's rock ground. Well, that's stupid. Okay. It is. I don't care. I don't care. It's stupid. If that was 20%. No, it's five. Yeah, I thought it was rock dark all the time. Tiring. Did people help you clean up the place after? Uh, I actually cleaned during the party and multiple people offered. I just don't... I feel bad telling people to stay because... Uh, when did the Super Bowl end? Like, what time? Eastern. It was like... W uh, like 11? 10? Yeah. I was like, I don't want you guys to stick around. You guys have been here all day. I don't care. I'll figure it out. Pocket Margarita, thanks for the three moths. Appreciate it. Yeah, catch rate on this bad boy is not good, but it's also not terrible, because I believe it's a 45, and when it's asleep with a Great Ball, 45 equates to about a 15% catch rate, and I'm going to calc that just to prove that I'm smart. Check this out. Larvitar. Larvitar. I spelled your name wrong. That's a bad start. Larv. Larvitar. Great Ball. Asleep is... Mm, it's 20%. 
That's so much better. I hate myself. Yeah, chat, I don't know why people didn't... I, there are, like, multiple people that I was with, they were like, I didn't like Usher's performance. I thought it was good. I thought it was sick. Uh huh. How many wings were left? Oh, we cleared them. We absolutely cleared them. <laughs> I think at, by the end of it, because chat, we bought 120 wings. We ripped through all of them. A at the end of the party, there were maybe 15 left, maybe 10. Wing stop? No, homemade, baby. Come on. With Buffalo Wild Wing sauces. So it was kind of like knockoff Buffalo Wild Wings, but it, it, it was the actual sauce from the store. It's just cheaper. Would I rather buy 120 wings for like $200 or spend $40 on wings, make them myself, and then spend like $10 on sauces? It's just crazy. 120 wings isn't that crazy if 15 people are showing up. That is like actually less than what the average person would have if you go to, to a place. You know what I mean? Like how many wings do you get, chat, if you go out and get wings? It's it's like... Like 10... 10? Ish? Two up, two below, 10? Yeah, like six, eight, whatever. 20, but Davis, that's crazy. 20 wings. I would maybe get 20 wings if I was like 15. <laughs> My metabolism? Chat, I got the Italian metabolism. I'm cooked. There's no realm I can eat 20 wings and not look just like an orb by the time I'm done. This is a 20% catch rate, by the way. Just want to let you guys know. Oh, that sonic sound. Wow. Wait, actually, I have that sound. Wait a second. I can actually add that to my stream deck. I've been itching to add that sound. Wow. Soundboard. Play audio. Editing SFX, Sonic. Sonic, yeah. I think it's this one. Is it not? Yeah, yeah there we go. <laughs> yes! That's what we're looking for, baby! It's my favorite. That's a really wide thing sound. Larvitar. Uh... Chad, that was pretty fast. Do I do I commit to getting another one? Or do we just get out early and we breed this thing later? It's 8,000 steps to breed, and it will probably be the longest hatching egg. Now? Okay. What if I got the back-to-back? -back? There it is. Oh my god, he looks so different, though. Hair cross is really easy to get? Yeah, because it's a shadow. So Shadow next day. A lot of the really hard Pokemon are in XD. <laughs> Thankfully, all the Safari Zone Pokemon in XD. And I believe in the storyline, they're pretty much all next to each other, which is kind of funny. Like getting Pinsir, uh, Kangaskhan, Tauros. I think it's all in the same this area. This is a Johnston appreciation post. What a legend. Also, Skarmory is the best Pokemon ever. I agree with everything, except for the first part. Can I buy all your Nintendo stuff? Small. Can I buy all your Nintendo stuff and PC set for 250k? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be the worst purchase of your life, brother. That'd be really financially stupid. <laughs> Sun God, thanks for the two months. Um, how much do you think my setup is? Because it's not, like, it's, is it a lot of money? Yeah, but it's not that. <laughs> it's not even close. 
<laughs> Five grand? No, it's probably more. If, are we talking about the whole room or are we just talking about my desk? My desk and PC. Are we talking the whole room? Whole room is different because I have like a lot of collectibles on display. Cause you gotta, you gotta think of games, Chad. You gotta think of Pokemon games are so expensive, so unbelievably expensive. Two hundred fifty k for the house? Absolutely not, Chad. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> that would be crazy, Chad. What collectible item is your favorite? Um, uh, it's probably this one. I showed this a couple days ago. Dude, what? <laughs> okay, anyways, this is uh, a Pikachu CD promo, and it, it's a sealed copy, and it comes with a bunch of Japanese cards. If you look up Pikachu CD promo cards, you can see it has alt art for like every big Pokemon in Gen 1. It's just cool. Um, it's also in terms, not that I like want to ever sell my stuff, um, but in terms of like making profit on anything, that would be the most wild one because I bought it for I think 180 in the beginning of 2020 and then like four or five months later it shot up to two thousand dollars. It's pretty pricey. I don't think it's not that much anymore because that was that was like the Pokemon remember when Pokemon cards were like Woo. sorry, they were like um I think right now, though, if you buy a sealed one, it's it's like probably nine hundred to a thousand. See one for eighteen hundred? Yeah, but I would that look at sold listings because I don't think it's that much. I think it definitely went down. Um, yeah, but if we if we just look at this chat right here, like my actual setup. I would have to think, because I bought it custom built, and then I upgraded a bunch of stuff in it, because not all- I wanted better stuff. But just because I bought it at a certain price doesn't mean that's what its value is now. Because I have a 30- I have a 3080. I have a, um... I have an R9... 5900X, I think. Um, I have 128 gigs of RAM and some drives in there. I have like about like 12 terabytes, 15 terabytes of storage on my PC. So I think that my PC alone is, I want to say like 3,500 for everything. But that's like, I actually need that stuff. Do I need the 3080? Not necessarily. Because what... <laughs> I'm not even playing on my PC. I'm playing, you know, like on a console. Um, my desk is a, a dining table from Ikea. So, you know, add a hundred bucks, I think. I will say my camera is expensive, though. Because I have a Sony A... Um, 6400. I don't really know what the retail is for that. And then I bought a Sigma lens. And that was not cheap. I think I think in total it was like $1400 or something like that. Ligma lens. Nice. But yeah, long story short, I would say that my entire setup with like everything that I use for it, ten thousand, eight, eight thousand, probably eight thousand, something like that. But chat, let me let me stress this: you don't need that. If you want to stream, chat, you don't don't do that. I've ran out of all of my balls. I've ran out of all of them. How did I do that? And I have no money. <laughs> you should have just needed like a laptop and a capture card chat. And a webcam. That collectively, I mean a laptop aren't cheap, but um... 
you know, uh, you could stream with 500 bucks. Truly. I could have leech seeded? No, because then I would have died. Wow, great. My retire. That's good. Got those. Um, yeah, I need to go get money. Which I genuinely could not tell you how we're gonna do it. Like, I can do the Versus Seeker, but I don't know any, any, like, what ones make a ton of money? Other than fighting the Elite Four, because I don't really want to do that. Resort Gorgeous? Where... Where is that? I know it's on one of the islands. <laughs> Lady Cindy. What I need to do is get the Amulet Coin, because now I have caught enough Pokemon where that's not an issue. Uh... Go to the house that connects Route 16 with Cycling Road. Oh, that's what that is? I thought it was Ultra Balls. It is in Let's Go. Right. There is no better joy in Diamond and Pearl than fighting the old couple. Ooh, I just love fighting old people and stealing their money. Hello? Thanks. Oh, it was 40? Yeah, I probably should have done that a while ago. 61. That doesn't seem right. I've only caught 61 Pokemon. Oh, it doesn't count national. Okay, that makes way more sense. Did I get the experience share? I don't really need it. But no, I didn't. John, take the implicit bias ageism test on stream challenge. I don't know what any of those words mean. Chat, let's use smaller words, guys. I, I barely made it through high school. Um, let me do, um... So you said, you said Island 5? Actually, that's kind of a lie, chat. English was my best subject. <laughs> Just, I haven't really brushed up on it. Name all words. A. Aardvark. Art. Artist. Arm. No, that's actually, I think that's it. Guys, I did it. I named them all. Oh my god. I didn't think I could do that. Wow, maybe I'm not that bad. <laughs> Name every woman. Mom. James. Okay, can I try again? Guys, can I try again though? I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't, I messed that up. Mom. Woman. Betsy Ross. <sighs> Lady. Steven, thanks for the 32 months. What? Yeah, my wife. Well, Betsy Ross made the flag. You can't forget that. <laughs> How could you forget? 
Wife. Wait. Wife. Anyways, let's go this way. Oh, do I not have a surfing person? I have Bilm. Not only can I ride her, but I can ride her to surf. Bilm. That was the hardest challenge you've ever done in your entire career. Yep. Yep. Memorial Pillar. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of, of the Sevi Islands and to the Pokemon for which it stand. One nation under balls. In, in, hey guys, in, did you know that in terms? Wait, so where am I supposed to go here? I, I don't recognize. Are you sure it was Five Island that I was supposed to go to? Oh, I was supposed to go north. Under, yeah, the Pokeballs chat. North. Oh, somebody asked earlier, how did soldering go? Um, yeah, it went, it went great. Is it, is it her? With these hands, I will create victory. That's crazy. Oh, cause you're an artist. Never mind. My bad. Painter. Um, yeah, so I was doing, uh, Rich wanted me to solder some of his games. And I was like, cool. Yeah, I can do that. And so I straight up set up a soldering iron in the in the bathroom and just started soldering his games and people were like, they're like, whoa, you know how to do that? I was like, yeah, I'm kind of cool. That's actually verbatim what I said. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm just like really sick. And so, um, the thing is they're like the ladies, the ladies like to drink and the ladies were like, hey, Hey John, come take some shots. And then I'm trying to think of like trying to use a soldering iron, which is 700 degrees, while after having drinks. I was like, yeah, that seems like a pretty irresponsible thing because I'm just be like, I'm be like, and so I didn't do that. But then we had to like pick it up, right? It's like, all right, we'll just do it another day. I, I ended up soldering like three games or whatever. And I need to let the iron cool down. You gotta give it some time. And keep in mind, I had some people who, I, who I've never met before came over to my house. And there's a guy from, from the UK who went up to me in the middle of the party. He's like, John, I, I, I know this is gonna sound insane, but do you have a soldering iron in your kitchen, in your bathroom? And I was like, yeah. He's like, why? I was like, oh, I was soldering video games earlier, <laughs> like an hour ago. <laughs> I forgot to put it away. He's like, yeah, that's that's insane, man. This is the first time I met you. That's crazy. Okay. Average US bathroom. Chad, type one if you have a soldering iron in your bathroom. We'll just test, test the field here. Rage, next to the 16 months of tier two. Yeah, see, that's pretty normal. I think it's a pretty normal thing. Does your bathroom have the fan thing? Does my bathroom have a fan? To, like, air it out? Yes. Is that not normal? Don't tell me in the UK you guys don't even have that. There's no way. Some houses don't? I thought that was just like a bathroom standard. Cause isn't it like a health hazard if you don't? Cause the fumes will just stay locked in there? <laughs> Most of my bathrooms don't have windows. In, in my bedroom, I have a, a, Captain's bathroom, I think is what it's called. 
where my bathroom is actually two rooms. But, and it's not, it, uh, oh, John, that's so sick. No, like the bathroom, the toilet is, is in its own little like stall. Apart from the entire rest of the bathroom. So you don't stink up the entire bathroom, <laughs> I guess. There's like a, there's a name for it. I don't, I think it's like called the captain's, captain's corner, captain's quarter. Solitary confinement. Yeah, that's what it is. It is padded. So that makes sense. Wait, so how much money did I make from that? Oh, bands! Hello? Who did I fight to get that much money? Um... The painters are poor. That's crazy. I don't have the Versus Seeker? Oh, I thought you just got that in the storyline. Which uh, which person has it? Vermilion City from a girl in the Pokemon Center? What? That's such a random, that's such an inconvenient location to pick that up. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't, I haven't played these games in a very long time. Apparently. Well, at least we stop there, you know? I don't, I don't have to fly anywhere. You the fame checker? No. Doesn't doesn't work the same way this does. The urge to battle. Great. Rom, thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. Chat, I feel like I've reached that age where like I'm starting to get too old for parties. At least hosting them. Because once it hit like the third quarter, which was like 8 p.m. Because it went into overtime, I was like, Peepaw is ready for bed. And I have to entertain. And so, you know, I just laid down. I just laid down on the floor and everyone thought I was just sleeping. I'm like, no, I'm just laying down, dude. I'm just trying to replicate what I'm about to do in two hours. Oh. Bip. Like, for, um... I think for the next 4th of July... I'm not going to host a party, because I typically do. I would much rather just go out. Go out at a reasonable hour where it's safe to go out. Because it's just so much work and money. Yeah, I do have the end of the coin. Rent to the boat. Drinking on a boat is very fun. That's a fun little activity, just chilling. Hanging out with the boys, cracking open some cold ones. Maybe you take out your rod and fish. How much I get from you, Jackie? Oh my god! Where do you have that money, Jackie? Jackie, calm down. Can I fight again? Oh. Wait. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Rats. All right, chat. We're just gonna farm like a hundred k, and I think we're we're probably set. Honestly, we're probably set right now.
Why do you even receive money after a battle? Because they're nice. Pat, thank you for the tier one. Enjoy your emotes. Thank you, thank you. So, one thing about playing through Fire Red, because I do have to do that. One, I get to show you um, my save file that I have from like super, super long time ago, which is kind of cool. Because uh, we're, I'm going to be using the Fire Red Leaf Green Catch Em All save file. However, I'm going to be deleting it because I don't need it anymore. And it has no sentimental value to me. I don't know how much money I got from that battle, so I'm not going to fight you again. <laughs> um, yeah, a little, a little trip down memory road. Wait, I got 20k from her? 1600? You can back them up. Yeah, if I liked it, I, I don't know. There's like not really anything like super memorable about the fire leaf green catch them all. Sorry. I'll be backing up my emerald file when I'm done, because I never want to lose that save file. But um, aside from that. Yeah, that was a video I did in, like, two days. <laughs> Does, doesn't really hold any, like, emotional weight on me. But it'll be cool to look at to see everything that, that I caught, because I don't really remember. I remember I had a Blastoise that I named Mike or something like that, but... Now, do you give me money, too? How you back up save files? There's, like, uh, carts that you can buy and stuff like that. How many hours do you have on the Emerald file? I actually can look that up. And, interestingly enough, it's built into the analog. Because there are a lot of times that I reset the game, and it keeps track of all of that stuff. It shows my entire playtime. Oh! I ended up buying... Um... Some more Japanese games. Because I want to collect more of the GBA games just so I can have them and so I'm buying boxes like the um, the Japanese like complete in box versions because I'm I'm not gonna pay for the English ones I'm good I'm not gonna pay you know five hundred dollars for a copy of Emerald in a box it's really not on my list of purchases um, but let me tell you chat uh, when it comes to buying things on eBay or just online Buying things for Japanese people is like the greatest experience ever. They are so nice. Like I got, I, I bought um, a copy of Emerald and within five minutes of doing the purchase, they sent me an email or a DM on eBay and they said, hey, thank you so much for buying our product. We really appreciate it. We love collectors. And we're super excited. And hey, if you want to buy more games, we'll give you a discount. And it was super nice. Like, it's super kind. Obviously, they want me to buy more of their stuff. But like, it, it's, you know. It was just nice. Gang, so thank you for gifting a sub. Thank you. And typically, they'll, they'll like send you stuff. Yeah, for sure it's an automated message, but like it's more of this, the, the, chat, let me just have my moment, okay? All right, I know. I know how the internet works. <sighs> I was trying to be a wholesome moment. Do I use by ye? No. Can we talk about the fact that Temu had um, like what, four ads during the Super Bowl? <laughs> They have so much money. It's actually five? No. I think it was honestly a campaign to just like remind as many people as possible. One, that they exist, obviously. But two, that it's not pronounced Timu. Because I thought it was Timu forever. But it's Temu. Temu? Tem? I still didn't even know. Honestly, I watched. I thought I watched all of them. <laughs> it's that American accent of ours. 
We just be saying it how we wanna. Quesadillas? I only know quesadillas. Okay, this will be the last one. And then we get unknown. Unknown is what I said. Can you attack, please? They're dropping five-figure sponsors on YouTube. They are desperate. No. No, they're just rich. If you can afford ads, chat, you're not desperate. You are unbelievably wealthy. <laughs> it could not be further from the truth. Timu, I don't even know. I'm just gonna call him Timu, because I don't I don't shop from them anyways. I don't know. Um yeah, they make billions, chat. They, that's not- that is absolutely nothing. That is the equivalent of you finding a penny on the street to them. Truly. Especially because I believe that if you do- you do ads, is that not a tax write-off or something? Like, you get- you can- because it's a business expense. You're paying for to promote your business? I don't know. But I, I assume, yeah, they probably make all that money back. So, it's just like, in the moment, it's a, it's a financial cut or whatever. Okay, so now I should have like 100k, 100k, right? Yeah. Nice. Anyways, you guys are asking how many hours I have in Emerald? I can pull that up. Which is cool, because I, I don't actually need to load the game. So, if I quit the game, um, and go, nope, not there. If I go to library, you can, it shows all of the games that I've put in. Um, I have 51 hours and 20 minutes on Emerald, is what it says. Um, if I read, I have three hours just because I left it open while I was doing stuff off stream. But, yeah, and you see I have 15 hours, 47 minutes. And one of the things to note about this is that I can't just like load the game. So I can't like go into uh, Emerald right now because I just don't have it. It'll say to insert the cartridge, right? Yeah. So, um, but I can do, am I playing Leaf Green? Yeah, I am, right? <laughs> Anyways. No, it's not an emulator. It's a, um, it's an analog pocket. Did we get the Reggie's yet? Oh yeah. We got, when did we get that chat? Like uh, five days ago? Anyways. Oh, I'm so stupid. I was like, what island do I need to go to to get back to the Sevalt Canyon? Probably Island 7, John, would be where it is because it's in the name. Does Primer regular sub help you more? Nope. It genuinely does not make a difference. This is why I never ask you guys to sub. I asked you guys repeatedly, repeatedly to prime sub because it costs you absolutely nothing. Aside from the thing that you pay for anyways. You know? Uh, I think I go, yeah, I have to go down. I need to go up. <laughs> I need to buy stuff. That's really why we did that, you know? I will never have to worry about that again. Now, um, I'm also going to buy a couple of these because I'm going to just get annoyed. So let's not deal with that. Max repels. I'll just buy those. Cool. With Ro, thank you for the prime. Like this. Yep. Congo, thank you for the 10. I mentioned this before. It is a, a pretty uh, insane fact. And, and obviously it changes over time. You know why people have Amazon Prime? It's actually just absurd. Because I feel like a lot of people will be like, oh, it's probably like 10 million or something like that. Let me just check. <laughs> 
as of 2023, so I think I overshot it last time, but it's still, it is just mind boggling how many people have it. Because it's paid, it's a paid service. 200 million people. 200 million people pay for Amazon Prime every year. Which means, chat, in theory, if everyone subbed to me for one month, I would be a billionaire. So, let's try it. Let's see what happens. Chat, wouldn't that be so funny if like everyone on Earth? Earth. Wow, look at this movement, dude. Oh, I went the wrong way. Don't look. Ah. Triple that or <laughs> borrowing it from somebody else, yeah. It's not prime, so you won't be a billionaire from this, no. No, guys, no, please. I want to be a billionaire so bad. All billionaires get a really good rap, so that's why I want to be one. Everybody loves billionaires, guys. Please, come on. It's my dream. <sighs> Paladin, thanks for the 11 months. Thanks for trying, at least. Appreciate it. Sorry, you only get to be a millionaire. Guys, that's not my dream. Okay, let's go this way. And this should bring me down, right? You go through the Seavall Canyon. I had to fight these fellows. Never mind, I fought them already. Tricked you. Wait a second. Hold on, guys. Is it up? No, it's down. Okay. Rats. If you shiny Professor Oak challenge every gen, I think everyone would sub. How long do you think it would take? Um, probably about 15 years. I think I'm okay, guys. <laughs> I think I have other things to do. <laughs> hey, John. Love the content. Thanks. Gen 3 is my favorite, and you're helping me stay chill as I learn Tekken 8. I have a lot of respect for people who can play fighting games, because I can't. Did that just come out? Tekken 8? Because Street Fighter came out last year, right? Tortuga, thank you for the five months. Hey guys, it's me, Famous Rapper Ben Shapiro. Here to spit some fire bars, you ready? Let's go, you. I pop a perk while watching Euphoria. I have a 10 year membership at IKEA. Fight me at IKEA, you feeling froggy, baldy jump, perv. Yeah, that was kind of a LeBron jam for sure. Thanks for the three. I think Ben Shapiro should rap. That'd be crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. He did? No, he didn't. Shut up. He did not. He did not. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Chad, I'm not listening to that! No! I'm not getting cancelled. Jeez. I don't know, it's Tom McDonald. <laughs> it's like, I was like, oh, maybe like he was on a podcast? No, that's way worse, chat. That's way worse. Nope, I'm good. I gotta fight Ranger Jackson as Tangela, guys. Nice. <laughs> no wise choice. <laughs> uh, I'll just do this instead. Man, that's gonna have high mileage until I beat it to death. No, Zapdos definitely listens to metal. I feel like that just goes without saying. Like, he loves Steve Vai. 
His favorite song is Mr. Crowley. Like he just, he is, he's about that life. John probably in the Mile High Club. <laughs> no, I'm too skilled. <laughs> I'm too skilled to talk to, to, to women. <laughs> I'm too skilled to do that. I'm also banned on all flights in the US, so that would make it harder, but um, first part's also pretty difficult. Yeah, Chad, I'm on the no-fly list um, because I got into the cockpit when they were like getting everybody on the plane. I was like, hey, can I just see the front of it? And um, yeah, so I walked into the cockpit. I was like, hey, guys, wow, thanks for flying today. And then I went and I flicked one switch up and I said, <laughs> good luck. And then they arrested me. So uh, I wouldn't advise doing that. Typically, it's probably not a good idea. Um. Yeah, and I guess they they, they said it was an integral part of the the machinery. Okay, chat. I actually have genuinely no idea. I don't even know the name of this location. Yeah, I do know pilots have trading cards. Lip lip to lip lip to lip lip to. It's the liposuction chamber. Um, what is here? I'm just gonna guess I'm gonna encounter unknown T. The fuck you say about my music with Ben Shapiro? Well, let me tell you, your hair reminds me of a bird nest. Your True. chin could crack diamonds. True. You're on the no-fly list because of 2002, and Pokemon is the worst franchise of all time. Fuck you, bald ass. Nice. All right, let's get unknown now. What happened in 2002? No, no, that's besides the point. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, I guess. It's fine. Am I forgetting that you have to do something to activate the unknown in the chambers? <laughs> I literally made a video on this. That hurts me. <laughs> I'm not watching a YouTube video. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, there's a. Oh, right. Yeah, I gotta go to to uh, Tanabe Key. Tanabe Key. Tanabe Key, just for me. Did I? Oh yeah, I need that. Johnstone YouTube is a different character than Johnstone Twitch. Yeah, we're twins. That's not the right way. Oh my goodness, I'm the greatest bike guy. No bonks. No bonks whatsoever. Okay, so, yeah, I remember I had to do this. Wait. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, I didn't think that there were enough boulders.
chat, can I say something? <laughs> One of the funniest things about people sending me donations to like to like make fun of me um, is it tells me specifically who sent it. <laughs> it's probably the funniest aspect. Like John, you look so freaking stupid and ugly. Sent by James. Thanks, James. Um. Where? Oh, I did it wrong. <laughs> it's a little bit funny. No, it's not children's puzzle chat. I'm really smart, guys. Yeah, there we go. What's this puzzle for? Um, it's unknown as to what it's for. But we're gonna figure out what it's for. Wow, now we can get the Reggies. That's so exciting. Am I going the right way? I don't think I am. Yeah, I am. <laughs> My controller's dying. I gotta plug it in. Do you forget to like charge your wireless stuff, like your headphones and all that? Because I routinely do not remember to do that. We're going here. The weeps, weeps. I'm gonna find, I feel like this would have A, but that's too easy, unknown D. All right, what do we got? S. I think that's S. Hidden power rock. Wait, that's bad. I don't want that. Okay, you didn't have it. Cool. S for SpongeBob or S for Sandy. That way they can identify their bodies. Unknown. Hey John, President hey. Obama from the John Stone fan club here. You are a Pokemon master and a champion at puzzles. Those fakers are just hating on you because they archered keep on the great gaming, John. Make sure to get unknown D first. Nope. Thanks for the three. Appreciate it. Only reason I'm watching is that chat is funny. Chat, you don't think I'm funny? We gotta go to Cape Brink. Where is Cape Brink? It's like on the island, but I think it's, is that not Island 7? No, not 7. Um, No, Trainer Tower. Cape Brink is... Wait, I forgot Altering Cave was in this game. It's just so not relevant at all. Or is it here? Wow. You're funny, but looks aren't everything. I can't try. Are they saying that I'm funny looking or I'm funny and they also think I'm attractive? I, I'm very, I'm confused. Hmm. <laughs> 
Okay. Capering is two island? What? Oh, it is. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. So I need to get. Oh, hold on. It's time for Elite Hack. I need a level 40 Pokemon. There you go. Goodbye, Mewtwo. It's not strong enough. Don't need it. Can't believe John named his Mewtwo after me. Well, no. Maybe. Persian, first try. Rats. Oh, I didn't have a repel up. So, um, Persian here is a 5%, but if you do a repel trick, it turns into 50. And that's the game plan. Gotta wait for it to show up. Should I get Coliseum or Fire Red Leaf Green? Probably Fire Red Leaf Green. It's insane that they're very close in price. It really is. Cat. Wait, Zapdos is 69! Huge. I didn't even notice that. Am I playing the entirety of Fire Red? I already did. Oh no, sorry. No, I'm not. I think I'm in this game. Oh, you have Limber. Ow. Hey guys, so as it turns out, oh, I forgot. Bruh. Do you have any ice cream? I have ice cream more than the presence in my ice cream. Anyways, I'm gonna go fall off my bike now. Have a good stream. Thank you. Which I think we're forgetting the funny today, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> We're losing our funny chat. Everybody type balls. Oh, it is Monday. Not that that has any correlation, but like it is kind of. I didn't realize that it was Monday. There we go. Now we're funny, guys. Now we're funny. Nice work. Do you guys lose track of the days? Is that just being an older thing? Or is it because I don't, I do the same thing every single day, so I don't really think about the day? You're an old man. Nice. Fair enough. Do you not have a workout schedule? Yeah, that's fair. I do, but I still don't think about it. <laughs> Once I get out of work or working out, I don't really think about it at all. That is a good point, though. My beginning of the day, I am I am competent, but after that, 
gone. In the ball. Chat, it's so gloomy today. It'd just be raining. Oh, we get to do another level 40 repel trick. Wow. Imagine. Imagine if there were two level 40 repel tricks. This one's on the water. Oh my god. Gloomy days are the best and worst because like if it's your day off, you can just chill and relax. But then you also have to deal with existential dread. It's like it's it's like a 50-50 battle throughout the day. You know what I mean? You're like, wow, everything's so sad because it's gloomy. But you're like, but I have my day off so I can watch Avatar The Last Airbender all day today. That's my uh, movie of the night or my TV show of the night currently. I fell asleep watching it. But I've seen it. I've seen it so many times. So I don't feel bad about missing it, but. Are they doing like a, not a reboot of it, but they're, they're doing it again with the original directors or something? A live action? Dude, I hate TV now, honestly. I hate TV now. Oh. Wait, really? How do I not remember that? It's a repel trick in the grass. It's half Persian, half slow bro. Why? Because you can surf first. That can't be right. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Cat. Because yeah, they're both 5% and they're the only level 40s in the area. Hello, man's doing. They're doing great. I was talking about him yesterday. They've been they've been losing weight, and they're getting healthier. They're still not walking, but they're cute. They do sleep with me a lot more though recently. Are your cats social when you have people over? No. And to a certain extent, if I have like a party, no. No, they go and and sit in a room that's like the most quiet. Um, but. If there's like a couple people over, yeah. They'll want to be Pat. Oh, I heard it. I heard it. You heard it. I heard it too. What's going on, Hellstar? How you doing? Yeah, they're little sweeties. They just they just come to bed with me and we sleep together and it's just sweet. Sweet little guys. You usually have one on one side, one on the other. <laughs> or they like my legs for some reason. Do anything. I'll take Persian, honestly. Please. I just can't fathom like having a cat that doesn't like their owner. Unless it's like for a reason, you know? Like if you just aren't nice to it. <laughs> oh, well, I did say that.
Yeah, cause like, I bully my cats, but I don't like, you know, I don't bully them. Like if one of the little mans lays on the floor, I'll just put my foot on him. Not like, I won't, I will rest my foot on him. I will not put any pressure down. I just put it on him, he goes like this. Or if I'm walking by him, I'll, he'll like bump into me and then blame me. Like when I go in and, um, when I go to feed him, if I'm in his way, he'll bump into me and go, Ring! but it's not like a hiss or like an angry meow. It's like, it's like, bro, this is my area to walk. Go away. Because if I, I've accidentally stepped on their tails before, it is an entirely different sound. So I know that he's not actually upset. He just wants to be a bully. And he knows that he's going to lose. <laughs> I stepped on his tail once, like, I don't know. It was like four years ago. And he goes, Aah! Just one slow bro, please. But also, if I yell at him when he bullies his brother, he makes the exact same sound. <laughs> He'll just go to his brother and go... I'm like, hey! Stop that! And he goes, hey! And then runs away. Yeah, they're from the same litter. Yeah. This is not going very well. Let me just double check and make sure it actually does spawn here. Because it might just be a water encounter. Keep bring Pokemon. Yeah, no it is. It's either level 37 or level 40. Yeah, I think Joe fixed like everything for Gen 3 on Cerebi, which is kind of sick because it's all very accurate now. Which is huge for this challenge because sometimes I'm wrong and actually most of the time I'm wrong, but I like to check and make sure. Chad, do you, uh, you collect anything? It doesn't have to be games, just anything. Plushies, yeah. I have a lot of them, but they're all condensed on, onto this wall. 3DSs, that's... I mean, same, honestly. <laughs> Music, like vinyls. Ooh, clutch. Actually, you know what? Can you knock me out? Thanks. Problem solved. Now I can just leave a Zapdos and not worry. Board games. Please tell me you have game nights, because that'd be kind of unfortunate. <laughs> you collect board games to just own them. You don't even play them with people. No, no, they'll, they'll come over. They'll come over. Surely they're coming around this weekend. The ones that my mom, um, my, my mom has like some board games. Like she has like Yahtzee and stuff like that. And my mom bought them from yard sales. My mom was a huge yard sailor. And as a result of that, and because the average age in New Hampshire is like 55 and has been for years, a majority of the ones that she has are from like the 1960s. Like we're playing Yahtzee at her house and <laughs> this box is like archaic. It should be in a museum. 
And then she pulls out like one modern one that she picked up. And it doesn't look. Did my repel end and I just wasn't paying attention? Oh. I was like, what? No, my mom pulls out like one modern one that she has. Just looks the complete opposite. Because I don't know if you guys have bought modern board games, but it is like, how how cheap can we make them? In turn, they're only like $10 for a board game. And I really don't remember how much they were back in the day, but I would assume that they were like 20 25 But it is the most cheaply made, like the box is as thin as cardboard can possibly be for shipping. Any spinners, if it comes with a spinner, it's this really lightweight thing. And it's it is impossible to flick because it is the width like the width of the of the dial that you flick is the same width as the thing And so if you flick it and you miss you just knock the cardboard across the table And you have to find a way to hold it down without the stopper hitting any of your fingers that are touching it. It's infuriating Just buy a custom one honestly Yeah, I should I'll encounter either Persian or slow bro I just have not encountered- it's just been like five straight Persian. But we'll get there. Wrong leading Pokemon? No. It's a level 40 repel trick. I'm leading with a level 40 Pokemon. Unless repel trick doesn't work in this game like that. But didn't I already encounter a Persian? With Zapdos? Hmm. Yeah, maybe not. I fainted it on purpose. Rats. No, I've, I've been encountering it. I've been encountering Pokemon. I played Pokemon Master Trainer on Tabletop Simulator. Oh, you're talking about the, the really hard Pokemon? I have that game somewhere in my house. Actually, do I? Maybe my mom has it. Pokemon Master Trainer is a messed up video game. Or messed up board game. Truly. The amount of requirements to beat the game, I, I really can't explain how to play the game because it's really convoluted, but just look it up. Yeah, this is kind of crazy. Balls. True. Atri, thank you for the, uh, the two months. Yeah, Jay Witz made a video about it like, I don't know, what, eight years ago? I might as well just level up Slowpoke at this point. <laughs> Where is this Pokemon? You know what I should do? Is I should do a level 37 Repel Trick. Let's try that. Because level 37 is the lowest that you can- Well, actually, no, I'll encounter Weeping Bell if I do that. Unless it's only level 36 and 38 that Weeping Bell can be. Weeping Bell can only be level 36 or 38. Okay, so yeah, if I do a level 37, it will expand the pool of what I can encounter. Uh, I just need to find one. Surely I have one. Gotta have one, just one Pokemon that's level 37, one. Hmm. What, disorganized living decks? Well, I'm not doing it in this game, so. <laughs> Doesn't matter. 
Levels Venusaur? 36. Wait, do I have one rare candy? Wow. Lucky day. Okay, now I'm good. Thanks. All right, let's try it again. And this way, I have doubled the chances of encountering because it's based on a, like a tile by tile basis. And so now I can encounter either a level 37 or a level 40. It's a Persian again, but it'll be level 37. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I ran away from that, but I did. Smoke ball, nah. Wow, this is way better. Oh, there you go. Problem solved. That's called maths. Not a clue in the world what's going on. Slowbro is just in his own realm. Her own realm. My bad. Okay, we're done with that. Jeez, that was crazy. How many Poliworld did I catch? I only caught like one, right? I think. Uh, we need to go to Cerulean Cave. I think that's pretty much it for the islands, which is nice because it's really not a super long list, but we might need a couple more later. Let me check. No, it was Larvitar was the only other one. Yeah, I think I have only one Poliwhirl. hurts so much. I'm so old and gross. Okay, let's fly to Cerulean. I do also need to do a trade here, which I guess I'll just do now because I need to get more Poliwhirl, but this is where you can get Jinx. Which will save me a little bit of time. Well, that's that. If you were a content creator, would you still do some of these Pokemon challenges for your own enjoyment? Yeah, I mean, probably. I just wouldn't have the time to do them as much as I do them. But yeah, I probably would. Some of them, maybe not. But like, completing Pokedexes? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Because you gotta keep in mind, chat, before I did this, I really liked going for, like, Xbox achievements. Because I saw those as, like, a way of 100%ing a game. And so, um, I really enjoyed doing that. Like, um, back in the day when I was, like, playing Halo 3, I would do, I would try and get all of, like, the really hard, um, Halo achievements. Like, uh, there's one where you have to get a double kill with a Spartan laser. So it's basically this weapon that, like, charges up and shoots a laser. And it takes, like, five seconds to charge up. And you have to do it in a free-for-all match. So it's you versus everyone. And you have to shoot the Spartan laser and let the laser go through two people at the same time. And I remember the exact moment I did it and how excited I was. I remember I was playing on Snowbound. Or whatever the single player version of Snow that that map is. Uh, what? What would be what I would like to say? Cerulean Cave. So, so. Parasect on floor one is twenty five percent.
And it can be level 58, which is a lot. Um, yeah, I've always said if I didn't do Pokemon videos, I would probably do those videos that people do of where they get like uh, platinum trophies in certain games. Oh, there you go. That's fast. Because I think those videos are just truly fun, because it shows the way that the developers wanted you to 100% the game. And some of them are just ridiculous. And I think that's also kind of fun to look at. It's like, what were they thinking in that moment? Like, for example, um, a really cool one is uh, GTA 4. There's like a lot of insane things you have to do, especially like nowadays. If you want to get all the achievements in GTA 4, you have to do, um, you have to like reach max rank in multiplayer, and there's like nine people that play multiplayer a day on there. And so I saw a video of a guy who did it, and he just convinced his friends to play with him for like nine hours straight until he reached max rank, and they just play multiplayer online. <laughs> Sounds like a second channel idea. Chat, I genuinely do not have the time. <laughs> It just, I 100% do not have the time to do that. Mitosis? Yeah. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to where you can clone people. I'll be first in line. Johnstone and Johnstone 2. Yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, other games that would be fun to do for that. That's, like, actually difficult. What are some- what are some tough ones to complete? I know that there's some of you guys are trophy hunters. I know some of you guys like achievements. Because they're fun. Like, I love doing- I love Halo, but I love doing them in Halo Reach. Because they have one for beating Legendary Solo and stuff like that. Oh yeah, Red Dead? Yeah, I tried Red Dead and gave up because I just didn't have the time. I do remember doing that because you had to do the uh, the whole all of the the animals and there wasn't like a the compendium isn't that what it's called? Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Body of Isaac, yeah. I feel like that's one though. The more you play, like that's just a you come across most of the stuff. The more you play, right? One of the most insane ones um, is, uh, like, in the early Xbox 360 days, they truly just did not care. They were making achievements for whatever. One of the ones uh, for a game that I had, and is it is seen to be the hardest achievement to ever get just because of how not possible it is, is um, uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2. Which is a game that probably most of you have no idea. You might know Tom Clancy, but do you know Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2? Probably not. It wasn't like a super popular game. Um, but it was like a third person shooter game. Um, and essentially, well actually I think maybe part of it was first person, I don't really know. But point is, it was not a super popular game because it came out when the 360 came out essentially. And they had an achievement for being the number one player in the world. You, in order to do it, you had to be the number one ranked person on Earth. And so in total, there's maybe 20 people who have that. <laughs> A couple people who played in the first five minutes of game release, and then some people who have been grinding it it's, it's like, what in the world were you thinking? And here's the crazy part, is I believe there's actually two of them. Because there's like a... There's, there's one for number one in the world, and then there's number one... In, in your region, or something. If you guys look up 
the achievements. It also might be the first Ghost Recon, not the, um, not the second one, but either way. Yeah, that one was just absolutely ridiculous. And there are a couple other, like, really early games that are like that. Yeah, the servers still exist. That's the, that's the most insane part, actually. Do I have to fish for Poliwhirl? I don't think so, right? Oh, I do. Yeah, I do. Let me look it up. I'll find it. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. And a lot of them are just like really, really, really normal ones. Yeah, I think it's the second one. Where is it? I know it's it's somewhere. Is it not this game? I know it exists. Oh, I just skipped over. Yeah. World Champion Multiplayer Achievement in Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfare, the first one. Climb to the top of the Universal Leaderboard. Um, there are 137 people who have it. And they reset the leaderboards um, in like 2010. <laughs> Out of how many copies sold, I don't know. It probably sold really well. It says that there's 122,000 people who are recorded to have played it. So that's a pretty insane ratio. Yeah, it's a whole the whole Earth. Oh, Quake 4 had the exact same thing too. Yeah, it's called number one. Yeah, they just shouldn't care back in the day. Chat, I keep forgetting to change my directory. I'm so stupid. Oh my goodness. Actually, no brain. Okay, let me get the super rod. No, thank you for letting me know. No, chat, we're not playing Pokemon Emerald. We're not, I lied to you. I'm a dirty little liar. Poliwhirl. So, I need to catch three of these. I already have one, but I need to catch... Uh, oh, no, I have Polyrath. That's right. Don't I? I do need one, though, to trade. Which is why I'm doing this. By the way, chat, just as a side note, because this is uh, fresh in my mind, if you have any interest in playing these games like on physical cartridges and you've already played through the storyline of it um, and you have a like a really solid knowledge, it's not a terrible idea to just buy it in a different language because it's always it's going to be cheaper. Like in 99% of cases, it is cheaper than the English version. They just happen to be the most expensive. Like a copy of Ruby from Japan, $15. U.S. 80. Like they they are it's dirt, actual dirt cheap video game. <laughs> because you have to consider one, uh, Japan doesn't really scalp anything. Currently, though, I will say that that uh, the Pokemon card market is absolutely insane. From what I've heard, it is um, it is the equivalent basically of what the U.S. was in 2020. It's nuts. Like, they really love their cards right now. Um, the games, however, don't really care. Like, a copy of Emerald in, from Japan is 50 bucks. Which, like, is that expensive? Yeah, debatable. It's debatable. But um, right now it's 200 roughly, for an English version. So, if you could essentially buy almost all of the GBA games for one copy of Emerald. It's pretty close. You're, uh, okay, maybe not. I think for all of them, it'd, it'd be about like 230, 240, but, um, yeah. I think the Jinx Trainer is where the Bulbasaur is. 
Pretty sure that it's this person. Yeah. Jinx. Yeah, because I bought a sealed copy, or not sealed, sorry. I bought a box copy of Emerald for 80 bucks from Japan. If you were buying a box copy of Emerald from the US, it's probably about $400, 300 bucks. Zinx. Oh my God. <laughs> they gave Jinx Zins. Oh my god! Wow, that's crazy! This is a nicotine addicted jinx. <laughs> that's nuts! Um, I still keep forgetting. Where where is Jinx? There's Jinx. Um, okay, the rest of these seem to be evolutions for the most part. Dragonair. I'm not gonna get another Dratini. Am I? Yeah, actually I am. I am gonna do that. I don't want to. But it's being done, Chatters. It's being done. Oh, male! That's a healthy Jinx! Be kind to it. From Dante. Thanks, Dante. Thanks for that. <laughs> who writes mail like that? A man who's excited. Man who's very excited. Anyways. The only thing you have to consider, um, also, this applies to the GBA, or the GB games. Like, a copy of Pokemon Crystal is, like, from Japan is, like, 40 bucks. US, it is, I, to my knowledge, the most expensive cartridge Pokemon game you can buy that's not, like, a distribution cart. It is, it rivals Emerald. So I just need to find one. I didn't mean to do that. Do not, don't you dare stay in that ball. You get out right now. You get out right now. You get, thank you. Why Crystal? Because it's the most coveted Game Boy game of them all. Also is the worst selling one. So it's the rarest. But yeah, make sure chat, if you do buy the Game Boy ones, make sure that it has a new battery in it. Because if it doesn't, then it doesn't save it. If you don't know how to solder, or you're too scared to solder, um, your game will never save. And so it's absolutely useless. Unless you really like playing the introduction of a Pokemon game every day of your life. They toss soldering for stained glass. There you go. Yep. I will say though, learning how to solder is a good skill. For sure. And you can use analog pocket and save states. Sure. But wouldn't it just be easier to spend five minutes either buying the game that would be best fit for you or just spending five minutes to solder a new one on? <laughs> And the, the kits to do it, I think it's, they're like 20 bucks. Didn't you say use a soldering iron on your tongue yesterday? No. Nope. Not me. Oh. I didn't say that, guys. Sad. We try again. Do you think those battery holes are good? Um, I have not bought them, but I, from what I've been told, yes. It's like a way better alternative. So if you don't know, um, they have 
basically holders that you can put in. So you all you have to do is just snap a new battery in rather than solder it every single time. So you just have to solder one singular time. Um, I would definitely recommend those for sure. Way better. I know that Radio did that to all of his games. I just haven't. Because I just don't own them. I'd rather go through the batteries I have now. And keep in mind, the batteries that you install nowadays are better than the ones that they installed back in the day. So realistically, you know, the batteries that I've installed are going to last for 30 years. You know, am I really going to care about my games in 2050? I have to, I'll replace them twice in my life. <laughs> All I say though, Chad, is just be safe because it's a really dangerous tool. And do your research. Because it's a dangerous tool. Like I said, Chad, I, you know, in order to heat up the solder, I, I was using, you know, an iron that was like six, seven hundred degrees. Just let, just have common sense. Be safe and use protection. That can apply to other things, but yeah, exactly. Do you need to replace the batteries in Fire Red Leaf Green? Yeah. Um, like if you shiny hunt, yeah. You do. But if you don't care about that, not really. There's no batteries in Fire Red Leaf Green. Wait, you're right! Oh my god, I didn't know that! Wow, you're so smart! Wait, so why... Why did they not fix that in Emerald? <laughs> why did they not... This game came out in 2004. Why did they not fix that when Emerald came out? There's no clock? There's no time-based events in Fire Leaf Green? Interesting. I know there's no day night, which fun fact means that you can't get Umbreon Espeon in Fire Leaf Green. Very interesting. Yeah, you're having a mobile viewer moment for sure, but you can't hear that because you are having your moment. Anyways. Yeah, I've never replaced them, so I just figured they would have it in there anyways. I figured the boards would be the same. Cool. The more you know. But yeah, that does apply to literally every other game, though. <laughs> Except those two. And it's important to know that the games have different batteries. Because they have CR1616 for the GBA games and for some reason Pokemon Yellow and CR2025 for literally everything else. And the obvious advice is I would start with a game that you don't really care too much about because if you really mess it up, it's a learning lesson and, you know. I wonder if there are any, like, clock-based Game Boy games that are really cheap that you can buy because that's where I would start. I just can't think of any other Game Boy games that have a, a clock inside of them and needs a battery. Zelda games? Yeah, I wouldn't know. Yeah, and Turtle Battery runs dry. Uh, I'm pretty sure by now, most Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald cartridges have their batteries dried out. Like they're dead. 
I think it also depends on how much you played them, but also batteries degrade over time anyways. So. Yeah, anything anything that's from the, the Game Boy era, not Game Boy Advance, are definitely dead. They were dead as of like 2016, roughly. Most of them were dead by then. Because those batteries are supposed to last about 20 years, the original ones. Nowadays, I think that they last about 25, 30, just because it's better technology. I wouldn't quote me on that, but I can't imagine they're worse. <laughs> so. But on the upside, if, if your battery is dead in the GBA games, at the end of the day, it's not the worst thing in the world because the save files are not tied to it. Because if you didn't know, the original Game Boy game, so like red through crystal, the save files were tied to the battery. So if you remove the battery, you lose your save file. Probably should have clarified that in advance, but I don't think anybody just jumped into soldering the moment I said it. Um, so if you can back up your save file before you swap out your battery, if you still do have a save file, that would be the smart thing to do. You're welcome. Oh. If your battery is dead, your save is gone already? Not necessarily. I've seen in some cases, or heard in some cases, I don't know if it's true or not, but I have heard in some cases that it will just not uh, save the save file. Like, it will just stay in the same, like, save point for some games or something like that that's not like like rich said when i was replacing his batteries he said that it was like stuck on a save file or something all right i gotta go to the bathroom i've been holding it in for a minute so i'll be right back I'll be spinning. Why is he not peeing his pants? That's for real. Yeah. Yeah, shiny odds are affected because it, it, it works the same way as Emerald if you don't have a battery. From what I was told. Which means that you can shiny hunt, it's just you're shiny hunting on the same frame. So if you're soft resetting for things, it doesn't work. One video that I would love to do at some point in the future is I would do a, um, uh, maybe like a shiny, shiny badge quest in a Gen 3 game.
a shiny badge comes when you get a shiny before every badge. And that's exactly why I don't call it that when I make those videos. <laughs> I don't call it a shiny badge quest because the average person has no idea what that is. That's one advice I would love to give to like shiny hunters who make videos because here's the thing. Shiny hunters make such banger videos. They just title them in ways that only make sense to people who shiny hunt. Like I think one of the reasons why my um my big video did so well is because I didn't say like I did the ultimate shiny badge best. I was like, yeah, I got a shiny every shiny before each badge. Yeah, I actually have one Dratini. I don't need it, but I would like it because it would probably be faster than hatching an egg, but now we've reached the point where it probably isn't because I've encountered three of them and didn't catch them. But you know what they call that? Uh, I actually forget what it's called. <laughs> What's it called when you, when, you, when you sink a bunch of time into something and you don't want to back out? Sunken cost fallacy? That. Yeah, because, like, a lot of people don't understand full odds. And stuff like that. People, it's just... Yeah. Like, the general person just doesn't know what that means. And I'm not the first person to come with that either. I would say that the, um... Like, I think Small Ant was really the first person to really show that that was, like... Hey guys, your videos would, would probably do way better if you explained it to a general audience. And you can still use those ter that terminology, right, in your video, but it's more of like presenting it in a way that anybody can learn. Because if you watch my videos now, a lot of my videos, I, I still explain like really basic things that even an average Pokemon player would know because I'm, a, I'm showing it to, like my intention is to show it to people who, in my eyes, just know of Pokemon. They don't know what Pokemon like, like the intricacies of Pokemon, right? Because I want it so everybody understands. But also one other thing that I think is important um, is to not explain everything up front. If you watch some of my older videos from like 2020, 2019, which I hate, ooh, I hate saying that, but that is an older video. If you watch any of my videos from like 2019 or whatever, um, I explain everything up front. It's like four minutes straight of me just being like, just saying, ev like explaining top to bottom everything, every little intricacy. And so by the time the video comes out, you were fully informed, but you were bored out of your mind. I, yeah, straight yapping. Do you ever worry that explaining everything drives away people who already know? No. Because here's the difference. Both people will skip. They will skip ahead. The people who are understand it will skip ahead to the good part. The people who don't understand will skip ahead and then be confused. People who understand will keep watching. Dratini, please. Dratini. Dratini! You're so rude. Okay, I'm getting one more. If I don't catch it, then I'm just gonna give up and breed it. This thing sucks. I really wanna don't... What? How do you get altering altering cave legit? I it was a in-person event. You don't even want it legit. 
honestly. The Pokemon, so alternating cave, so um, it is in this game, I forget what island it's on, but it's most memorable in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. So if you go west of the Trick House, north of Slateport, I feel like I'm giving like IRL directions. Um, there's that cave by the water and you go inside and it has like just Zubat inside of it. That was a promotional event, and so what they would do is you would go to to events, and they would basically um, give you an event that updates that area to spawn a certain Pokemon. And while that is such a sick concept, because imagine if it was just like Cyndaquil. Oh, you could go there and you could just shiny hunt exclusively Cyndaquil. The problem with it is that the Pokemon that they ended up using, because they did end up doing it for like 15 Pokemon, but all of the Pokemon were catchable in the game. Already. You could just go anywhere else and get them. So why why would you want them? It was like, it, it was such bland Pokemon. Let me find the list. It was so sad. It was a whopping nine Pokemon. Zubat, which is the base one. Mareep, Apom, Pineco, Shuckle, Teddy Ursa, Houndour, Stantler, and Smeargle. Now, granted, a lot of those, if not all of them, are not in Fire or not in Ruby and Sapphire, but they are all in Emerald and are very easily obtainable. They put every single one of those in the Safari Zone. <laughs> Nearly. Aside from Smeargle, who was, had its own designated cave. Alright, I'm just not gonna catch one. That's so frustrating, dude. <laughs> it's actually so annoying. How many balls did I throw? I got 30, right? I threw 15 balls and didn't catch a Dutini. Great. That was a waste of time. My bad, I forgot to press A. Um, <sighs> I don't think Grimer's in this game. I think I messed that up. Oh, I didn't get up, bip. Uh-oh. Oh, Chad, I need to farm money. <laughs> I need Porygon. I totally forgot about Porygon. No matter. That'll be easy. A Hobbit, I believe, is on... Oh, it's Five Island. Yeah. No, we're not going to gamble, Chad. I'm just going to farm money. It's way too tedious. Maybe I'll play a couple games, but that's it. I'm trying to think, with 6,500 coins, I have to math out how much that is, because it's 10,000 for 100, right? So I would need... 65,000? I feel like that's not right. Like, it is mathematically right, but I don't think it's, it's right as in... how much I truly need. Hop it. I'm pretty sure I need two of these. Because I don't have... I don't have my skip loom anymore. It's 10,000 for 500 coins. Okay. So I need, what, 130k? Right? Or is it two? No. Am I mathing? That will take. That is six battles. 
roughly. Six battles. Yeah, it's 6,500. It's the cheapest game, because Fire Red is, is max coins. Hey, chat, if you're enjoying the stream, thanks. Also, check to see if you're following the stream. Also, check those primes. Link your Amazon account to your Twitch account. You need a free prime sub. No ads. No ads. One more time. No ads. Yeah, we can do a shiny uh, prediction if I get a shiny Porygon. That would be quite a moment. I would imagine shiny hunting Porygon in this game sucks. Because you can only buy one. Because, like, shiny stuff like Clefairy when it's 112. Wait, why am I not just buying Clefairy instead of catching him? I didn't even think about that until right this moment. Because I was going to go to Mount Moon after getting Porygon. <laughs> I'm so silly. But yeah, you can buy a whole party of Clefairy at once and then check them all, right? Porygon, you buy one, you're out of coins. You cannot buy more than one in one setting without spending money. Flargus, thank you for the two months. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Catch you with a ditto. Yeah, but you have to think in the grand scheme of all of these Pokemon, although I'm at 214 out of like the 400 I need to get, that is a lot of breeding. I already have to, I have to breed so many Pokemon. Like 60, I think. 50. Can you soft reset at the point before buying? Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying you could buy an entire party. You could buy five Clefairy because it's dirt cheap. But you can't buy a party of five Porygon and check them all at once. It is the worst one out of them all is what I was getting at. You can, though. You can soft reset it like it's a legendary, but... How do you get a shiny Jirachi in any of the main games other than Pogo? Um, you need the Colosseum bonus disc, and you basically just start a new copy of Ruby over and over. There's, like, a save corruption thing you can do. You can buy Dratini. It depends on the game, but you honestly might be onto something. <laughs> um... Where is the where is the gambling place? Why am I not? I'm I'm thinking it's in Mauville, but um, we're playing the wrong game. Celadon, thank you. Oh my god. Celadon City. Let's see. Game corner. Oh, it's the same fire relief green. Oh yeah. What am I doing? Yeah, I can buy Clefairy for five hundred Andrutini. Huh. Wow, that was really stupid of me. So, I'm just gonna farm 200k then. That way I can get Porygon. Yeah, I was gonna breed Porygon, I'm probably still gonna do that. I don't really want to farm that much money. <laughs> I have the email coin. It's already on. I would much rather breed Porygon than farm Let me put these together. Yay. Um, yeah, so that's going to save a ton of time. Like a crazy amount of time. So that's good. Do you Pokemon Box to complete this challenge? Um, no. But it would be a huge help, and it's going to be a huge help. Huge, huge help.
Because I get to do, instead of trading Pokemon over, even though I do need to do that for a few of them, um, I can just drag and drop all of them in one game, go to my next game, and just take them all out. Yeah, 20, both of these give 20k. It's really fast. <laughs> yeah, chat, the only downside to getting a lot of viewers in streams uh, for things that I do is that uh, people try really hard to be funny and they're not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it, chat. I'll be the first to say it. Because listen, I, a, lot of, a lot of people have been telling me you guys aren't funny. A lot of people have been saying that. I'll say it. You're funny. But some of you aren't. Some of you aren't funny. You're just weird. I hate to tell you that. But someone's gotta do it. Someone's gotta. You're making me laugh. You make me go. <laughs> I've been working on my rich people laugh. I'm I'm not there monetarily, but like I would like. It's more of like a fake it till you make it kind of thing. Can I try? Can I try? Let me just give you like a. You guys just tell me something. Like a really rich, funny moment and I'll and I'll be like that's so relatable. I gotta try like the Jeff Bezos laugh. You ever heard him laugh? It's it's very unhinged. Ah <laughs> wine time. He wanted to go to the four star restaurant instead of the five <laughs> I think I'm there. It really is just, it's like a lot of the back of the throat noise. It's a lot of throat. Uh, you know? I won't do that again, I promise. Where'd you get your shirt? I think Etsy, honestly, I don't remember. Wow, Beth, that was a banger. <laughs> I think I'm the only one who got that, but that was a banger. Oh, nope, never mind. They got it. Okay, my bad. My bad. You did it. So yeah, I'm gonna get like 220, 230k. Oh no, actually, I need a lot for Dratini. We have favorite, favorite Pokemon for Gen 2? Scizor. Come on, chat. Sciz uh, Gen 2 has probably some of the best Pokemon designs. It is just a cool looking gen. There are some not great ones. There's a, there's a, a I would say a solid 15% of them are not good, but. Hello, Johnstone. This is Obama from Smash Brothers here with more Pokemon Day Leaks. Right. Pokemon Go is releasing a $100 a month battle pass with unlimited remote raids. You still have to buy tickets. Also, a new Kanto game for the iPod Mini. Okay, the iP that's the, are you t is the, isn't the iPod Mini the little square? Isn't that the, like the the little one? It's the iPod Touch that was a square. That's the Nano. Oh, with no, oh, with no screen. Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot about that. Thanks for the three. Kristoff, thanks for the eight months. I have a funny story though. What was that one called? It was like, was it the iPod Nano? It was just like a different gen. It was like the gen three, gen four of the iPod Nano, where it was like, just like the little teeny square, but it was a touch screen. Um, so, I had a, a middle school dance. One thing from my childhood that was really strange is anytime that I entered a contest, I would win. If there was a raffle, I would win. It was really like a very main character moment in my life, but anytime my parents would take me to a place or I went to somewhere and there was a raffle, your boy won. 
For example, I went to a sports card event with with my my dad back when I was like I don't know like eight or something, and I entered a raffle because if you just show up, you get put in a raffle to win like free cards, and I won. I won like five hundred dollars worth of cards just because I showed up to an event. Cool. Middle school dance. <laughs> I go to a middle school dance, and um, I think it was when I was in like seventh grade. They did a raffle, and the DJ is like, "All right, party people, it's time. Let's do the raffle. I'm looking for one eight one one two. I'm like, that's me. And says I was like the second person because they they gave it to like ten people. They had like ten gifts to give away. Um. Because I was like the second, I, there was a whole bunch of stuff that I could pick from. They're like, you can get a new iPod Nano. And they show the iPod Nano and everybody's like, Whoa, no way. And keep in mind, I already had an iPod Nano. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I already had an iPod. I didn't have that one, but I had the one with the wheel on it. And like the kind of a widescreen it was still like kind of four by three, but it was more like six by three. That one. And uh, so I was like, I don't really want that. They're like, well, instead of you can have that or this big blue radio. And it was like this. Imagine in your head. You remember those like um, the it was like translucent core. It was like everything was like translucent and colored. You can think of like the Game Boys, sure, but I'm thinking like that. You remember the TVs, or even we're gonna go really far back. You remember like the the IMAX, where they were like they were like transparent blue. <laughs> they had one where uh, it was just a radio, and the radio was like blue, crystal blue, and had the two crystal blue speakers. And I saw that, and I was like, oh, I want the radio. So I get the radio instead of the iPod. And I would like to know, chat, not my brightest moment, because I could have just brought the iPod Nano back to Walmart and received probably triple the money and then bought the radio and then bought a game. But in the moment, your boy wanted that, right? So I bought the radio, or I got the radio, and I remember I was walking away, and this girl walks up to me, and she's like, did you win? I was like, yeah, I got a radio. And she straight up looked at me and went, that looks really stupid. And then just walks away. She came up to me to hate. She didn't even win anything. She didn't win anything. <laughs> Your first chatter. <laughs> Yeah, I was just so I was like I was like okay. The only downside though is that they do they did the raffle halfway through, so I was dancing with a radio for the rest of the time. I couldn't put it down because I thought somebody was gonna yoink it. So I'm just sit I'm just like in the middle of the party, just holding this radio, just going like this in bugs. Like I can't wait to get home. Why'd I do that? Um, but also, I remember the night I set up that radio. Ooh, wee, what a great night. Because I went to bed listening to some, some New Hampshire radio. And that was the first time that I got to listen to A Millie by Lil Wayne. It was like 11 o'clock at night. I turn it on. All right, it's time for a new hit. A milli, a milli, a milli, a mi a mi a milli. I was like, wow. This is what the young kid's been listening to. <laughs> and no joke chat, then, then he went to jail. <laughs> then he went to jail and I had a free Wheezy poster on in my bedroom. That is true, like 2008 core. It really is. If you know, you know, chat. You guys ever seen the free Wheezy posters? 
Yep. Yeah, and that is actually a crazy way to put it. Winning a middle school dance raffle put me on to Lil Wayne. <laughs> That's such a funny way to put it. <clears throat> like, I knew who he was. I just never, like, really listened to his music. Because my mom... Okay, so just to give you context, my mom, obviously, I think this is most parents, don't really like hip-hop or rap music. Um, so my mom... Uh, used to buy every year. She used to listen to like, um, like Kelly Clarkson, Natasha Bedingfield, like all, all like the 2000s, like not necessarily pop, but not necessarily country kind of music, right? But she, she was like listening to like the current stuff, right? Whenever the Grammys happens, is that the beginning or the end of the year? Either way, whenever those happen, they used to release a CD compilation of all of the people who were nominees and winners. And my mom would listen to that in the car with me. And I remember, because we would listen to, to all the music and be like, Since you've been gone, I can't breathe for the first time. And then all of a sudden you'd hear, <laughs> I'll take you to the candy shop. Boom, boom, let you lay the lollipop. And my mom would go, she'd, she'd make like a noise, like, oh, and like skip it. <laughs> and I'm like, mom, why aren't we listening to that? She's like, cause it's profane. And I'm like, I love the candy shop. She's like, no, you don't. And I always wonder like, why is she skipping out on 50 cent? And then I learned, and I was like, wow, this is hard. Because she can't mute Candy Shop when I'm listening to it at 11 p.m. on the radio. <laughs> so, you know, the radio genuinely put me on to rap music. Did she give you the stare of disappointment? No. Because here's the thing. I think that there's an age eventually where, where the parents go like, I can't understand those young kids' songs. But I think my mom was at that age where she was like, she's like, yeah, you know, I've been, I've been there. I've been there, I get it. Which will eventually happen to me. But, you know. I don't think I'm ever gonna be like, ooh, what is you? I can't imagine listening to that. This is what's hip now. How old is my mom? She is, uh, she is 25 and beautiful. Chat, you don't narc on your mom. Don't say that? No, chat, that's actually the most base thing you can say about your mom. Okay. Let's be real. You're gonna go around and be like, Yeah, my mom's 65. She's really old. Weird, chat. Weird. My mom doesn't look a day over 30. I look older than my mom. <laughs> Did you ever play Just Dance? Sometimes chat, sometimes, sometimes I bust a move. Sometimes I get WarioWare and I bust a move. Wait, I have 69 Pokemon. That's sex, guys. Two hundred two k What are your thoughts on Jirachi? Cute little guy. Should show up more often than every 3,000 years, I'm gonna be honest. Jirachi tries a little bit too hard to be popular. Hey guys, I'm back and it's really big news! To show up like every 10 years, people will still be like, whoa, this is hype. You have to make it thousands. 
That's just being dramatic. How long since I started this challenge? Uh, the beginning of the month. <laughs> February 2nd. Which that is, uh... Kind of hard to think about. I've only taken like one day off. How hard is it to get to shiny Jirachi? Hard. Even the one in Go is hard. How would you react if Mr. Beast donated 10 grand in your stream? I would say thanks, Mr. Beast, for the $10,000. Probably. I'd say that's very kind. I'm gonna be, some people might take this the wrong way if they are inclined to give me like a large amount of money, but I don't really get hyped. And it's not because I don't care because I, I think it, it, if you, let's just say you give me $2. I try to react the same way as if somebody gave me a hundred because I think getting super excited for that kind of devalues the other person. Does it not? Because I don't want the people who, who give me two bucks to be like, oh, wow. Now I know who's less important. Because at the end of the day, you both used money of yours that you didn't have to to try and make my day better, right? Obviously, I'm going to be saying, wow, that's a really thoughtful thing for you to do. But I'm not going to be like, I love you. Oh my god, you're the best person ever! Oh my god, I just want to give you kisses on the lips! I only do that for my $2 donos, guys. Only $2 will I do that. You can do that for every dono. I saw, we were looking at my clips last night, which I know you might be like, John, that's a really cringe thing to pull up your own clips at a party. But it was more of like a, uh, we were just showing each other our favorite stream clips from recently. I showed people me dunking. That was a pretty solid clip of recently. Somebody clipped one and said, Twitch streamers be like, can I show you what the clip is? Hopefully it doesn't crash my stream like it did last time. But let me see if I can find it. Pucker up. Oh my God, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Mm, that's so nice of you. I love you. Yeah, I can't do that for everyone, chat. That's that's really difficult to keep up with. Um, what is... Where are my clips? Where are my clips? Videos. Where are my clips? Clips. Dude, why do they make it so hard to find clips? It's like an integral part of Twitch. Okay. Yeah, this one is called... Um, Twitch streamers be like. I honestly don't remember some of the things that I do, but this is this is one of the things that I did apparently. It's called Twitch streamers be like. <clears throat> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I turned down the volume. Oh, uh, I messed up again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got it this time. Twitch streamers be like. Hey everyone! Please, please, give me money, please! I need money, please! I need my Pokemon box, please! I don't remember doing that, honestly. I really don't. Um, and you know what, Chad? Admittedly, that was a pretty dark time in my life, and I'm not proud of it. Um, but you know what? Sometimes you just, you gotta do what you gotta do. We need an eight hour money begging stream. Are you guys gonna give me money? <laughs> Cause then it's cringe if you don't. You just watch me beg for eight hours. You know what, I'm gonna say something really based. I don't care if I get flack for it. That is qu quite literally just a TikTok live stream. That is all TikTok live streams are. It is just begging for money for like three hours straight.
There's not a, a, a crumb of relatability in any of those streams I've ever seen. It still blows my mind that there is not only a feature, but people entertain the feature of, of doing a battle against the other person where the entire concept is who can give the other person the most money in five minutes. And they, it, that is the entire basis of the stream is just how much more money, like if I, I could go and stream against my, like my friend, rich, we would both go live on TikTok and do a battle for like an hour where every five minutes, each of our chats donates to us as much as possible. And whoever wins by the most donations wins the battle. Does anybody in chat financially gain from that? No. Do you get emotes? No. Do you get ad free viewing? Definitely not. You just give money to the person for nothing. Which, here's the thing, chat. Does that happen to my stream? Yes. Captain, thanks for the 100 bits. I didn't do anything. You just gave me 100 bits because you wanted to. Great. But chat, quite literally, thousands of dollars to just prove that you have more money than the other chat. It is the most mind boggling thing. Truly it is. And I, like, you know, I, you know, make your bag, make your bag. If it's there, it's there, right? But I just don't understand why people donate. <laughs> I don't. Dude, I hate condensation on drinks. When you pick it up, it just drips all over you. Cool feature. Who did that? Who made cups? Get rid of them. I wanna know, what, what happened to drinking out of a lake? I remember the old days. Remember the old days, guys? Remember back in the day, you could just go out to your lake and just drink it? None of those, those, those cups that everybody be using now. Lakes are full of disease, yeah, but that made you stronger. Oh, I need to get the coin case. Coins. I need coins. Yeah, what happened to the coffee ice cubes? Why is that not? I would pay more money to have coffee ice cubes. This is one of the saddest moments in Pokemon. Go ahead, laugh. I'm flat out busted. No more slot for me. I'm going straight. I don't remember him being gay. I don't remember that part of the storyline. Huh. That, and also, how does that relate to gambling? There's gay gambling? <laughs> Here, I won't be needing this anymore. That look, that actually looks really good. Is that almond rice? Is that what that's supposed to be? It's just eggs and ketchup, and I don't know what the green stuff is. Mm, green rice, <laughs> yummy. I'd go to a gay casino for real, though. For real, for real. Okay, so I need in total 6,500 plus, I presume Dratini is 2,800. It's only showing me the fire red prices, not the leaf green. Um, Because for some reason they're different. Chad, do I gamble a little bit? Because here's the thing, gambling in this game is actually timing based. It's not luck. It's skill. Gambling is wrong. But why does it feel so right, guys? If your wizard name would be meticulous, what would your clown name be? 
John. Wait, does this game have the lucky slots? If you didn't know, depending on the day, there is a person in the gold and silver games who sits at a lucky slot. If you go at the times of the day when he's not there, there's no time-based system. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. All right, it's time. I will not leave this seat until I get max coins. 450 coins is easy. So it's a timing thing. Watch this. I'll nail it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah! One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. No. No. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. We're up! One, two, three. 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 Okay, you gotta hype me up. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I don't know what I did. Okay, <laughs> sure. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. Wow, four. This is rigged. If I eyeball it, sometimes you can get it. I wait until I see the rocket symbol. Woo! I'm the go, baby! That's right! Yes! I told you! It's all about knowledge! Max out my coins! Run it up! Yeah! Let's go! Big money! Yeah, yeah, I just won. Yeah, I know. What? You you want me to come in the back room? What? Yeah, but it's a huge, it's a huge. <clears throat> I had to go. I had to go in the. Okay, uh, I'll talk to some people. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll be back. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry. I'll be back. And we're gonna win some more. We're gonna win. It's gonna be huge. Ow! Ow! Oh, no! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to win. Uh, let's just, let's just go, guys. We'll just leave. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We'll just we'll just go. We, we hey, we'll leave while we're up. We'll leave while we're up. Let's, let's just go get our Pokemon. Wait, I don't have. Hold on. I need to go into my PC. <laughs> yeah, I I I convinced him. I convinced him to leave. Don't worry. Do I even have enough coins? <laughs> no, it's fine. Please remove the mail. Jinx is a woman. Guys. Also, chat, my arm is so red. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 
Anyways, hey, let's go and, uh... Yeah, I realized halfway through, I was like, I should probably stop slapping my arm raw. I should probably just slap my shoulder, because that makes the same sound. <sighs> Anyways. Okay, let's get Porygon. Do I have enough? Okay, we're gonna sneak in. We're gonna sneak into the casino. It's gonna be safe. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be clean. We're gonna be. We're gonna play clean. Okay. We're gonna be careful. We're just gonna go in. We're gonna get in. Get out. That gamba. Um, oh no! So I was actually just cash. I was just cashing out. It's funny. I'm buying. No, I'm not buying. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just cashing out. No, I'll, I'm leaving. <laughs> what? Okay, guys. I'll be back. I'll be back. <clears throat> Hey guys, it's John. <clears throat> it's John here. No, I'm not different. I'm the, I'm the same. I'm the same guy. Okay, I'm not. John's a little, um, busy today. John is what some might say, learning his lesson. Wow, it's shiny. That's so sick. No, guys, it's me. I was acting. Don't worry, guys. It's actually me. Wow, it's shiny. Look at that. That's super cool. <laughs> yeah, guys, I was just acting. Thoughts on James' inflatable honkers from that one episode of the anime? I, I replayed a lot of scenes in that episode. I really don't remember what happened in the episode, but I was there were a couple of scenes where I was just... kept replaying. Um, I remember awooging a lot too. Oh, wait a second. Is Rapidash an XD? Goodbye, message. Oh, I already read Jinx's mail, and it was absolutely profane. I would never expose you guys to that. Is 
So, um, <clears throat> with that done, we are down to like a couple more Pokemon. And then we're done with this game, and then we just have to play through... Oh, oh, just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of Fire Red. Just a teeny, tiny bit. But I do need to go to Mount Ember. Which... Not sure what island that's on. I know it's one of the early islands. It's like Island 2, I think. How much are Fire Red? Uh, we just need to be able to get Surf. Few hours. Few. No, this is Cape Rank, so it's definitely not here. Wait, no, it's not Island 1. It has to be Island 3, right? Because Island 1, I go north and it's the beach. Yeah. It's 1? Oh, it is. I was thinking of Island 3. I got it mixed up. What do I need to get for Fire Red? Just a couple of little guys. Like an Ammonite. Or Kabuto. Ammonite. I need to get an Ammonite. But I do need to get a Ponyta from here. No. Okay, we're good. I almost did it again. That would have been crazy. No, that's for a video. Onion. And we do not need to catch any of the legendaries. Rats. No, no Moltres. I didn't even need Zapdos. <laughs> I just got it because it makes the game easier. Why why is Vapoeon look like Whaleod in the water? These are thoughts I also have at night. I really be up thinking. You ever have those thoughts that keep you up at night? I'd be thinking of stuff like that I forgot at the grocery store. Man, I forgot to get mayo. Nah, I'd go to the store tomorrow and get exclusively mayo. And that's really weird. That's a really weird thing to do as a as a grown human. Just mayo. Anything else? Nope, just mayo. <clears throat> what does Keck W mean? People just be typing it, honestly. That mayo commercial? Oh, with the cat? Yeah. Yeah, what was that about? What was going on there? Um, Mount Ember. Point has 35%. If I get haunts, big haunts, I'm gonna be mad. Actually, mad. Never mind, we're good. There it is! There it is! There it is! Real ones know. Real ones know about that. One of the most iconic, if not the most iconic, Pokemon video of all time. Yeah, I just have some 41 playing in the background. Truly, I do not think there was a more iconic video. It's hard to beat.
Yeah, I meant for Pokemon, Chad. <laughs> for gaming, probably not. But for Pokemon shiny hunting reactions, it's it's probably number one. Chad, I'm not gonna lie. My Tommy hurt. I ate a lot of bad food yesterday, which is fair. I'm paying the price. But my Tommy hurt big. <laughs> it's crazy bad. Um, okay, so I need to... I'm just gonna fish for Krabby on Route 4. Unless on Route 19 I can fish for Krabby, because Kingler is a 4% encounter on Route 4. Route 19, I mean. Let's just see. Because if I can just get Kingler, why not? Why did I put Route 19? You can't even... Oh, is it just... It's not updated? Hold on. Fishing. Super Rod is 80% crabby. Four percent Kingler. Okay. Speaking of yesterday, what team were you going for? Chad, I've said this before and I'll gladly say it again. I don't have any horse in sports game races. What a weird way to say that. I don't I don't pick a specific team. I just be watching and I just be drinking. That's it. It really is just a way to get the fellas together. I don't I don't really watch any sports. I have nothing against it. I just don't have time to invest in into an entire season. I truly don't. Um if I ever were to, I would like it would be the NBA. I think basketball's sick. And I think it's like it's entertaining the entire way throughout. Football is too. Baseball, I used I grew up on baseball, loved baseball until I realized how much of baseball nothing happens. It is there baseball is like genuinely 9% interesting. And it hurts me because like I I grew up on oh I'm on the wrong route. I grew up on it and it's like they say baseball is America's pastime. It's not. I don't know anybody who watches baseball. I don't. I know a lot of people who watch football. I know a lot of people who watch basketball. <laughs> I do not know anybody <laughs> who watches baseball. That did you know you most likely have a free subscription? It's true. I ever said thank you the seven months. Nero, think of the three if I didn't say that. Like, baseball is is cool when it's a really good game. When it's a really bad game, it's boring. Basketball? They're always sinking buckets. You know what I mean? There are some baseball games where there's only a couple hits. And the weird part about it is that it's actually more hype like, it, it, so if there's like one hit the entire game, it's a bad game. But if there's no hits the entire game, it's the most hype baseball game you've ever seen. But the moment one, the moment one hit goes in, bad game. Because they didn't get a no hitter. You either want as many hits as possible or none at all. Not a single one. And the odds of either one of those happening is not very likely. I'm trying to have not every game, but most games. Let me, let me take you back to 2004. It's the bottom of the ninth. Maybe, I don't know if it's the last game of the World Series, but it's almost the last game of the It's Red Sox. Big Poppy comes up to the plate. Base is loaded. Knocks a grand slam out of the park to win the game. To then win the World Series. Holy moly. What a riveting experience. Why are you yelling? <laughs> 
Chat, do I yell a lot? I mean, it's just the average Johnstone experience. I missed 2004. I don't think there's anything else that really... Are there any things that happened in 2004? Other than that? Yeah, it is kind of funny that the World Series is only for the U.S. But it is the world... Like, there are other places in the world that play baseball. <laughs> One thing that I saw today that just did not, it was like the weirdest argument is people were saying that they were saying that the World Cup was better than the Super Bowl, which at the end of the day, you can have your own opinion. They were saying the World Cup was better than the Super Bowl because of viewer count. Which like... Obviously, obviously a game that takes place with the entire Earth would get more viewership than just the U.S. <laughs> I felt that that was like, that was like the, that was the only reason to like, it's better because they have more viewers. And I'm not saying like, f U.S. football is better than universal, what's, what is everybody else football? <laughs> But using the basis of viewership when it's the Earth versus the U.S. is like a really weird comparison. This is going one in one ear out the other. I'm not saying that soccer's bad. I'm saying that if you're basing it off of viewership, that's a really dumb mentality. Is the World Cup better than the Super Bowl? Sure. Yeah. It's probably way more hype. I've never watched it. But based on saying that it's better because they get more views is dumb because it's obvious. You know what I mean? This is a weird comparison. Did I play sports in high school? No. No, I'm not coordinated. At all. Not even a little bit. I still ain't got polywag. World champions of the NBA. Yeah, that's actually a fair point. Yeah, why are they not world champions? Because they have basketball in the Olympics, don't they? Pretty sure they do. Because, like, basketball in China is huge, is it not? All right. People in the U.S. World watch the World Cup? Probably, yeah. I just don't. Because like I said, I just don't really watch sports. Because I just, I don't have the time to invest. I only watch it if it's like a, a really big thing that I gravitate towards. Keyword. I grew up watching football. I did not grow up watching football. You know? Um... But last year, what was it, 4 billion people watched the World Cup? Like, statistically, yeah. Most people in the U.S. probably <laughs> watched it, right? Or at least, like, 25%. One in four households watched, watched the World Cup. Which, that is a pretty wide... It's almost like a not-believable metric, but, I mean... It makes sense. Because it's Earth, you know? All right, chat. I will, not that you care at all. I will watch it. I will watch it this year. Not the whole thing, because that, does anybody, does anybody watch the, like, every, I guess you can't watch every game, but like, <laughs> do you watch like multiple sports, multiple teams, multiple countries? Okay, it's now time to play. There's no World Cup this year? It's not every year? <laughs> I'm stupid! 
Every four years? Okay, I guess that, that would make more sense. It would. All right, chat, it's time to take a little trip down memory lane. I broke it. I broke my game. Oh, that's it. Challenge over, guys. I broke it. No, hold on, baby. Maybe I fix it. We're good! Wait! Wait! Oh! Um, what does that even mean? Hold on. What does that even mean? I've never seen this before. The 1M circuit board is not installed? Wait, it wiped my save file! What?! It straight up cooked my sa There's no way! I've never seen- What is that error? No, it's a real cart. This is my- this is my childhood cart. You can tell. You can tell it's real. Super obvious. I've never seen that error. Okay. Weird. So, Chad, this is my, um, <laughs> no, no, no. Corrosion? Interesting. Make a backup chat. I, I I'm soft resetting over this file. I'm just showing you. This is my file that I use to um do my fire red leaf green catch them all. Back in like 20. I think I uploaded it in 2020, but it was 2019 when I did it. I don't really remember. Mike. Yeah, because I used to do a uh, top comment of the previous video would be the name. So if you look at the top for that video. Hey, see, you got all these guys. All these guys in the game. Wow. Anyways, yeah. I didn't get anything cool, so I don't really care. So, chat, I'm gonna do something very scary. Look away. Oops. Oh, yeah, I have to do select up B. It's select down B. I'm sorry. That's the Barry program update. My bad. <laughs> I didn't even press a directional. I don't think I've ever, I did not know it was green. This is ugly. <laughs> I thought they were always blue. Goodbye. No, cause normally it's blue. All right, chat, we're now, wait, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness, I messed up so bad. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Wait. All right, as you can see in the bottom right, we're now playing Fire Red. We're good. Are you Boik or Yerk? I'm Boik.
Rival name? All those childhood memories gone, Chad. This is not- that was my childhood. It was my childhood cartridge, not my childhood save. Ex-husband, it doesn't fit. However, divorce fits perfectly. <laughs> My character is no longer gay, chat. Biking. No, we don't get the bike until Cerulean. So we're just walking. <laughs> you can only be gay if you're married. <laughs> yep. That's a, that's, a, that's a true fact, guys. Straight until gay marriage. Twitch is freaking out today, chat. Oh my goodness. It says, welcome to the chat room. Refresh. So chat, I am going to be choosing, I'm not letting you pick. Sorry. Squirble. I'm choosing squirmins. I'm choosing squirp, squarbin, carbon, gerbins, bargain, Cor squirbs. You can name it though if you want. Scarbin, quirky, carpwins. Purple tunnel. One M circuit. That just sounds like he's a like a racer. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the One M circuit. We've got some beautiful cars racing today. How would I just come up with squirm? Squirm, squirms, 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 squirms. Mmm, love me some squirms. Divorce. Wait, huge brain idea. We name our rival I. So it says I received the Charmander from Professor Oak. Oh my god, then we get two starters. Wait. Why don't I ever do that? Rifle divorce. Ah! Squirbins. No, chat, listen. Per contract, he only gets Bulbasaur on the weekends. Hey, John Stone, how to get every start in Pokemon Gold and Silver? Yes. I think so. I'll win. I'll win this divorce. Try me. I'll beat this divorce. And by by beating... I guess in turn by beating the divorce is it I get a monetary gain or I get him back. How does that work? Are we back together now? Or did I just get more money? I say that I just got more money, considering that he paid me $80. <laughs> it's alimony. <laughs> Every time I beat him, I just get a little bit of alimony. Okay, let's go this way. North. So there are some version exclusives that I have to catch in this game, which I am now going to pull up. It's Ekans. 
It is basically just Ekans, but also Growlithe and Shelder, which are in XD, are options. I will say Shelder's a little bit annoying. Growlithe I can manage. Ekans D's nuts. Guys, that doesn't make sense. Grow up! Jace! I didn't raise you to be like this, okay? I don't know if this is your 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 mother or what, but. You need to get together, okay? It's time. Hey chat, while we're talking about divorce, make sure to check those primes! If you link your Amazon account to your Twitch account, you get a free prime sub. I feel like everybody's now is just like reliving their parents' divorce. <laughs> Sorry chat. Don't worry, I've been there. Not in a divorce. Anyways, hey, Shabby, thanks for the prime. Appreciate it. Just sing with me. The M1 circuit board, by the way. Divorce, I almost forgot. Real. Okay, so yeah, I need to get Ekans on Route 4. And then... Arcanine, which is really close to that. That's when we get go to Celadon. Cloister. I think I can avoid doing Cloister. People are saying it's because of the bootleg. Chat, I went to Walmart to buy this. <laughs> I vividly remember being in the Walmart checkout line with my mom, absolutely grinning ear to ear to get this game. I can assure you, that is not the case. Console is bootleg? No, not really. Because it runs on the Game Boy architecture. Did you know that Ekans is M1 circuit board backwards? Yep. Heard about that. Heard that. I do be walking. Okay, so I need to grab... If I can get a Pikachu while I'm in the forest, that would be really sick. That'd be really sick. What are we doing now, chat? We are playing Gen 1. Gen 3. I just need to get some exclusive Pokemon from this game. Just a couple. We need to, uh, we're on the hunt to just get a Helix Fossil and reviving it. So, that's the game plan. Oh, I just need, uh, I just need to get Pikachu so I can get through the first gym, or the second gym. Because War Total really isn't going to be good for that. It's like a, f what, 5%? It's not very common. But I might ride it out. I might give it a shot. Viridian Forest, it is a 5%. Yeah. But you never know, I could luck out. That's a 5%. Luck's already there. I'll just run to every patch of grass on the way there, and eventually they'll show up, right? <laughs> just need to get 20 encounters before I exit. It's 
squirmins. Is this count as wormpy? Wormins? Wordle. Wordle, guys. Wordle of the day. Remember when Wordle crashed my stream? That was pretty fun. That was a fun day. By the way, I did update my OBS. We are now on, on 30.0.2. So no issues. And dare I say, it looks exactly the same. The same. OBS 30. Everything Johnstone does makes my day everything. Everything? How about that chat? Andromedema, thank you for the three months. Enjoy your emotes. Thank you, thank you. Potion. Ah! Tough day. Good luck with Atkins. Hey, appreciate it, Stevie. Thank you, thank you. Even when he begged for money. Chat, okay, hey, hold on, hold on now. Hold on. Chat, do you have a valentine? Yeah, chat, do you have a valentine? See, I'm just gonna steal your questions now and, answer, and ask them myself. Chat is my valentine. Yikes. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Intrusive thoughts, intrusive thoughts. My bad, my bad. John, you are included in this chat. Are you asking if I have a Valentine? Maybe. Maybe. Possibly. Perhaps. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be um, streaming on Valentine's Day. <laughs> we'll see, we will see. We'll see, maybe I'll stream for a little bit. Maybe for a little bit. I might have plans. I might. We will see. But John, I'll be alone if you don't stream. Then you stream. and then just do like a really bad impersonation of me. Valentine's Day is kind of meh. Do you have a Valentine? Just be single. Well, that's probably why Valentine's Day is not fun for you. <laughs> Felt that, I feel like that kind of went without saying. Yeah, it's not very fun if you don't have a Valentine. Typically, yes, that's how that works. Chat, treat every day like Valentine's Day. Yeah, I'm using the analog. Bug catcher Sammy. See you later, Sammy. And your stupid Weedle. Treat every day like hot dog day. You think that's what Joey Chestnut does? He be eating those dogs. For real, for real. I can't imagine he eats a lot of hot dogs in his free time.
Well, yeah, you gotta train. What is side existence? <laughs> Clark can only eat two hot dogs in one sitting. Everybody point and laugh. Clark can only eat two hot dogs. Oh, that's so embarrassing. You can never be like Joey Chestnut, Clark. You can't eat 75 hot dogs in one sitting. <laughs> Amateur. That's not even like, that's not even like half. Wait, can somebody check on that? Is, is two half of 75? It's not, right? It is? <laughs> they triggered my IBS. What does that stand for? IB second? Because he didn't eat as many as Joey Chestnut? Boom! Boom, Clark! Get de destroyed! Ooh, I got one more in me. Keep him coming. John, I will get disgusting in this chat. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> kind of want to see it, honestly. I will overshare. Oh. Clark, what separates you doing that in every comment in this chat on a daily basis? Kakuna, by the way. Um, uh, actually, I'm not gonna catch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick around until I get Pikachu. Wormpy. Chat, what's your favorite worm? I don't have enough worm emotes. Now that I think about it, I need more worm. Wormbins. Unfortunately, there's no repel trick. I can static, but I don't have any guys to do that. So that's not going to happen. I can never play Fire without Pikachu. <sighs> you know what? When I was younger, yeah, I wanted Pikachu on the team, and then I realized Pikachu's so bad. <laughs> Like, Raichu is just an unbelievably average Pokemon. It, they, Raichu desperately needs a nerf buff. Sorry, imagine, imagine if they nerfed Raichu. What's Raichu's best stat? It's like 80, isn't it? Or 90? Oh no, wait, special attack is like 110, isn't it? Why does it suck so bad? Is his defenses? For being the mascot, it should be like, Kinda good. Oh, true, yes, that doesn't even work in this game. 110 speed, mm. Quick little rat. Yeah, Lolan Raichu's better though, isn't it? Yeah, like that, that spread is not terrible. Your hair's been fire recently? No, chat. My hair is awful. I need to go to the barber. I'll probably go on Wednesday. But thanks. Thanks for making me feel good. I just need the little rat. And he needs to come. Fat. Rat. Is your barber your Valentine? No. My barber doesn't even speak English. So my previous barber um, doesn't work there anymore. He used to work there. Remember that one time I, to I told my barber about how I got into a car accident and he said, if you don't, this is what happened. He was like, I told him I got into an accident and the guy like rushed in my face. While he was cutting my hair, he's like, I would have done this. And he puts the clippers down and goes like this. Bow, bow. I would have blasted him. Bow, bow. And then said nothing after and continued to cut my hair. It was really funny. I'm not going to lie. It was really, really funny. Um... But yeah, so, where was I going with that story? Oh yeah, so I don't have him anymore as my barber. He just, he, he like owns the place and he just makes enough money where he doesn't need to go anywhere. 
which is pretty Chad, right? It's pretty sick. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Get in the ball today, today, today. Five balls. Five. And I only need two. I only needed one. Rikachu. I do already have this Pokemon, but it is uh, helpful for getting through Misty's gym. Anyways, so um, I got a, a new barber replaced his position, and he only speaks Spanish. Aside from like the bare essentials of what do you want? And do you want me to like clean up your beard? Those are like the only things we ever talk about. But here's the thing though, chat. Despite the language barrier, he doesn't miss. What beard? Well, I'm not saying that I have a beard. It's just that's like a common thing. If you have any facial hair, they offer to clean. They like offer to like line you up, and I don't like how I look lined with a lined up beard. It looks too clean. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not saying that it looks good. It just looks too clean. Yeah, I can't think of a better word for it. I look rugged. I don't. Rugged doesn't. Isn't rugged like? rough looking because if when you think of like when you go to the barber and you get a lineup and they like line up the sides of your head some people have their like their foreheads lined up right um just imagine that for your beard top and bottom like having like a they call it like the c cup it, go, it starts right here and it goes and it spells out like a c it's like a perfect line it just looks goofy on me. It just looks really weird. So I just don't get it. Screamings. So I just typically leave it alone. Wait, why did I? I'm silly. Wait. I'm actually gonna throw. Well, I didn't. No, I healed. Never mind. I healed. I healed. I healed. We're good. Pikachu looks so cute. Oh. Wait. Oh my god. It's just like the anime. Wait. Somebody. Somebody take all the power. Yeah, I'm actually gonna throw. That was. We, we were literally playing the anime episode. I'm just gonna lose now. Ow. Oh my god. I can't win. Oh my god, guys, I can't win. I don't have any I don't have enough smarts. Ah. Uh, how far do I need to get in this game? I need to beat Koga. That's it. Which like that is a little bit of time, but we can we can get there quick. Cuz I will just use Blastoise. And once Blastoise learns surf, pretty much like just dunks on everything. Unless it's a really bad Squirtle, which I didn't check. I'm throwing so I can get Pikachu to be stronger. Because Onyx gives like 300 XP. And I just wasn't paying attention. Now, now I'm educated and you always win, just like the anime, one win the second time. Now that I've learned and I think I met his dad or something. I think. No, I'm not bad. Stop. I'm not bad at games. I'm really good. Guys, I'm so good at games. Hold on. 
Brock kind of gave Ash the badge because he felt bad for him. Is that not most of the badges that Ash, is, Ash gets? Like, I feel like that's, that's the plot of most of Gen 1. Is like, he didn't actually win, he just did a favor. <laughs> or did something like accidentally cool. Cause he beat, I never watched the episode I don't think, but he beat Surge, right? Did he beat Misty? No, because Misty wasn't the gym leader. Did he beat the, the sisters? Whatever their names were. I don't even know how he got the badge from them. Oh, is it because he saved the Pokemon Center? Oh, I have it on set. That's why. Weird. Anyways. Erica, I don't remember that. I don't really remember a lot of late Gen 1 stuff, like in the anime. Wow, I won. Like, Blaine? Couldn't tell you how that battle went. Does he fight Giovanni? I I really should just watch the Pokemon anime. It's just it's so long. It's just so long and a lot of it is just like filler and kind of boring. I hate to say it, but like I love Pokemon but it's, it is crazy how many episodes just truly do not matter. <laughs> is there a website for, um, for Pokemon filler? I assume, because there are websites for like just animes in general that have filler and stuff like that. But we're gonna get back to the the uh, current topic about Pokemon, uh, how impossible it is to see every single episode in a convenient location. It is a tad bit frustrating. I've said this before, chat, I, I don't like the concept of, of like, you know, going online if you're picking up what I'm putting down. I, I'm too scared. I'm too baby for that. For real. Way too baby. But I do want to watch, I don't think I've watched all the banned episodes. And that's like the only way I can watch them, to be fair. If I watched, let's just say, how many episodes are there of the anime? Pokemon TV is already down unless you have it downloaded, which I do. Yeah, there's like a thousand. I was going to ask the question, how long would it take me if I watched like three a night? <laughs> it would take me quite nearly a year. Cause that's how, that's how many I really think I could watch a night. Well, the episodes are 30, it, yeah, cause I, when I lay in bed chat, it's EP time. Your boy's EP and it's bedtime. Like I turned on Avatar The Last Airbender last night and I immediately fell asleep. Straight to bed. I just need that noise. Kanto and Johto combined are only 20 28% filler. So nearly one in every four episodes. 
is not worth watching. Yeah, it's, I feel like it's a high percentage chat. Most TV shows that I watch, maybe there's like, it's like 5%. You have decent sleeping habits? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I sleep an appropriate amount. There's some some nights I stay up till like one, but you know, then I compensate and sleep a little bit longer. Hey chat, when do you go to bed? Like is your is your sleep schedule terrible? I feel like when you're younger, it's cool. 6 a.m. is nuts, dude. Oh my god. That's crazy. 6 a.m. Unless you work a night shift, then that's that's totally reasonable. Yeah, I try to go to bed at like 10. No, 11. I try to go to bed at 11. Cuz here's the thing is I get up at like 7. There's really not a, I I don't have the opportunity to <laughs> you know. Oh, I get up early so I can go to the gym. Cuz if I don't get up early to go to the gym, I'm not going. You can't convince me midday to just stop and go to the gym. Will not happen. End of the day, I'm too tired to go, so I might as well just get it out of the way in the morning, right? Yeah, I go from like like 10 to 6, 10 to 7. What time is it for me right now? 2.35. 2.38, sorry. My clock on my PC is off by three minutes, and it just will not fix. I've tried so many ways. Water gun. Sure, I'll do that over. Withdraw. Yeah, PM. Chad, I've done early in the morning streams, and they are very unhinged. We try and avoid those. Unhinged on my end and chat. <laughs> I'm trying to think of ones that we've done. It's usually like whenever a new game comes out. Because I'm just CP. Pokemon presents it's so annoying. I wish like and I, it's it's not like it's not their fault because they're doing it based on like Japan time, but like why why are time why are so far away from Japan? Not to get up at, at 5 a.m. to watch a 7 a.m. presents. How long it take you to to get consistent with going to the gym? Um I was really interested in learning, so I would say like it wasn't it didn't take me initially like anything anytime it was like the moment I went I was like oh yeah I want to learn how to do this but um after that like a month in it's like it's kind of a struggle because you're like man I don't really want to go this morning I'm busy today anyways that's really when I started finding excuses to not go it's really not the beginning for me, at least. Which, I, I don't think that's the norm. But, um... Also, going with somebody to keep you accountable is nice, if they go. That's the real issue. Because I think this happens so, for so many people, is they will go with people, and... Then, the, the other person, or you, gives up after, like, a week. 
and then the other person's not motivated, and you both stop going. That's like, that's happened to me before. Like, when I was in high school, I tried to go to the gym with people, and they just stopped going. I was like, oh, okay, well, I don't want to go now. Squirmims. What? All right, that's not good. No, okay. Large, watch this. Disable, go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Smorts. Can you do a glute spread? No. Thank you for asking. Crazy chat. Okay, I'm level 10. That's honestly... I should be... Good? Probably not. Once I get through all of Mount Moon, I should be fine. Not gonna lie, I'm getting kind of hungry. So I'm pretty sure that a glue spread is actually like an exercise. Yeah, chat, it's a... Uh... It's more of to like show off your legs from the back. Yeah, I didn't I didn't take it that they wanted me to spread my butt cheeks. <laughs> I didn't take it that way. I just don't want to turn around and show you my butt and my legs. <laughs> it is, you know what? You know what, chat? It's a terrible name. It's a terrible name to show off your gains. Front double bicep? Sounds way better. <laughs> We're not doing that around these parts or any parts. <sighs> chat Hey chat Check those primes <laughs> If you like glute spreads check those primes link your Amazon account to your Twitch account get a free prime sub What am I thinking for food? Shockingly, no leftovers really from the Super Bowl, which is unfortunate because that's honestly the only like good after part of having a party is that you have a lot of grub. People leave a lot of grub. We truly ate all of it. Pho. <sighs> the places near me aren't really that good for it. It's good though. It's good. But I'm also I'm I'm really not a soup base kind of guy. The jackpot. Thank you for the prime. Chad, you guys ever won money from like a scratch off? Like big money. 100 bucks is big money, by the way. You ever won in, in like the lottery? Oh, rat gone. No more rats. Yeah, I only do scratch offs whenever it's like, um, 
a gift. I did it once the day I turned 18, like 12.05 a.m. And I won like five bucks on a dollar scratch off. I was like, wow, I get it. <laughs> well, Chad, I was in college, like what am I gonna do? We're already are we're already up. We're already up at 1205. It's my birthday. Run it. Squirmims. Squirbin. Corbin. Portland. I want to try and do something funny. Like what? <laughs> Crimes. Yeah, other than that, I, I can't think of any other time that I've like gone out of my way to like gamble. Unless I'm obligated, like the one time I went to Vegas for a, for a wedding. And I quite literally brought $50 to gamble with. And your boy was up. He made 60 bucks. Whoo, 60 clean ones. And then I lost the next day and lost it all. So if there's anything to take away from that, uh, gambling kind of silly. Squirmims has to have a really bad speed IV. And I know that this is like a really cold take, and I know you guys are also gonna meme on it, but like, I work hard to make, you know, money, and I don't wanna just gamble it with like a 5% chance that I'm gonna make double it. <laughs> it just doesn't, none of it seems entertaining to me. It just doesn't seem like a fun activity. Yeah, but you could double it. I could also just work harder and then make the money. Stream it, then it's a tax write off. Wait! Hold on! Chat! I'm going to kick! Today! That's right, baby! It's happening! You convinced me! I found the loophole! Square Mims, no, don't be don't be com confused. What does a casino smell like? I don't think it really smells. That's a strange question to ask. <laughs> Smoke? No, I don't think so. Wow. Absolutely destroyed. This is a terrible Pokemon. You can either get one mil right now, or you have one month to bowl a perfect game for 10 mil. Which do you pick? One mil, because I might not live to see the next month. Okay, that was really dark. That's not it. That's not what I meant. Like, I could get hit by a car and then not have any of the money. <laughs> sorry, sorry, chat. Sorry. That wasn't a call for help. I promise. It wasn't a call for help. <laughs> I was thinking of most, the most rational way. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Chad, that's not what I meant! Oh, boy. One mil in gamble? <laughs> oh, no, Chad! You ever see that? There's a story about some guy. It was like the most, like, Vegas story ever, and Vegas just ate it up because it's, like, a success story. So, there's this guy who 
he sold his house and all of his belongings to get like 300k and then bet it all on one game of roulette. Like he, he like traveled across the country. Not, I don't know if he hitchhiked or whatever, or if he, he like took an RV or whatever. Um, and he gambled it all on one roulette spin and won. And the only reason people know about that story is because he won. And and Vegas is like, cha ching, that could be you. Sell your home. Sell it right now. You don't need it. <laughs> Cause if they lost, they'd be like, easy clap, baby. That's money right there. Yeah, whenever it comes to like um, lottery stuff, I feel like I would I would just take the money. You know, like say if you won the lottery, you have two options. At least in the U.S., you have two options: whether it be take all the money and get taxed on all of it immediately, or you get paid out monthly, but in turn you get more money back. Right? I would just... I would just take all of it. Why do you even get taxed? <laughs> Welcome to America, baby. Welcome to America. And be taxed? Okay, Beth, let, let's just look at it from this perspective. Typically, when there are big wins... What's a, what's like a big win in in lottery that's not like on the extreme end? Like typically they go to like 30, 40 million, right? Let's just say you lose half of that to taxes because that's typically what would happen. So I'd make 20 million dollars up front. I feel like 20 million versus 25 million is like like it's not like it is it's a lot of money, but I already have a lot of money cuz I got 20 million dollars. I feel like I just wouldn't care. That's like if you won a lottery and you got $20 or $25. It, uh, you know? I don't know. I'm not winning regardless. Let's be real. It's not happening. The only thing I'd do is if I didn't, if I did win, I just wouldn't tell anybody. Because that's like kind of the downfall. I, this team sucks. Actually, bat, I'm losing to a Zubat. A bat. Pikachu, how are you? Oh my god. Would I keep streaming? Yeah, that's probably all I would do. That'd be the giveaway, is I would stop making YouTube videos and I would just stream all day for fun. When John doesn't put out a video, he won the lottery. Yep. That's right. Um, what's my team looking like? Really sad. Great. He was streaming a lot for the past few days. I won the lottery in my Nuzlocke. Chat, that, that does not sound like me. Okay, guys. That's not what I sound like. That's strictly, that's strictly my VOD channel. That's different. 
You ate that? Don't, don't sus, don't sus me. It's not weird. What do you think the most difficult Pokemon would be to get? Oh, I just lose. Never mind. Uh, it was Ho-Oh, and we already got it. Next one's Lugia. John, you made a video that said you lost 19,000 on your Nuzlocke. When? When did I lose $19,000, chat? When in the world did that happen? Squirmins. Squirmins. Oh! Why is he called Squirmins? Because that's he's squir Squirtles. Squirtles. Scarbin. Squarbins. Smartphone. Watad. Warnumbins. Watardins. Love him. Okay, so now we get a fossil. You do not get to vote. Sorry. Helix fossil. Sorry. Do I squeak by with my antidote on 8 HP? I do. What's your Squirtle's nature? Quiet. Wow, that's a low ID number. 588? Eight, eight? I don't think I've ever got triple digits like that. Those are my stats for Squirmims. I think it's really bad. Like, the speed alone just looks terrible, but I'm pretty sure this is just a bad, bad, bad Pokemon. <laughs> Putting $65,000 on the line and had nothing to do with the video? Oh yeah, that's because my Twitch income got leaked. And I made 65 grand. <laughs> that's why it was called that. Yeah. No, that one actually made sense, chat. You remember when they leaked all of all the money that every Twitch creator made and there was this giant text file and everybody was being identified based on their number? Yeah, that was really funny. That was a sick moment. And there were so many people who were like, they are like, oh no, no, that's not true, guys, stop! I was like, yeah, yeah, that's accurate. <laughs> Honestly, it might be a little bit more, I don't know. Die, rise, or fall, chat, it, it's m much higher now. Yeah. If I, that, if I streamed one more day after that, I would have been higher up. Also, that number was really old, too, wasn't it? Big respect to your openness. I, hot take, I don't think that's, like, respectful. I think just, like, acting... Because if you just do research... You know, if you go online, you can see exactly how many subs. I just don't put it on... I just don't... I guess I have space. I can put up how many subs I have. How many subs do I have? Currently, I have 1,370 paid subs. If you want to know how much I make off of subs per month, or at least this month currently, multiply that number by the 70% of the $5, which is 3.5. So it's like $5,000. Like, I, I could I hide that? Sure. It would take you about five minutes to figure that information if I didn't tell you. Add 3.5 to that total. <laughs> uh, the Great Deku, thank you for the Prime. I appreciate it. 
And then you have ads and stuff, and that's just Twitch. Like, there's just no, there's absolutely no point in lying about that. I will say though, chat, um, Twitch is the only one that you can look up and it's actually accurate. YouTube, if you, they have like Social Blade, if you look it up, it is laughably off. Like, truly, so unbelievably wrong. It's insane. Um, I think I mentioned this last week. They said that per year, at the absolute worst on YouTube, I make $5,000 a year. That... <laughs> like, I don't know. How did you calculate that? That's, like, so unbelievably wrong. <laughs> no wonder we see you not eat. <laughs> it's not true, Chad. I eat. I eat. Mmm, yum. Where de did I heal the Pokemon Center here? Am I going back to Pewter if I lose this? No, every sub is the same, aside from um, Tier 2 and Tier 3. It's just like more money. <clears throat> Daita? Yeah, Chad. I ate four stream. And I'll eat when I'm done. I did, I did. Yeah, but I, it honestly makes me mad seeing people who, who like, um, not only act like they don't make good money when it's very obvious. Like, if you have, like, thousands, I'm not talking, like, me, even though, like, I do make good money. I, I feel like I've been honest about that. But, um... People who, who will pull like 5,000 viewers a day and be like, they make it out like they're not doing great, I guess. It's just very, a peculiar way to conduct yourself. There's no way I'm winning this, by the way. Isn't talking about paid TOS? No, because it's just common knowledge. And I get, if I get banned for being honest, then I don't really want to be on the platform anyways. That's just really, that's a weird mentality. Not you, but like that's a weird mentality to be banned for, for being upfront. If I get, if I'm at the Pewter Pokemon Center, that might be my final straw. First and only, by the way. Oh, we're good, everybody. Um, Pikachu needs to be way stronger. Way. Snake, wait, I need you. Wait, what a happy little, happy little accident. Hi. Hi, little guy. Do I have enough balls to catch you? Probably not. Also, I don't know how to word this the right way, but I am not big enough on Twitch to get in trouble for saying something like that. Truly, they don't care. <laughs> At all. Snake. When you look at it like face value, I'm probably in like the top thousand for um, streamers on Twitch. Maybe not in following, but like in sub count and viewership um but to them i'm not i'm not large enough for them to care do i have box it's on the way it is okay now i can fight you oh i didn't even mark that down ekins Yeah, I, I bought Pokemon Box. It probably won't show up in time to when I need it, but I still have alternative methods to get that taken care of, so don't worry. Actually, wait, I think I got a delivery confirmation as to when it's arriving. Let me let me check that real quick. 
I'm pretty sure I got that yesterday night. Gold. Purchases. Purchase. Uh, it's been shipped. Track package. As of two days ago, the tracking number has been provided. It's going to arrive on the 23rd. <laughs> yeah, I won't hold my breath. I won't hold my breath on that one. Pokemon Box is big money. I bought the PAL version, which is compatible with English cartridges. It's not. It's really not that much. Like, it is, but it's not. It's not as much as you think it is. It's about... 200. Which is a lot for a storage game. For sure. But it's not $2,000 for the English version. What? What? Does power work with English GameCubes? Um, it does not. However, if you have a Wii, you can unlock it to play any uh, region. And that's how I play Coliseum on it. Japanese Coliseum, at least. I don't really know how, how it is to... Pikachu, don't die me. If you die, I'll be so sad. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Um, I don't know how, it, how easy it is to unlock your uh, your GameCube, but for the Wii, it is, it is like 10 minutes of effort. I forget what program I use, but you, it, you can look it up. Preloader. I think it's Preloader or something like that. I did it a couple weeks ago. Soldering, interesting. Hey, we come full circle. You gotta learn a little bit of solder. You wanna place your batteries in your games? Solder. Wanna unlock your GameCube? Solder. Is that how I got Celebi? Yeah, I had the disc. I did, I did. It's in my GameCube right now. Or it's in my, um, my Coliseum GameCube case. Yeah, I've heard of Swiss. Mostly from cheese, but I have heard it for the GameCube as well. Alright, I'll get Pikachu to like level 14, and I think it'll be strong enough to do a little bonking. If I fight Spiro, it's a lot easier, because I think that also is the highest yield for XP. It's just a strong hitting fellow. And then realistically, I don't need Pikachu after this. It's just to get through Misty. Which, now that I think about it, why don't I just go do that now? Rather than fight my rival. Because I'll gain way more XP from doing that. I'll just fight all the trainers in the gym, all, all two of them, before Misty. <laughs> we possibly add dates of each stream? Um... Well, okay, so here's the thing. If you want to keep track, you'll just know that I upload it the day after I stream it. I can, yeah. But I, there are very rare cases where I don't upload the day after I stream it. Honestly, I would upload it the day of, because now I can actually do that. Because before you weren't really able to. It was like a contract thing. Um... Yeah, I can just add to the bio. I can do that. I should think about it. Yeah, I should be pretty like pointing about that, uploading it as, as soon as I can. It's just I, I would upload it the same day. It's just if I end stream at 7, it's not really a smart idea to upload a video at 7 p.m. So I upload it midday. Like yesterday's stream went up like three hours ago or four hours ago. 
You can also add a, a date to the intro of the stream overlay or something to make it more automated. Uh, yeah. I'll just forget <laughs> if I do that. I'd rather just add it to the description. Yeah, because if, if I were... I could add an overlay to the stream, but I'd have to swap it out every single time. But then additionally, I can't like edit it in because then I'd have to render out like a nine hour VOD and that's just like ridiculous. That would take four hours every night. But I can add to the description. I can do that. But thank you for the support on the VOD channel. It's actually doing really well, like oddly well for a VOD channel for my size. So I appreciate it. Cause each one's doing about like a thousand, thousand a day. When you want to grow a YouTube channel, should you focus on a single but decent niche? Um. How do I word this? I So if you're going to make a YouTube channel, I think it's more, I would need the context of what you're making. Because you should do, the, the, the best way to grow a channel is to do something that's popular, but you're doing it in your own unique way. Because if you do something that's not popular, you're attracting a much smaller audience. Really depends on what you're doing, honestly. I can see the date in my intro. That's something I'll definitely forget, but I have to get into a routine for. But entirely possible, yes. Um, I think Pikachu actually cannot defeat Starmie, like not even close. So we might not do that. I think I'm level 14 though. I can probably hit Pidgeot for at least half now. Yeah, I know that Wartortle learns Bite. I don't think I'm really there, though. <laughs> yeah, you guys you guys just do it at the beginning of my recordings. Oh! Wait, you're almost ready to bite things. Hang. What do you... What about... 450. Um, let me just take on the rival first. Because I'll definitely get enough experience from doing that. And then we'll just run it and see. You don't want to stick to the same thing if you want to branch out. Yeah. But that's if you want to branch out. Today is Christmas, chat. What'd you get today for Christmas? What, what cool gifts did you guys get? That's so exciting. I forgot about that thing that I knew, didn't know about. Half eaten Subway cookie, but like which one though? There's some good ones. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Ekans and I'm going to try and poison Bulbasaur. Ew, he looks gross. I don't like him. I don't like that guy. No! Ooh, stop! Wake up! Bad! If I can poison you, stop. Actually, no meme, stop. Most was a poison type. Can I not poison it? Isn't that the same? It's the same mentality as as uh, using Thunder Wave on Electric type in this gen. Because you can Thunder Wave an Electric type. 
Oh, really? Interesting. Okay. Lesson learned. I lose. <laughs> but you understand my confusion. And you read that I swapped. That's actually insane. That's This is the most unfair battle. This is actually crazy. You've landed all four of them. Okay. I'm getting Spiro. Imagine losing a baby battle. All right! Chat, go ahead. You pull up your game right now. And if you don't have it, don't go buy it. Go spend $80. Or whatever this game is worth now. You've landed five. You're five for five on Sleep Hours. You are the Boingo of Fire Red Leaf Green. I lost the divorce, guys. She's taking the kids. <laughs> Rats. That's it, I'm playing Fortnite. Um, hmm. Yeah, I need to catch a Spiro. Wow. 10? 10. And girl. Pikachu is getting too strong. That was just like the first episode of the anime. Wow. Girl, but stronger. Not, I would like to note that all women are strong. But this one's stronger than other women. But can, hypothet hypothetically, can we say that this one's like super weak, but not as in like willpower, but as in like the weakness to being in a Pokeball? It's not sexist. It's just I would prefer to catch this one. Oh, you're such a strong and independent woman. Oh my goodness. You're actually so strong and capable. Why don't they have like a thing where like I can pay real money to add more balls to my bag? That'd be such a cool feature. You know what I mean? Like, I pay the price for not not being prepared, but I can pay the price to undo it. The internet didn't exist back then? In 2004, the internet didn't exist. Write that one down in the history books, chat! In 2004, there was no internet! Did not exist! Wait, aren't microtransactions gonna be like illegal now in in the UK? Isn't that like a new a new law that they're pushing? It's something with loot boxes. No, there's a thing in UK, not China. Well, I know that China is doing that thing, but I believe there's also a thing in the UK. Ten, you boy, Spiro, gross. Let me look. I thought I saw an article on that, like, a couple days ago.
Hmm. Yeah, I don't know where I saw that then. I guess not. Weird. I swore I saw something about it recently. No, I swore it was ex it was specifically the United Kingdom. I shortened it to UK. I thought I saw the article say UK. There was a thing in 2022 where they decided that they that loot boxes were not considered gambling, which is like I feel like they need to play video games. Truly, I think they need to just actually play the video games and then realize why. Why they are because you use them for, for not even five minutes, and you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I get that. <laughs> Stay inside. Roll six to 200 bits. Sonic, yippee. Sonic did say that. UK, more like you cute, not parasocially or parasocially. Beth, are we speaking English? What are we saying? What are we saying, Beth? They're all 50 to 60 year olds. They don't know what games are. Mm, I don't know about that. I think there's a lot of old people that play games, like older people. No, I'm not saying. I understand that people in government do not play video games. I'm I'm well aware of that. I'm saying that that the implication that or you're implying that old people don't play video games. I feel like more old people are playing video games now than ever. That was such a crazy way to try and say that sentence, but you know what I mean. Yeah, watching the videos of, of like, uh, Congress try to understand, like, TikTok, or when they're, like, interrogating Mark Zuckerberg, is not only funny, but also infuriating at the same time. It is really, like, a, a feeling I've never felt in my life. I was laughing and mad at the same time. Because I was having the same reactions with the same, like, two different emotions. Like, these people are running our country. And these people are running our country. Squirmims. Please, Squirmims. Stop. This is stupid. This is like, this Bulbasaur is cracked. Just let me send out Spiro and let me just go to work. It makes you wonder about all the articles you read about stuff you're not familiar with, given how inaccurate people find the ones written about the stuff they know. If I ever see, if, if, especially if you guys mention it in chat, off stream, I will look up both sides of the scenario. No matter what it is. Be like, hey, did you hear about this? It typically is with like video games. You guys ask me about video games and stuff like that. Bulbasaur, please miss. Actually, you are the goat. Stop. And I'm not gonna lie to you, chat. A lot of the times, some of you guys are really wrong. <laughs> but by the time the next stream happens, the conversation has already ended. It's been like 18 hours and you guys have already finished the conversation. And I look at it, I'm like, wow, that... You guys were really upset about that, and that wasn't even right. If there's one thing you should take away from this conversation chat, is please, please, 
Stop taking your information from Twitter. Please don't. Sometimes Twitter can be right, but most of the time, it's not right. Ever. <laughs> Actually, sorry, it's never right. <laughs> now, does people come and be like, John, have you seen that thing on Twitter about this thing? About this game? About this, about this person? About this... It's like... Nope. I haven't, actually. I typically don't- I don't, like, really go on Twitter anymore. I do it to- My- actually, this is my routine now. I will tweet, because people were upset that I stopped tweeting that I went live, because they would miss it. Um, so I tweet it, and then immediately close it out. And if I ever tweet something, it's something so not serious. Like, did you see what I tweeted yesterday? It was in the middle of the party. And I tweeted this. I just want to- I just want to tweet out a quick banger every once in a while. And I tweeted out this photo of me and Obama and said, this is real. That's it. That's all I did. That That is the that is what you will get on Twitter from now on for me. Which, let's be real, that is exactly what it's been forever. Um, but I just want to let you know that I'm not switching up. I'm not caring more, nor am I caring less. It, and I would also like to know... Somebody must have a counter for how many times I have tweeted the phrase, this is real. It is one of my favorite things to tweet because it's just such a, it's such a peculiar thing to tweet out. So let's go, six of the 33 months of gaming. I, t I can remember there's another time where I went to the Pokemon Fuser thing website and I fused together Machamp and Meowth and it spelled out the word math and it was just a it was just a Meowth sprite with a Machamp face and the title of that one was This Is Real. That was probably my best my best moment. That was a pretty banger one. I was proud of that one. Um but yeah, that's truly how I take social media. Also, I won. Why aren't you why aren't you clapping, guys? That was actually really hard. Chad, I'm actually really good at games now. Thanks, guys. That was thank you guys for clapping unprovoked. I love how supportive you guys are. What was my favorite Super Bowl commercial? Can I be honest, chat? <laughs> I don't really remember any of the Super Bowl. And it's not because I was drunk. I didn't even drink. I really just, I was just people talking the entire time. I couldn't, there was, there was the Mayo commercial with the cat. And then the Timu ads. That's genuinely, those are the only ads that I, I was like, paying attention to. I, w I actually did watch the game. Oh, Deadpool. That was like one of the first ones. That was like one of the first ads that they showed. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Can I, can I admit something? I have a problem. I love taking care of my lips. There's no better way I could have worded that. I have one, two, three chapsticks on my desk for, I don't have that many. I have more, more chapstick than lips. Missy's just stuck. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. John, John, are you? John, are you ready? How does she get her arm back? How does she get her? Is it? Oh, it's the position. Never mind. You look like the guy to take care of your lips. I will never. One of the funniest, funniest moments was Isle of Armor day one, the day it released. There's somebody in my chat who came in and while I was using lip balm, they're like, bro, this guy is using lipstick. And I absolutely roasted them. Absolutely cooked them. 
I was like, you're an idiot. <laughs> I was like, you just outed yourself to everybody that you don't take care of yourself. That you not only don't know what lip balm looks like, but you probably don't use it. And you're crusty and gross. You sad, sad being. Chubby lips. Mom, can you, mom, can you get my iron? No, not the soldering one. I used that last night. No, I need the hair hair dryer. Yeah, so I can do the bit. Yeah, Karate Island. Yeah, they love that one. My mom doesn't live with me, chat. <sighs> <clears throat> Somebody asked if I exfoliate my lips. Yeah, we be using sugar scrubs out here. But that's only if it gets really bad. And that's only if I... A little too much. Swift. Square mims. Oh, no heals. No, you just asked me. Beast. Absolute beast mode gaming. You've watched a live stream beast. They cut to Taylor Swift every few minutes. Uh, this, I don't think this is a hot take, but maybe it is. Um, people who complain about that are kind of weird. You're letting a woman, like a, just like one human being, ruin your entire experience of, of, of the Super Bowl. <laughs> the amount of people who were so upset. Yeah, I had to reword it. I almost said, I almost said it in a bad way, but you know what I meant. You know what I meant. It was just peculiar. People just make a big stink about nothing. <laughs> Too much drama, Chad. Just watch the football get thrown around. Watch the mango. Sorry, I was reenacting hiking to a quarterback. The <clears throat> oh my god, I'm out of breath. Quarterback throwing it to the guy out deep. One hands it grabs it. My heart rate's so high. Jukes around the other people that land in the end zone. I'm gonna throw up. What's your contract extension? <laughs> it's gotta be like $10, because I'm not making it to the next play. <sighs> if, I, if I were playing in, in like professional sports, I genuinely, they would call me one play Johnny. When they, they bring me out for the most important play, I would give my all on that field. I would be the best player on the field for one play. So a kicker? No, actually no. <laughs> Never mind. Nope. You're right, that's a fair point. Nope. Not me. Okay, so now Squirmims is going to just do every battle. Pretty much. If possible. <clears throat> well, I'm still out of breath chat, that's really sad.
We should be a guy who gets dunked with Gatorade. Is that not the coach who gets who gets Gatorated? <laughs> Is that what they call it? Gatorated. Head coach? What are, they, what are they doing on the field? I just can't. I don't think I can kick. I don't think I can kick. John, get together. So I bring over the head coach. 12 seconds later. I'm ready. I'm ready to kick. That truly is one of those moments, like any any like intense sports moment, you can't lose. You can't mess up, like, because everybody will hate you for like a day. <laughs> if you are the reason why you lost, they hate you. I couldn't handle that. And that's actually why I didn't go pro. It's actually specifically, why, uh, why I didn't go pro, because like, you know, just can't handle that kind of pressure. I have it in me. One play. One play, Johnny. They call me. I'm going to be of this kid now. What's a sport that you're confident that you could do? Like a professional sport. And keep in mind, Chad, there's a lot of professional sports. You got darts. Darts is really just, you have to be a good aimer. Tennis? Are you out of your mind? Unless you play tennis. No shot. Tag? Even that, chat. I'm gonna be honest with you. You ever seen competitive tag? Oh, you do do tennis? Oh. I also said do do, by the way. Connect four, that'd be hype. Car wrestling. What? Does Rocket League IRL count? Chat, let's normalize esports being competitive sports. Let's not let the old people get to us. Counter-Strike is a sport. Competitive Pokemon is a sport. I don't care. Sport does not deem being athletic. Darts is not athletic. It's quite literally... Chess is not athletic. Right. Correct. Correct. Put them fingies to work. You pick up that horse, man. You put him in an L shape. I disagree so much, but you also have a point. Okay, chat. If you don't agree with me, Go pro in Counter Strike. <laughs> That's not how disagreeing works. It does today! <laughs> Is chess considered a sport? I think so. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? I like myself. That's a fair point. But, like, seriously, though, get becoming like a professional at any video game is like hard. Like it's truly a hard thing to do. Like the, chat, playing this game at the at the level that I play. <laughs> nobody's out you you go to other people playing Pokémon Fire right. Nobody's playing the way I'm playing right now. Look at this. Did I bonk into anybody? Didn't think so. Not a single person.
You lost to a bubble star earlier, but I've I lost way less than the average man. Hey chat, at the end of the day, you can't agree with everything that I say. It just it just can't happen. But in my eyes, gaming is a sport. For sure. Is it athletic? Not even slightly. But there are a lot of not athletic competitive sports that are considered sports. <laughs> Do they have an equivalent to the Olympics for gaming? And don't say Minecraft Hunger Games. That doesn't count, guys. Evo? No, I'm saying like every four years. They get everybody on Earth with a console. I feel like that's just like a, a an untapped money source. There's no way that nobody has even attempted to try and do like that style of thing. You know what I mean? Like this, it is just too big of a thing to not. Yeah, I don't know. Because what is the the largest competitive um, event? Is it Evo? Because Evo is really just fighting, though, isn't it? Sorry, when I meant compet gaming, gaming competitive event. League Worlds? Oh, yeah, I guess that's fair, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. GDQ? Um, yeah, I mean, that's competitive. Yeah. MLG events were the best. Yeah, that is a, that is like the, the backbone of what competitive is today, but it was definitely like the epitome of, of, I don't know what the phrase I'm looking for is, but like it, it was too early to have done well. But without it, esports wouldn't be where it is without it. You know? It's a shame. What also sucks though is they had it on the like the 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 not like a, a TV network that just crumbled too. It was really like destined to not happen. <laughs> Cause didn't they have it on um it wasn't Spike, it was G4. They had it on G4. Which if you don't know G4 is, it's for a reason. Why is time yourself out a chat reward? It's more of like an acknowledgement for working so hard. Fun fact chat, that is probably one of the most redeemed things on the channel, is timing yourself out. What do I get for 1 million Johnstones? I'll tell you that I'm your friend. Wow, nice job. Everybody. Let's get a round of applause for that. Nice job. You did it. Oh yeah, E3 doesn't exist anymore either. Gaming is falling off. We need new fun games. Chat, come on. Cook up a good idea for a brand new video game. You see the news lady that mocked a kid that got a Tetris record? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's cringe.
Yeah, she says, I don't know if she said it, like verbatim this, but it was like, that's not an accomplishment kind of thing. Like playing playing a video game all day is not an accomplishment. And that really hurt me as I, I, try, I really try hard. I'm proud to click buttons out there. <sighs> no, but like I really try guys to click these buttons as fast as I can. Look, my thumb hurts guys. My thumb hurts so much. Ow. I had to ice my thumb after every stream. Every single one. Don't forget the hidden berries? No. No! I don't want them. What fire exclusives do I need? Um, Ekans? That's kind of it, honestly. That's kind of it. There are some that I can get, like Growlithe, which would make it a little bit easier that I have to breathe later. Um, and Shelter, which is going to be wildly inconvenient, and I'm not going to probably do that one. But, um, yeah, I just need to get the Fossil. That's that's the end goal for this playthrough. Ooh, I'm getting hungry, chat. Going for Zapdos early? Um, no. Because I can't, actually. I mean, I can, but it, it's not. I, I end when I get Surf. Have I decided dinner? No. But it's probably going to be Asian food, because I, you know, that's all I eat. Go eat a pound of craisins. No, that was a bit four days ago. That was it, guys. Come on. We have new bits. Pick a bit from yesterday. <laughs> go eat a pound of wings. Thanks, guys. There we go. That's what we we're looking for. Finally. Craisins was yesterday. Oh my god. Am I am I getting am I becoming dumb? Guys, guys, can you call? I need help. <laughs> I'm forgetting. Bro's delusional, for real, for real. Bonk. Well, if you don't talk to anybody, this makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. It's just a guy who fights you behind a home. The days are blending together. We talked about this earlier. I think that's just like that happens when you get older anyways. Regardless of what you do during your day, the days just start to blend because you're just you just wake up, go to work, you hang out with the kids, go to bed. And then you do that for five days a week. And on the weekends, you really don't do anything unique either. And so then a month passes by and you don't remember a single interesting thing that you did. And then you die. Are we your kids? No. <laughs> Which, hey, chat, maybe there's a friendly reminder. Go do fun thing. Go do fun thing to remember. John, you look like you could perform an awesome trick on a trampoline. Yeah, I can. Want to see? Want to see me do it? I'll do one of these. This is basically what I would do. Guys, you want to see? I'll look. I can do these really cool tricks. I saw them online. I'm gonna try them. Okay, ready? <laughs> I know, dude. I'm getting so high. Wait, sweet, stop, Eric, stop, stop touching the trampoline. You're messing up my jumps. <laughs> Guys, look. This is so sick. I'm so high. Okay, I'm gonna do one of the tricks. Ready? Ready? Come on! 
again. Stop! Wait, guys! Guys, where are you? My leg! I'll get it. I'll get there. This would be a really bad time to come into stream. You'd be very confused as to what was going on. <clears throat> Can't believe Eric left me there. That was pretty cool, though. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate that. What happened? I fell on the trampoline. Hope you're doing well, John. I just broke my right my leg my reg. <laughs> my regular leg is gone, guys. I had to get a new one. Friend cat, thanks for the seven. Sad gaming, guys. My mom never had let me get a trampoline because that would happen. Cause like they are dangerous and I get it. When I was younger, I didn't care. Cause I was like, oh, get me one with the screens. And then I wouldn't fall off the trampoline. But then you can still hit the metal. And that was what my mom said. And it's a valid, yep. I never broke, I've never broken a bone before. I've severely sprained a lot of bones. And by a lot, too. It's actually the same hand. It was my thumb. One time I fell on my thumb. No, it was three times. Yeah, one time I had to go to the doctor. This was in... Um... <laughs> okay, chat. I'm gonna tell you the story. Just please, just please bear with me. Because I know you're just gonna, huh? The moment that I say it. But just, just listen to the story before you judge. Okay? I was at my house. This is when I was like 12. And I and I and I, actually, I haven't even started, okay? And I and I was I got home from school and I was went into the living room and I was really excited to sit down. And I was so excited that I I didn't have control of my body. And and I and I s sat down on the couch, but as I was sitting down on the couch, I sat on my hand, but my hand was a thumbs up like this, and so I sat on my thumb and sprained it. Because I sat on my thumb. And so, I had to go to the hospital, and I went to the hospital, and the lady asked, how did you sprain your thumb? And I said, oh, I got really excited and sat on it. Which I understand, out of context, that doesn't sound right. It doesn't. And I, I'm, I get it. I get it. I get it. That sounds not good. And this is the first chat. I have been in and out of the hospital a lot of my life. This is the only time the doctor was like, I wouldn't tell people that. And then she got me a cast or a brace. But she straight up told me I wouldn't tell people that. Because she was embarrassed for me that I sat on my thumb. <laughs> there was also, this is a lot more recent, but like by recent, like 2019. I went to the doctors because I have, I don't know if it's a condition, but it's, it's an issue. Where I just uh, produce a little bit more earwax than the average bear, right? And I went to the doctor because it was so bad. 
It was just so bad that I needed to get it cleaned out and they have like tools to do it. And so I talked to this lady and she was like super cool and everything. And then I explained to her that I just had a lot of earwax and I'm not even joking, chat. I told her, I was like, yeah, I just produce a lot of earwax. And she just goes like this. What? <laughs> like while I'm explaining, I'm like, yeah, I have a lot of earwax. I'm like, you're my doctor. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to go like obviously inside. She's like, ew, you're, you're just a gross human. Your natural body's disgusting. I cannot imagine how it's gonna go when I have my 40 year old checkup. Like what she's going to absolutely fold in half when she finds out what she has to do. No, no, four, I wasn't saying 40 years of wax. Chat, what's... When, when the fellas have to go to the doctors at 40, there's a, there's a certain checkup that you have to do. <laughs> and when she finds out, oh boy, that's gonna change a lot. <laughs> Anyways, um... So now I'm scared to go to the doctor. <laughs> I'm afraid the doctor's gonna. <laughs> All right, son. Just want to step on the scale real quick. Yeesh. Jeez. Glad that's not me. <laughs> All right. Sit down. I be biting. Chad, you ever bite pencils when you were younger? There was somebody in my class who, um, like, chewed. Chewed on those Ticonderogas. Like, it was her job. I remember asking her one time for a pencil, and she had the audacity to give me a fully gnawed pencil. It felt like I was holding a, a pencil made of gravel. I never asked for a kid for a pencil ever again. It was like third grade. Boink. Did I chew on it? No. Nope. There's a kid in my 8th grade class who did that. He also bit another kid's ear a year before high school. You went to school with Mike Tyson? Oh my god. That's sick. Celebrity. Ouch! Do I live? Cadabra. Cadabra more like, how would you, how, how? Wait, I have 69 HP. I'm good, yes. Don't worry. Now you're thinking, John, this is over. Nope. Hack. Abakazoo. Wow. Eat. Yum. Do I have any zoo stories? One time I rode an elephant. Yep. <laughs> That's kind of it. 
actually, I do have a weird story. So when I was younger, um, I had, maybe some of you under, remember having this too. I had a Pikachu camera. And when you take pictures with the Pikachu camera, the border when you print it out at like at like your CVS or whatever, is it would have every single Pokemon in the border of it. And I have a collection of photos. Wait, I can actually show- I can show you proof! Hold on! I think it's in here. Yeah. Please do not ask why I have these on hand. Oh, wait. Oh, here's a little picture of me when I was baby. Oh, that's me when I'm baby. I, I'm eating. What am I eating? Oh, it's a little, it's my little, oh, wait. Wait, that's my, my Poe cake. Oh. oh. That's so nice. Oh, oh, this is when I was, wait, this is, oh, sorry, we're going to side chant it. This is when I was sp sp Spongebob's? Spon, Spon, Spongebob's? My mom made that for me. I look like sp Spongebob. <laughs> it's a little guy. Orange Bob. Okay, anyways. Um. Okay, so yeah, I went to the zoo and I took pictures. Of, and these are the pictures that I took. It's, it's just a metal grate, but it has it's the Pikachu camera. What is, is that supposed to be a peacock? I can't even tell. Like, what is it? I just, it looks like I just took a picture of the ground on a metal grate. Uh, yeah, I think it's a peacock. Do I have any others? Hold on, hold on. I think I have more. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay. So here's another really striking photo. Um, this one would just be uh, trees. Yeah, I took a picture there. Oh, by the way, I'm at a zoo. I went to a zoo. This is in California, a zoo. Took a picture of trees. Wait! Actual real photo. Look, zebra. That's a zebra. Uh, this is just more lawn. Uh, this is an interpretive piece. Um, so you can make with that as you will. Oh my god, what? This one just makes me uncomfortable. It looks like it's a, like a cursed photo. Mostly because the entire thing is, is black. This looks like something you look at like, a, like in a deep web, web archive. It looks like, like ancient ruins. That's really unsettling. I'm not gonna lie to you. That that looks really horrifying. I don't know. And it looks like it looks like Garchomp. Like there's a Garchomp just walking through. Yeah, it looks like a creepy pasta. Anyways, on an unrelated note, I and let me tell you, chat, the 50 year olds in my chat are going to be absolutely they're gonna be blown away. This entire adventure that I'm taking these photos, I'm hanging out with the cast of Gilligan's Island. I can't explain to you why I'm hanging out with the cast of Gilligan's Island because I don't I don't I don't know what events led to that. I guess I could call my mom and ask. What 
What's Gilligan's Island? It's just like an old TV show. Maybe I'll, yeah, I'll ask my mom. I'll ask. Hey mom, I'm live. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. What's I have, going on? I have a quick question for you. This is a real deep cut, so you're gonna have to dig deep in the in the noggin, okay? Okay. Um why did why why did we go to the zoo with Gilligan's Island? It was a marketing event for a company that your father was working for. Oh, Okay, because I have a whole bunch of pictures on the Pikachu camera, and some of them are a little bit cursed, I'm not going to lie to you, but I was just wondering why why we were hanging out with them. That was why. It was a marketing event. Okay. Okay. And like, and like you know, when all of you Pokemon people get together at a, at a trade show kind of thing, you know? Okay. Now, there, there were a couple photos of you doing drugs. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> well, <laughs> proof is in the pudding, as some people say. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I was just curious. Chat says hi. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I was just curious about that, but... That's all it was. Okay, well, I love you. But do you, do you remember who was there? No. The professor and Marianne. Well, I never watched the show. Oh, okay. Well. No, I was just trying to get the 50-year-olds in my chat really hyped right now. Uh, Maryam was pretty cute. She was, she was a very, very nice lady. She was, like, bad? No, she was very nice. Oh, okay. I got you, got you. Hi, Mom. Well, <laughs> I love you, and I'll, I'll talk to you later. I love you, too. See you later. Okay, bye. bye. She doesn't know about baddies. Oh my goodness. Hey, let's go. To the, let's go to the rock tunnel chat. Don't say Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. My mom just doesn't know the lingo. Yeah, that that last picture was kind of insane. I'm not gonna lie to you. That looked that looked crazy. Never say lingo. Why? That's that's just that's what that's that's just. What am I supposed to say? Blingo? You said it like a boomer. Oh, I have cut. Riz. Okay. Slang. Yeah, I could say slang. That's true. Did I find shiny Entei? Uh, yeah, I ran away from it. It failed. I have no Pokemon to cut. I'm actually soft locked right now. Don't say boomer. Really aggravating the six-year-olds in my chat right now. Oddish. Odd dish. Thanks, Jane. I appreciate it. Chat, that's the positivity we're looking for here. Why do you guys have to say that I'm so bad at video game? I'm really trying out here. I got so many balls. I feel like I have to educate my mom on what baddies are now. Please don't. Why not? Does she ever show up to streams? Yeah. She just lurks. 
She used to like comment, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I think some of you are really weird to her, so she doesn't comment anymore. <laughs> So, saying equivalents of like, hey, adopt me so I can be John's brother or something. <laughs> that one's kind of a banger, I'm not gonna lie. That one's kind of a banger. Yeah, one thing I will tell you, chat, is that my mom does not mention any like intricacies of my chat because of the things you say, for sure. Like, we're never going to have a conversation about how much you guys use the word come. It's just not, like, I can tell by talking to her, she glosses over, like, all of, like, the, the really, like, dicey parts of the stream. One of the funniest moments I've ever had with my mom was very recently when she came down. Um, we were riding through Georgia. We we're going through Atlanta. And we were heading to a restaurant that I was taking her to. And we had to, we were leaving Atlanta. And I'm like trying to get the directions right and like the, like Apple Maps was just not working. And my mom points, she's like, oh, you're supposed to take the exit. And I would like to know, chat, there is one certain location in Georgia that's named something that is just like crazy. And maybe I'm immature. I am, but like I thought it was crazy and I just didn't think it would ever come up in conversation with her, but she's like, oh, I think you have to go to the exit where it says coming. C-U-M-M-I-N-G, coming, Georgia. And she's like, do you have to go to coming? And she kept saying it and I'm like trying so hard to be mature. I'm trying so hard. And I'm like, nope, I think it's the next exit. She's like, you sure it's not coming? I'm like, please stop. Please stop saying that word. And if there's anything from that phone call that we can take away from that, I do not think that my mom knows what that actually means. Nor does anybody in that town. Considering that you know that you're there because there's a giant, giant water silo that just says coming across it. That's how you know they're there. One of my group chat bangers that I like to send out. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Give me, give me uh, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. It might take a second. Don't you hate when people just start talking in the group chat, dude? Shut up. You know what I mean? Can I get a W for that? I can't find it. Hold on. Oh, this is one of my bangers. I really like this one. Um, where I said, Oh, you like Drake? Okay, name this song. That was one of my better ones. I was pretty proud of that one. Well, because they were talking about how much they liked music, and I was like, all right, well, if we're going to talk, then let's talk, dude. Show me that you're about it. Oh, here's another really good one. This is a really, this is another, no context chat, this is another really good one. Uh, I was watching TV and said, well, let's see how good this uh, Bolivian ball, bull's penis is. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. I'm just letting you the inside scoop, chat. Hold on, I'll find it, 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 I'll find it. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh wait, I didn't fight that guy? Okay, that's what it said. Here it is. Um, I said, anyone want to hang out? And it's my location in coming. I thought that one was kind of a banger. Um, nobody entertained it. 
Not a single person. I don't really comment in group chats very often, but when I do, it's important. Charlie, they said 32 months of Prime. Drake's Marvelous Meat. Nice. Let's get some Drake's for that. When no one comments me back, sorry I existed. Beth, no, I'm not gonna lie. One thing that astounds me is that sometimes you will reply to things that I don't understand how you found. It was like a tweet from two and a half years ago. And you're like, wow. <laughs> That's like all you say, you're just like, wow. Like I, I said on stream, about a tweet that I did and I was like, I thought I got like 86,000 likes or something like that. The next day, I get, I, I like wake up and there's a text, a notification on my phone. Bethany Buntcake replied to your tweet. And the tweet was like eight months ago. And her reply was, wow, it really was 86,000 likes. <laughs> Because I don't even remember what the context was of the of the thing. Just sitting in bed. What's that? No, babe, I'm just looking through Johnson's tweets. What? No, it's so it's it's he he said there was a tweet that. Yeah, there was just a tweet that was like eighty six thousand. Oh, is it this one? No. No, no, that one's only 54. <clears throat> yeah, so he had he had a tweet that was like, um... I'm going in the cave. Oh, and you might be saying, John, there's no way you can get through this. Get educated, guys. It only took me 50 minutes to do it last time. <sighs> I lived in coming. That's deep, guys. That's real deep. How many attempts for Surge? You did a prediction? I dodged that thing. See you later. No thanks. Bramp. How many was it? What do you mean? Oh wait, don't I have repels? I skip Surge? What if I told you that I don't need to fight Surge? What if I told you Surge is not important? Beth, you better frame that one. You better frame that one right there. It's a big moment. I love encounters. I'm bat chesting on the inside. Surge is quite literally just a guy. He's the light lightning American. What? He's a veteran. So am I. I've played this game probably about 25 times.
Lightning America. It's, there's no way that's his actual name. Spencer's is canonically American, which is why they drew him huge. Okay, I was reading that because I thought you were going to give me insight as to whether he was called Lightning America or not, and that didn't help me. Chat, I'm no longer reading! I wasn't good at it when I was, and I'll never be good at it. Look it up. Lightning America. Lightning strikes. Hashtag nature, hashtag lightning, hashtag America. Okay, let's watch this video real quick. Oh, I just got a notification I'm using an ad blocker when I have YouTube Premium. Baller, okay. That's sick. Let's just check this out real quick. This could either be a really good video or a really bad video, and I get banned. Wait! Huge lightning! What? Complete nighttime thunderstorm in Florida. That you you record? Oh, no! Oh my God! Oh, this is really bad. Two videos? No, I have only two videos left. <laughs> I'm banned. Oh my God! So happens when I'm logged into my VOD account, guys. That's what I get. Oh yeah, I was supposed to actually look up the real thing. I'll just trust you guys. Yeah, that's the first time I ever got that. You now are only allowed to watch three videos. We know you have an ad blocker and we're gonna let you really pick out your last three before we ban you. <laughs> it's pretty insane. They're like, yeah, we know. Uh, I also have no idea where I am. Cause I thought I was supposed to go up. Oh, we're good now. I found my way. Wait, was that real lightning? Or was that fake lightning? Chat, can I say something honestly? I EP. But I came here to game. I can't believe I've been playing this for about five. No, I guess it hasn't really been five hours. It's only been like two hours, right? Surely. Ow. Well, I was playing Leaf Green at the beginning of the stream. I didn't buy any heals. No heals. And now I just get absolutely demolished. If I have one revive, I might be able to squeak my way through this. The speedrun's still alive, chat. We're good. I'm poisoned. Ignore that. Zubath, you. Okay, this guy has a Machop, and he has an Onyx, and I got two moves for them. It's called... Strong and Hurt. Those are the two I know. Squirmims. The only issue is that Onyx is faster than me, and that's probably gonna deal big damage when you do Rock Throw or whatever you're doing. Realistically, though, when it comes to taking on Koga, I should sit on him. It should happen. Oh, I out- Wow, I'm faster than Onyx? Okay, cool. 
I will sit on that man. Full cheek. Full cheek. Okay, here's the thing. You can take Squirmim's Water Pulse? That's hacking. And also a really great point. Okay. Chat, how do you sit in your chair when you game? Like, what do you do with your feet? I don't... Don't get, like, too crazy here. It's just more of a question, because the, the way that I, like... Do you guys just, like, sit... Like, you have your feet flat on the floor. You don't, like, sometimes, like, wrap them around your chair, or, like... Like, you sit, like, planted, is what I'm asking. Do you guys sit, like, in your eye, in your head? Imagine the conventional sit. Is that how you sit? I'm just trying to see if, I, if I'm being seen or not. Because I do everything but sit normal. Because I've been clowned for the way that I sit sometimes. People come to my office and I just like won't be thinking about it. They're like, bro, why are your feet like that? I'll be like, they're not like anything! Cause like sometimes, Chad, I'll be on- Hold on, I need, I need to pull up my shorts a little- or pull down my shorts. Anyways. Like sometimes, you know like, cause this is the way that I don't sit. Like, I, I don't just sit like this. Sometimes, Chad, I sit like this. And I have my feet like, you know? I have my, my feet, they're like kinda my, you know, like this. Or sometimes, sometimes I'm like this, but I'm never, never in my life am I sitting like this. Johnson said, new email. I have some of the worst posture you've ever seen. I think, my, like, from a side, you can tell that mine's actually not, it's like not terrible. You know, I don't have like a lot, I don't have like a problem. Pretty average, I would like to think. G neck. What? Smart moves. Yeah, I should probably teach you water pulse, huh? If I can pull this off, Chai, if I can make it to the end, I only need to get into three more battles. And in theory, I should be around level 40 when I take on Koga. Because all I have to do is the rocket underground and get the Poke Flu. And then I can revive my fossil. Connie, thanks for the year of prime. I appreciate it. Pronounce neck. Okay. I'm writing that one down. It's crazy that bubble is is 20. 20 base power. BRB, need to go sit on my thumb excitedly. All right, guys. All right, I see what's happening here and I'm not happy about it. Chat, sometimes we have little accidents. 
Okay. I'm sure you have an embarrassing, embarrassing story about how you hurt yourself. Go ahead, do tell! Dude, I know you do! I know you have a story! And be gone. Somewhere else, you're six with the 26 moths. One time I fell into a kid in elementary school and I bit his head. Or did he bite my head? Yeah, no, that's what it was. Yeah, somebody bit my head. Because they fell. Yeah, because there was like a... I remember that like... Either like their tooth broke doing it, because obviously. Or part of the tooth was in my head. I don't really remember, because I my mom just told me not to look or think about any of it. Nah, squirmins don't need that. Mm -mm. No protect for squirmins. He fell off of a lime scooter. They're using fruits now? Jeez. Talk about eco-friendly, guys. I've never rode an electric scooter. Ever. Ever. The only thing I've ever rode... Um... Is, is, is one of the, like, the ripsticks. You guys remember the ripsticks back in the day? Boy, oh boy, are those things dangerous. If you don't know, imagine a skateboard had two wheels. It really is 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 kind of insane when you think about it. Um, but yeah, I had one of those. And I remember getting I got it for Christmas, which by the way, is probably the worst time to ever get a ripstick. Denny, I'm pretty sure I brought that ripstick to your house one day. I think I did. I remember, and I remember you trying it. And I remember you having your own skateboard. I don't know. Either way. Um, but getting a ripstick for Christmas is probably the worst time to get one. Because, especially when you live in New England. So I'm like, I'm ready to use my skateboard. And I go outside and it's like 19 inches of snow. So I had to wait like six months to be able to use it. And so when, when I finally get the ability to go out, I'm excited. I'm like, man, no, goodbye, Pokemon Pearl. It's time to blade. Now, just a little bit of side information that's going to help fill out the rest of the story. I used to live next to a morgue. Um, and so... The morgue, so, well, technically, no, I live next to a church and then live next to a morgue, but I live next to a church and a morgue at the same time. And so, basically, um, on, on, like, certain days where they weren't, like, having services there, I would, I would just, like, play over there, which I don't really know if I was allowed to do that, but no, no one ever really complained, but that's besides the point. So, I decided that that was the spot where I was going to first learn how to, how to skateboard, was at a morgue. By the way, I made it through here, which is uh, kind of insane. I don't really know how I pulled that off. So, I end up at the, at the, uh, at the place, and closest to my house, they had like a little parking lot, but I didn't want to start at the parking lot because that's not sick. That's not cool. And I would like to preface for this, because I think everybody knows where the story is going. Before I go out, my mom's like, hey, John, if you're going to go out, make sure, say it with me, chat, make sure you got on your helmet. Make sure you got on your elbow pads and knee pads. And I quietly told my mom, okay.
And I went out. I didn't wear any of that because that's for nerds. And I confidently walked over to the morgue, never riding a skateboard in my entire life. Now, to give you an, an explanation of how to use the ripstick, essentially what you need to do is it's basically a lot of, uh, you start tilted, because keep in mind, it's two wheels. And so the board is like tilted, touching the ground. Half of it's in the air, half of it's touching the ground. And what you wanna do is you wanna try and start with your foot, Flip it and then start using your back foot and moving it forward and back to start a wiggle motion to then being able to coast, right? And because instead of starting on on uh, the ground, um, like flat ground, I started on the side of the morgue and the side of the morgue was a hill. Was it a big hill? No, but it was enough of a hill where it was it was like this. If we look at the entire part of the hill, it was like this. 45 degrees, not necessarily, but it was a solid enough of a, of a decline that I was accelerating without having to accelerate. Because in my head, I was like, I don't really know how to accelerate once I get on it. So I would just start in a location where I can accelerate. And so I would try it on and off, on and off, on and off. And I keep falling. Like, I keep, like, the board just keeps tipping. I just, like, step off of it, right? So I'm, like, riding a little bit, get on it, step off. Ride it for two more feet, step off. I was like, okay, this is not working. And then eventually, the moment comes where it all clicks together. I start at the top, I'm blading down that morgue. Eventually I'm getting the hang of it, I'm swerving left and right, left and right, left and right, and then the reality kicks in. How do I stop? And I realized, I can't. I didn't think about that part. I just thought about the getting the started part. And I would like to note, at the bottom of this hill is an entire parking lot where all the sad people go. Keep in mind, it was empty. And so I'm coasting down. I'm coasting down. And as I'm reaching the bottom, as I'm getting into the parking lot, because I knew, I was like, oh man, this is bad. There's no, there's no way that I understand how to stop this because it's a two-wheeled vehicle ripping down the road, going a very dangerous high rate of speed of three miles an hour. And as I'm coming down, I realize at the end where it connects with the pavement, it is a completely different type of pavement. <laughs> And because it's an old morgue from like 1930, there's a giant crack right in the middle of it. And your boy went straight for the crack. And I tipped the, it was, it was a pothole. And the wheel dipped into the pothole, tipped me, and I swear to God, your boy did a front flip. Now keep in mind, I'm wearing shorts and a Cool old navy tee. I hit that thing, front flip, and I landed on elbows and knees, baby. And I skirt across the pavement. I get up, my entire forearms and knees are raw. Naturally, your boy sheds a tear and then says, hold up. Mama didn't raise no baby, she raised a skater. And like a, like a comedic TV show timing, my mom calls out from over, like all the way across on our back deck and she goes, John, it's dinner. And soon the James Bond music kicks in. I'm like, oh my God. And she doesn't see me from the distance. I'm like, okay, well, we can figure this out. We can make this work. And I remember it, I was like, well, what is one great way that I can, I can let her know that I was irresponsible and I didn't listen to her? And I was like, oh, that's right. I can just cover it up. Bandages? Nope, it's my whole arm. That's not happening. And so naturally, I was like, okay, well, I can put on jeans. That's fine. What about the arms? And I realized, I was like, oh yeah. I have a Red Sox long sleeve t-shirt. 
Let's just put that on. And so what I did is I snuck through the back door rather than the front door. Went to my bedroom, put on jeans, cried, put on my long sleeve t-shirt, and then went to dinner. I'm sitting around with my whole family. My mom's asked, she's like, you have fun with the ripstick? I'm like, yep, it was pretty fun. It was cool. Not a bad time. And then she, we started at, talking to each other about like our days and whatever. And then she asked if I was doing anything for like, you know, for school and stuff like that. And I'm sitting there eating my food and I'm explaining exactly, you know, what I'm doing or like whatever video game I'm playing, whatever, right? And slowly I see the horror on my mom and dad's face. They slowly shift from a, to, as their mouths wide open, I look down and see I am absolutely bleeding through my long sleeve t-shirt. And my mom thinks I'm possessed by the exorcist because I went too close to the morgue. And so I had to spend seven weeks at Sunday school. <laughs> but yeah, no, I absolutely horrified her. Um, and so, you know, that was the last time I ever used the ripstick because one, I was grounded. Two, I really hate myself. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the next available garage sale that we had, that thing was gone. Wait, doesn't the exorcist do the opposite of possess people? Actually, guys, I've watched the exorcist 57 times. And in reality, that's not the truth. This man wasn't, he wasn't possessed. He was simply stupid. <laughs> if your arms were that torn up, I don't think pads would have helped. So you're saying that it was kind of chill that it happened. Am I still grounded? I can call and ask. No, I've already bothered her enough today. <laughs> nah. Um, but yeah, chat. Listen, use your elbow pads and knee pads. It, it, like when I went to um, when I went roller skating with my friends a couple days ago, I was appalled at the fact that they did not have proper attire for the fellow man. I was actually horrified. I was like, do you guys have elbow pads? And they're like, no, that's for nerds. And I was like, jeez. All right, well. That's that. Which I'll be honest, chat, I, I skated a little bit. I took I, ice skating with my sister when I was younger. And not gonna lie, some kids at school made fun of me and said that I was a figure skater, which you know what? Honestly, I should've just ran with it. That's kind of baller. I should have said, yeah, I'm in, I'm in the Olympics. Next up. Um, but, you know, I thought I'd be a lot more experienced when it came time to go do that. Um, nope. I went to school, a college, for, you know, four weeks in a place that they love ice skating. And I learned to ice skate a little bit. And did it translate when I went to Rollerblade a couple weeks ago? Slightly. Slightly, but it was still very hard. Where'd you go? Um, I went to the Skating Institute of Roller Rinks in Alabama. I was only there for a couple weeks because I realized that uh, I couldn't learn engineering there because um, they all they did was skate. So that was a little lapse of judgment on my end. Rare candy. Oh, can I tell you guys another story about hurting my thumb? Same hand, by the way. But this time I didn't sit on it because I was excited. <laughs> it's a different story. It's a different one. One time, um, this was, um, it was the day either of Christmas or the day after Christmas. I was so excited 
to go look at my toys. My new toys that I got. And I was like, ooh, I can't wait to play with my Pokedex that my mom got me. And one thing to note is that I was a growing boy. I was a growing boy, chat. And so my mom bought me growing boy clothes. Clothes that I will grow into. So what if the pants are a little bit long? What of it? But I had these red socks, you see a trend. I had these red socks pajama bottoms that my mom, my mom would buy pajamas. I feel like this is just a trend in general for Christmas for most people is they get like pajamas that they wear either the night of or they, they for all your siblings to wear on Christmas day and stuff like that. My mom got me the, these red socks pajamas and they were just like a little bit longer than, than they should have been. And so I'm excited and I'm running down the stairs. <laughs> My asthma kicks in halfway down. <laughs> and now one important thing to consider is that my house that I used to live in was um, made in, I believe it was 1788. That's not even an exaggeration. I believe that it was made in 1788. It was a very, very old house. At the oldest, it was 1820. That's an, it is a very New England moment. That's it, if, if anybody from New England's like, yep, yeah, probably. Uh, fun fact, unrelated to that. The, the morgue that I lived next to used to be, it was the new morgue and my house used to be the old morgue. So I used to live in a morgue. Besides the point. Uh, so I was really excited. And because it's an old home, what are old homes made out of? Good material. That's right, everybody. Um, and so the entire house was made out of wood. Wood floors everywhere. Yeah, there's also, you know, like lead paint, but I think most of that was gone. I only ate half of the paint in the home. Um, so, I was running into the living room. I was really excited to just check out my stuff, and my pants were so long that I slipped on the wood carpet, and I tried to catch myself with my hand, and I bent my thumb into my wrist. And I cried. And so, like, the day after Christmas, or two days after Christmas, I went to get a cast or one of the plastic what are the plastic ones they're just kind of like braces yeah because i hurt my thumb ouch do i have any i have not bought any heels we're just we're just running on empty today yeah i'm surprised this thing's still working because i sprained it like two months ago because i fell and this is so, it's so embarrassing, especially as a grown adult man. I, f I got out of the shower. And fell. Because I didn't dry myself off properly. And I tried to catch myself on the counter and I snapped my thumb. And so now when I shower, I wear socks and clothes. Cause I'm scared. Chat, type one if you wear, if you take a shower with your clothes on. So I feel seen. Yep, fully clothed. Thanks guys, that helps, that helps. I want to say that some of these ones are lies because I know that some of you don't shower, but but I appreciate the sentiment. Ouch. There is some never nude out there. I've never heard that phrasing before. <laughs> How would you know that? Chad, I've been to enough conventions to know. 
Harsh reality, I have been to plenty of enough conventions to know that j just generally speaking, listen, I, I hope the best for each and every single one of you, but the, you will be taking me for a fool if you think that every single one of you hygienically takes care of yourself. No shot. Don't forget the Master Ball. The what? Wow, I already defeated your boss, dude. Get out of here, dude. Seriously. I can smell you through the screen. Yikes. Gotta take care of yourself, chat. As I was about to drink a lukewarm coffee. Hey, let me get a different drink and also go to the bathroom. <laughs> He's a hypocrite! Just to show you how dedicated I am to being clean, chat, whenever I go to the bathroom, like when I take my little breaks during stream, I actually shower too. Full body shower. Dry myself off. The works. I just really love being in a clean lifestyle. Do you wash your hands? Well, I'm already in the shower, guys. Let's use some logic here. Wet and soap. Bro's flexing on us about showering. He's really passionate about it, guys. Come on. Clothes must dry quick. I just spin really fast. Okay, and the Chick-fil-A drive-thru asked if you were watching a Pokemon stream. Baller. Just tell him, hey, say, hey, I'm Chick-fil-A guy, and I'll say, hey, Chick-fil-A guy, thanks for watching. Anyways, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go take a shower. Ooh, I can't wait. I'm not gonna lie, my office smells so good right now. Cause of that that new scent that I got yesterday. Ooh, it smells so good. Shout out to Bath and Body Works for bathing and body and works and working. Does a quick shower. I didn't shower, guys. I lied. I made it up. Oh, wait. Wait, I don't have the bike. <laughs> okay. We're gonna do a little backtracking. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Rat. Could you invent a new color real quick? That's not possible, guys. Guys, that's not even possible. You know what is possible though? Link your Amazon account to your Twitch account for a free Prime sub.
Can you do a quick tutorial on getting Eevee? No. There's a lot of great videos that already take care of it. <clears throat> I can give you guys a tutorial on how to get the bike if you want. Do you guys want that? I can I can I can manage maybe doing something like that. <laughs> I think I can handle doing something like that. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to how to get the bike in in Pokemon in Pokemon. So what you, you're gonna to want to go down. You just want to. Sorry, I'm looking it up. Okay, so what you're you're gonna wanna do next is the um you're gonna wanna go down to, to Vermilion Hold on, sorry. I like him in the in the TV show. So what you're gonna wanna do next is you're wanna you're gonna you're gonna wanna hold on. want to go down here and then you in, so you're in Ver, Vermil, Milan, you're in Myron's, Mil, Miles city and then you're gonna to want to talk to this guy he's really old I don't like him and he'll tell you some stuff I can't read and he'll if you talk to him he sh he'll give you an item that so you can redeem the um, so the bike so I have a I have a bike well I don't but I can get one now <clears throat> so now we're gonna go up, and so what you what you, what you want to do is you want to go up, and then okay, hold on, wait, hold on. I like him in the in the show with the when he when he gets married to the pink one. Hold on one second. What? No. No, I did. I did my homework. I did. Mrs. Robinson doesn't know what she's talking about. I turned that in today. Hold on one second, guys. No, I honestly. Okay guys, I gotta get off. Thank you guys so much for watch for watching it. I'll make the video tomorrow. Okay. Bye guys. <clears throat> hey everyone! Welcome back! Why are you so good at making those? Chad, these are based on real life on Earth. I remember one of my favorite activities as a child was hiding that I played rated M games from my mom. <laughs> Cause I would go to Denny's house and I would play, I would be playing those games. Mom's like, what are you gonna be doing over there? I'm like, oh, we're just gonna like, Escape, ripstick. I mean, we're gonna, we're drugs. I mean, um, 
sit and think. And she's like, oh, that's exciting. I'd be going over here, going over to his house, sitting in his living room. Well, actually, I'd be standing. I remember I went over to his house, and because my eyesight was so bad, and I didn't want to admit that because I thought it was cringe, even though Dennis also wore glasses, um, I used to stand in his living room. He used to sit on his couch for a reasonable distance, and I used to stand up while, while he, we were playing Halo 3 against each other, and his dad straight up walked in after getting off of work, and he's like... Why is he standing? <laughs> Which is really funny for a couple of reasons. One, because that's crazy to be outed for that. But additionally, I vividly remember him not asking me directly why I was standing. He was asking his son as if I wasn't a real entity or being. He was so flabbergasted that I was just standing in the middle of his living room playing that he just couldn't conceptualize me as a, as a person. Where am I going? I just be riding around. Anyways, so, um, yeah, I used to just like play games. And I remember I had some friends over. I remember I, I here's the classic back in the day workaround, which you know what? It's, it is just, it's so easy for you youngins to play your favorite games without getting in trouble. Ooh, boy, is it. Because back in the day, I couldn't ask my parents, like, hey, can you go buy me Halo Reach? Because they'd be like, no. Obviously not. And so what I did was the big brain workaround. I don't need my bring my mom to the Microsoft store. And so what I would do is I would, I would get Microsoft points from, like, GameStop or wherever, like, the convenience store. And then I would just go download the game on my, on my like, a digital copy. which was Ultra Brain. And so I would be playing Halo Reach, and anytime I would hear it, because keep in mind, my house is from the 1700s, so you hear somebody walk in the house, you hear it through the whole house. So I heard it, pause the game. If I'm on multiplayer, I literally had one hand on the controller, the other hand on the mode button on my TV to switch it to TV. I was playing, I was like, Psh, double kill, Psh, triple kill, Psh, baby. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I did my home. Mom, Mrs. Robinson's lying. No, I did the project. Wait, which one? The space one? Yeah, I did the space one. I did. I'm just watching TV, Mom. Come on. <sighs> Dude, that is mom. One of the funniest memories from my childhood, and here's the thing, chat, chat, is I know you guys have all had this moment. I know I'm not the only one. There was one day that my mom um, came home from work, and I had a project that was due. And let's just say I didn't really do much of the project. I might have done, hypothetically, none of the project. <laughs> and so my mom gets home at like 8 p.m. to come home to my little stupid face to go to her and say, Mom? 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 Um... I have a project tomorrow. And she looks at me and she's like, What project? And I was like, Oh, I gotta- I gotta make a planet. <laughs> Cause that was the whole project, was we had to make our own planet. And it was our own interpretation. It could be just a planet. Take, make an orb, John. Make an orb. 
And so my mom said, okay, well, how much did you do? And I said, I haven't started it. And she's like, when does it do? I was like, tomorrow. Chat, can I get an amen if you've done that to your parents? I cannot wait for the moment that my kid does that to me. Ooh, he's gonna get it. My mom, love her to death. She was. But regardless, <laughs> she helped. She helped. And here's the thing, is when my mom did pro help me with projects, did projects for me, <laughs> she would go all out. She wanted to make sure it was the best thing that's ever crossed that classroom. And so, you know, in this moment though, she did say to me, she's like, you know what, John? No. I'm not gonna help you. Cause keep in mind, chat, I had a really bad track record. I had a really bad track record of just, you know, not doing projects until literally the last frame that I had to do it before I turned it in. I was straight up doing homework in class five minutes before it was due. Which is kind of based. Why do that? In when I need to do it, when I can just do it when I really need to do it. You know what I mean? And so, you know, I cried to her. <laughs> Quite simply, I cried to her. I said, Mom! I need it, daughter, I'm gonna go to jail! Or something along the lines of that. And guess what? She did it. It worked. And she was so mad at me that she didn't even let me help. I just sat there, just... This is taking so long. Keep in mind, this is sixth grade. And so, time comes to turn in the project. And this thing is just, you know, it's a planet, for sure. It's a planet. Can I give some context? Because I did forget the entirety of the story. I'm not going to lie to you but it is very integral to this situation and it makes it way funnier. This project was not actually due the day after. It was already due. Now, here's the reality. <laughs> here's the reality chat. Um, one thing I really bragged about to myself, really no one, because who cares? Uh, but in the entirety of me ever going to school, never once did I get assigned detention. Not one single time in my life. However, that doesn't mean I wasn't assigned detention. Because quite literally, my teacher had it. She had it with old, old John Stone. And she said, John, do you have your project? And I did the classic. We've all done this. I get the bag and I'm like... No, I haven't found it yet. No, it's... No, I think it's gone. No, I brought it though. No, I brought it though. It's in there. I thought it was. Just play the old, I don't know where it is. No, and I didn't do it. I don't have a full planet in my backpack. <laughs> would have been, probably would have been a dead giveaway considering I would have walked in looking like a full orb. And she's like, you know what, John? That's it. You have detention. Go fill out one of the pieces of paperwork. And I, chat, went up and started filling out the paperwork. And I just froze because I'd never been talked to that way. Ooh, never been talked to that way before by a teacher. 
And she's like, John, did you finish it? And chat, I did probably the least giga chad thing I could have done. I cried. I cried in front of my whole sixth grade class. Tears pouring down my face. I'm really sorry. I don't want detention. I didn't mean to. I've just been having a really hard day. Yeah, I should have cried. And I'm not gonna lie, chat, that was so clutch. <laughs> Cause I think she just wanted me to shut up. So she said, okay, turn it in tomorrow. You don't have detention. I was like, oh, okay. And so let's come back. Let's circle back here. Not only is my teacher mad at me, my mom's mad at me. And she is just angrily putting together this planet for me. And I would also like to note that the teacher said, if you turn it in late, which is a pretty common thing, you will not get the full grade. You won't get the full grade. You're going to get at highest a 90. And that's if you do it great. Let's go Johnston dummy. So I bring in this planet. And not only is the teacher she, she looks at it and she says, John, not only is this planet great, this is the best one we've ever had. And I was like, I was like, well, yeah, that's why it was late, because I was just working really hard on it. So I was just, that's, like, I know that you were mad that I brought it in late, but I was just, I was just really, like, excited to make it, so I just didn't want to, like, you know. And she said that it's so good. She straight up asked to keep it, to use it as an example for her future classes. I was like, well, I had like a real sentimental attachment to it, but yeah, I guess you want it, whatever. And it was so good. She was so blown away. <laughs> that I got my full points and I got a hundred on my, on my project. And I absolutely top to bottom finessed the system in like three different ways. However, everybody knew me as a crier <laughs> from that point on. So, you know, it's not all of it was good. And my mom asked, she's like, how was it? I was like, great. I got a hundred. She's like, cool. You're grounded. <laughs> <laughs> and that was that! Learn my lesson. Oops. I guess you could say when it comes to project completion, you need to learn how to plan it. <laughs> Uh, they named a planet Uranus, guys. Oh, I'm so strong. Shout out, Poco. Thank you for the four months. Mighty Fox, thank you for the prime. I'm sorry, I saw that and I just went on a huge tangent. My bad. Yeah, hopefully you guys have had a moment like that where you just asked your parents to do stuff for you, and um, they did, because I don't think I could have taken it. What are you drinking? Body armor. Body armor's so gas. Doesn't even matter what you do, what you have, when you have it. It's just good. My favorite body armor flavor. It's one that they don't, cause I try the, I have the light ones. Cause they're like not calorically dense. I'm a man who doesn't drink his calories. I try not to at least. Um, 
They have, it's the yellow one, whatever, the tropical one with the pineapple. I just love pineapple. They just don't make it as the light version. But that would be my favorite. We killed Cubone's mother. Awesome and epic. I feel like you're too old to call it gas. Please stick with lit. Your name's Jerry. You have to be at least 53. I don't think you have any jurisdiction. Gas predates lit. Somebody check the Urban Dictionary. Somebody pull it up. We're pretty close to being done, chat, by the way. I just need to get that flute, and I need to beat that guy. The Koga Man. And I'm gonna get, uh... X specials, and we're pretty much good. And that'll be pretty much everything in Kanto. This guy's roasting everyone. Here's the thing, chat. Do you not roast me? Do you not roast me? And you guys sometimes say such mean things and I really cry all the time. Every day you cites gas at 2015. Okay. Lit was put on Urban Dictionary before gas. Yeah, but you're an easy target. Yeah, I'm currently fighting a thousand people in conversation. I gotta say some crazy things. I must hold down my fort, chatters. Oh. Have you ever had a comment that's just stuck with you and you won't forget? Yes. Yep. Ooh, John, you look so ripped today. Oh my god, John, you look so hot and cool. And like, actually like, buff. <laughs> Let me know when you do Aloha as a pretty, that's a, that's a, that's a classic. No, um, I mentioned this before, cause here's the thing is, this is a very like early stream thing where, you know, like I'm down to be the butt end of a joke, but there are people who do not understand what the line is between being a joke and just being mean to somebody. Um, which happens often, but there was some, there was like this, people were just making jokes at me. Like I didn't really care. Like people would call me bald or whatever. Didn't really bother me. You'd be like, oh, John, you're short. You're bald. I feel like that's just, they say that to every streamer on earth, regardless of hairline or height. It's just like, you gotta call them, you gotta humble them a little bit, right? I got enough of backbone I can hang. But there was somebody who left a comment and I forget exactly when it was. It was like right at the beginning of when I was streaming. But the comment, it was like people were just like kind of going into me that one day. And then somebody commented, hey, what's it feel like knowing that when you turn your stream off and turn the lights off and sit alone in your home that you have no one and you're not important? And it's not because I took it to heart and I thought it was true. It was more so the aspect that they thought it was a funny joke. <laughs> because I don't ever think that way. I'm not like, oh, guys, I don't have anyone. Ah, I do. But it was more so the fact I was just blown away. I was like, wow, you thought I like people were going to laugh from that? That wasn't funny. That was just mean, dude. You're lucky I don't care, because you would have made another person cry. Yeah, it was just so strange. And then we modded him. That was the craziest part. All the mods were like, oh my god, we need that. We need that. And then, you know. And now Beth's here. So, um, you know, it works out for everybody at the end of the day. Oh, I don't have fly. 
Yeah, no, that even happens like, like today. <laughs> there was somebody earlier just like TTS like making fun of how I look. Did I, I didn't even look bothered. I was like, all right, thanks for that, man. Have a good one. John, you're handsome and cool. Chance, come on, stop. Stop, guys. All right, you keep going. <laughs> Whatever, you know, it is what it is. Can't stop you. Listen, here, here's the reality chat. Does every, is everything that I say funny? No. Honestly, most things I say aren't funny. It's just I rattle enough, enough on stream that at least a couple have to be a banger. If I'm live for six hours, some of them gotta be funny, right? You know what I mean? Like, you can't say that I'm not funny at least at some points in the stream. You're never funny, actually. See, guys? That's just copium right there. But when you have one banger that you have to rip off to me and it's not funny, like nobody in chat laughs, that's gotta hurt. That's gotta hit so hard. I'm used to it. I I, I rip off a banger that I thought was a good one and not, nobody, nobody Omega lols. <sighs> Day in the life. Day in the life, baby. It happens. I wouldn't be here if you weren't at least a little funny. Is that what you look for in Twitch streams? What do you look for in Twitch streams, chat? You look for entertainment value? Do you look for funny? Do you look for, um... Um... What else can you do? Knowledge? You're here for great gameplay. Mm hmm As you should be. Wow, I dodged him. Nice. I dodge everybody? Wow. Someone who can talk a lot. <sighs> Give me a pen and pencil. I'll talk all day with my hands. Purple Dragon, thanks for the prime. I appreciate it. Everybody say hi to Largans. To Larp, Lamp, Larpy. To Lampass. Lappy? Lamb, Lamb. Mm, there he is, Largans. Good old Lajinj over there. I listen to you in the background while I study or do homework, so I miss half the gameplay. Do you put me on the surround sound? <laughs> so everybody in the home can hear. Okay, so I do have to take on Koga now. And here's the thing. Um. Oh, you know what? We do have to little do a little little crazy tricks in the safari zone because I need surf. I mean, I may, maybe I don't need surf, but I definitely would prefer to have surf, for sure. Can you help me with AP macroeconomics? Can you tell me what a Phillips curve represents? I believe that just means that Philip is well endowed. Hopefully that helps. Okay, let's uh, let's go do a little magic in the Safari Zone. Balls, everyone. I used to watch your videos exclusively while working out. <laughs> used to. I'd be benching while my ears are getting blasted with what is going on, guys. Yeah, I feel like that would be not beneficial. Does it weird you out that I'm watching you in the shower? Well, now that I'm overthinking it, yes. Because when you say that, it implies that I should be thinking it's weird. 
Because you could be saying, hey, John, I'm watching you in the shower. And I'd be like, okay. But you're saying, hey, John, do you think it's strange that I'm doing that? Does it make you uncomfortable that you that I could be watching you in the shower and uh, but let let your mind wander? Is it weird you out that I'm watching you while eating a chicken quesadilla? Well, yeah, because when you word it like that, it implies you 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 in the quesadilla are doing something. Hey guys, I'm gonna surf now, in the game. Wait. Oh, I wasn't level 40, but I should, through the strong will, get there. Through battling. <sighs> Look at those chompers! Why don't we sell them? Honestly, if those are salt, if those are real, where are those TikToks where they do like the diamond testers? They go to people on the street like, dude, can I check your ice? And they do it, it goes, me, 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 me. And then the filter comes up with like diamonds raining down. They're like, dude, he's ice out. And then the other guys are like, hey, can I check your diamonds? They're like, how much did you spend on them? And they're like, some light. Like they never clarify how much money they've spent on it. They're like, dude, let me chat, let me test your ice then. And he's like, he's like, no, I'm good. I'm fine. And they're like, he's got fake diamonds. What are you talking about? You've never seen that? Maybe that's just an Atlanta thing. <laughs> You've never seen those? What? Look up testing fake ice. And they just go around like malls testing people's <laughs> testing people's jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like every person that they that they pull onto the cameras like being forced against their will. They're like, like, hey, I'm with what's your name? Uh, James. All right, James, where'd you get your those? You got some cool jewelry, man. Hey, where did you? Uh, how much did you spend on it? Um, a little bit of nothing. A little bit of nothing. Yeah. Okay, can I test it? No. Cuts to the next person. That's it. And it's really funny when I see it in places I've been to. Like, I, I they're doing filming in the, like, the Mall of Georgia. And they're, like, doing it in front of the GameStop. Or, like, Zales. I was like, oh, wait, I was there! A friend of mine had to deal with a TikToker once. <gasps> Is he okay? Oh my god, that's awful. What happened? He was forced to drink boba he didn't like. Oh my god. Chad, should I do TikToks in real life? I think they'd hit. No? <laughs> yeah, I was actually thinking that wasn't chill either now that I think about it. Just wanted you guys to agree. Anyone ever told you that you kind of, kind of resemble Drowsy? Yep. You. Didn't you have someone doing that for you? What? TikTok clips? Oh, M sets. Yeah, he used to upload TikTok. Um, fun fact, chat. I was on on uh somebody's TikTok. Um, I went to a fair with some friends, and a guy came up, and he was like, "Hey, do you want to see a magic trick?" And I was like, "Sure." And I got to see the behind the scenes of a TikTok. He's like, hey, hey, pick a card. 
And I was about to pick the car and he's like, hold on, can I mic you up for my TikTok? And I really just felt like I was just warped out of reality. I was like, uh, sure. And all my friends are laughing because they're like, they're like, he doesn't know who he is. Oh my God, it's John Stone in a video. And this guy's like a, a magician or something. And he was actually a really good magician. And so <laughs> he like he like does some crazy card tricks that like I've never seen before. Cause like, I've seen some magician stuff, right? And he did something that genuinely blew me away. And I was so blown away, I straight up walked away. I was so blown away. And he looked at me and he said, don't do that. And I was like, why? He's like, that's what black people do. And I was like, I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means. Keep in mind, he was black. Just want to clarify, he was black. But I was like, I was like, he showed me a cool trick and I went, I was, I was like, no, no, no. Mm -mm, nope. <laughs> He's like, he's like, don't do that. And I was like, oh my God, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know I did something wrong. And I got really nervous for the rest of it. <laughs> so if those ever come up in your feed, just know that I'm scared. I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to be canceled. I didn't do anything. I'm sorry. And he also was like, he's like, okay, can you follow me after it was done? <laughs> and so we had to, as a collective, he was like checking our phones to make sure we followed. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Chad, the moment he walked away, I was like. <sighs> Show us the technology. Chad, I don't know who it is. If you find it, run it. But like, good luck. <clears throat> Anyways, um, Yes, yeah, so I've had that experience before. There was also one time at the mall. I went I went to a mall with some friends and there was a guy who was filming a YouTube video. And um He was like really braggadocious about it. It was just really funny to to do to me. <laughs> he was like walking by, he's like he's like, I bet you guys want to be in this YouTube video. <laughs> just like he's walking. I was like, I was like, yeah, I do it, so. Not to worry, I'll get my fill today. I will. I followed him in the moment. I did. Did I teach you surf? I don't think I did. So if. Uh, sure. Great. Okay, so this battle- Oh, I didn't get, uh, X items. Nah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Or save. Yeah, I didn't do that out. No, sir. No, sir. Squirmims has it. Squirmims? What are we doing over here? Scrimmy worm. I really did nail that head. I would start the battle at level 40. I said it would happen and it did. Oh, that's really sour gaming. Squirmims! Squirmims! Boom, that's the power of Squirmims. Yep, I'm swapping. That was the only surf that I needed to land.
Do I have a antidote? An antidote? No. Okay, well, we're running it. <clears throat> does my toxic reset or does it continue from where I am right now? Probably continues, right? I have a lumberry. Ooh, you're so right and so smart. Scorpions. All right. Time to sit on Koga. I had a Petra. That means I can do it twice. I will sit on that man today. Let's do over half. It'll do whole. It'll actually do whole the opposite of half. Wow. Yeah, that was uh, wildly easier than last time. By a lot. Kill cat. Smile. Any smilers? Thanks for the nine months of Prime. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Chat, thanks for the subs. Hey, just a friendly reminder though, if you're not following the stream, I would appreciate it. Also, if you check your Amazon account, link it to your Twitch account, you get a free Prime sub for ad reviewing. It's free. Don't have to use it on me, I'm just letting you know. I'm just putting you on to a little bit of knowledge. Um, so, small oversight. <clears throat> Huge oversight. Uh, don't have fly. Because I didn't beat Surge. I can collect the item, but that means nothing. So, what I'll need to do is... Hmm. Just out of curiosity, do I have everything that I need in this game? Because what I could do is I can just go through Seafoam Islands and eventually make it to the other side of Seafoam Islands to then... Surf. Right? No, I'm not smart enough to figure that out. Volley, think of the prime. You know where I have a volley? Cannoli. Mmm, I could go for one of those. I haven't had a cannoli in so long. Actually, the last one I had was like a year ago. Because I went to, um... I went to Boston. What's a cannoli? Guys. You love the cream. Yep, big fan of that cream. No, I didn't go, listen, I'm gonna say it. Mike's Pastries is overrated. It is. Why is that place packed when I can go down the road and I can go to Modern Pastry and pay the exact same price and if I'm not mistaken, use a card? Mike's, if you don't know, Chad, Mike's Pastry is like the dessert place to go to. It's a dessert place that you go to. And it's just not, it, like it's good, it's great. It's just, it's because it's so popular, it's packed. There's some mafia cafe down the road from Mike's that's a thousand times better and doesn't have a line. So he says Southern thing? No, it's Boston, chat. Boston. <clears throat> In the South End. It is a one singular, it's a mom and pop owned place. So if you don't, never been to Boston, you definitely don't know what I'm talking about. It's just a little low key thing. Nail, thank you for the prime. There's one or two other locations? Ah, I didn't know that. Wait, I had to go through Diglett's tunnel. Oh. Unless. No, I didn't get fly. I didn't pick it up. Yeah, I'm sure there are other pastry places in the world with the name Mike's. To be fair. 
Sh movement. Oh my goodness. Hey, piece of side lore, chat. Did you know that there was an item that could have been related to this event? Remember how we talked about this? We're like, whatever happened to this building? Uh, if you trade a Machop from Gen 1 to Gen 2, it's holding an item called the Brick Piece. And it is presumed that potentially it was supposed to be leading to a storyline where you maybe could have hypothetically traded a bunch of Machop to get enough Brick Pieces to build the building. Which is insane, so I'm glad that they didn't do that. Also, what if, what would have the building been for? That's something I often forget, that gens, when you trade Pokemon from gens 1 to 2, they can hold items. And usually they're like, nice. Uh, no, actually I want to go down. Another item that was unused, that people don't really know about, unless you're like really, really into Pokemon, uh, is the Ber Berserk Gene for Mewtwo. It's supposed to like... I'll be honest, I actually don't know what it's supposed to do. But it's, I believe, supposed to make... Mewtwo stronger? <laughs> As if it needed that? I don't know if there's supposed to be a storyline related to it or not, but it's in the game. You can still get it. Confuses itself and raises attack. Oh, so it's like a self swagger. Interesting. Okay, what a long winded way to get here, but we're here. Um, I didn't get a Growlithe, but that's fine. I'll get Arcanine and I'll breed it. I wish I'd gotten the Gen 1 and Gen 2 Virtual Console games on my second 3DS. Still can. You can. Ah, it's so bad. Okay. I am uh, very interested to see how tomorrow goes. Because we will be taking on XD. Oh, true. Growlithe is in the mansion, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Good call. Um, yeah. So I'll be playing that tomorrow, and that's gonna be... Something. Do you like sort of these sorts of challenges better than Nuzlocking? Um... As long as I can make these entertaining, yes. Or, no, I like them the same. I like them the same as Nuzlocking. The only thing is it's because a lot of the time I'm just like running around catching Pokemon, it's really hard to make that like fun because you guys know already all of this, typically. You guys kind of know like the general gist of how to how to do this, right? And it's, I don't know, I feel like it can be boring at times compared to a Nuzlocke where everything is like randomized, you don't know what's going to happen next, so you like kind of an anticipate or like think about it, right? We're here for your antics? Well, yeah. Because imagine how boring this would be if I didn't have anything to say. <laughs> it would be a little bit... Chat's calmer? Oh, I wouldn't say that. Yeah, I wouldn't say that, but sure. Okay, let's finally get Kabuto. This is this is the only reason I had to get to Koga. Was just so I could revive this one singular guy. Yeah, it's also a Monday chat. Monday is like the least popular day to watch streams. 
and Tuesday. It is the time where most people are not online. Okay, we now have Ammonite, and that is that is pretty much the extent of this game. So that's pretty good. Nature gases, chatters, nature gases. That sucks, I want to start streaming tomorrow. Don't let it stop you. The best time to stream is the next time you can. Girl. Jolly. Anybody say jolly? None of you? Go to jail. Actually go to jail. That's so embarrassing. I was gonna guess that, I just didn't say it. I did, I said jolly. Yeah, tell it to the judge, dude. Jeez. Oh, dog. And I only need one of these, which is cool. I only need one Growlithe. Because you get uh, Arcanine in XD, or you get Growlithe in XD. It's one of the two. I don't really know, but we'll figure it out tomorrow. Uh, the only other thing that I needed to get... Ekans, Arbok is good. It was Shelder. Yeah, the Shelder. Ever consider starting a podcast? I'm good. Yeah, chat. I don't. I don't think I'd have anything interesting to say. If you think about it, streaming is podcasting. You know what I mean? Like I'm already. I'm already talking. <laughs> Growlithe. Sorry, I just died for a second there. My body just took a little screenshot. Oh, Growlithe is an XD. Okay, that, yeah, never mind. But we're still good. Needed it. Are there any other Pokemon? I need Charmander. I do need a Charmander. Which I just need to trade to another game. Kuna, Pidgeot. Uh, I'm just seeing what else I need. I'm definitely going to have to come back at some point to like double check. I'm just making sure I have everything that I need. Wait, is Shelter an option? Oh, Shelter is an XD. Okay. Well, that answers that. XD, XD, XD. Oregon I have. Ammonite I have. Forgot to check that off. Have that. Have the evolutions. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Aside from Charmander. It's faster to catch a shoulder than to breed. Um, I don't have fly. Yes, in theory, yes. Uh, but I don't have fly, so I don't want to go all the way over there. So, <clears throat> I'm fine with that. I'm just going to put this, uh, I had to add these Pokemon party. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade them to my leaf green now. Snake. 
Or sorry, why am I trading to my emerald? What am I saying? Why am I trading to my- Oh, right! No, I had to trade it to my fire red, or my leaf green, to then trade it to my emerald. That was actually the correct thing to say. What will be the final catch? Oh, <gasps> wait! Speaking of that... Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea what it would be. But, chat! Are you down for a secret encounter? That I don't know will work or not, but we're gonna figure it out? No, Dragonite probably won't be. It'll be obviously the last in XD. Or I guess wouldn't Lugia? I don't know. I can't keep secrets, it's okay. It's okay, guys. I just won't show you. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna actually boot up Leaf Green. Cool. And... Denny, honestly, you should buy one of these. They're so sick. So, now that I'm in Leaf Green, um... I, I'm gonna go catch some guys. I don't use cartridges. Denny, do you have your old games? Denny? I didn't save. I'm like 99% sure that I saved. No. Wow, that's so sad. It's so sad. Um, so what I'm going to do is I just need to catch a couple of Pokemon just so I can trade them. <laughs> I'm not playing on an R4 chat. There's so many Pokemon I caught in this game. It's actually kind of crazy to think about. Like just for one game to help complete the decks, I need to catch all of these Pokemon. Maybe a, maybe a couple I didn't need to catch because I, you know, could breed, but. Can you play black too? As a person who has played that heavily. I agree. Analog pockets are readily available now. They ship within a day, so if you want one, get one. Paid comment. What are you playing on? Ford Focus Center Console. This may look like my office chat. Your boy's in a vehicle. <clears throat> Is there any mainline game that you don't have complete in box? Um, most of the Game Boy games and GBA. DS to 3DS to Switch, all of them. I have all of them. Um, it's just because the the Game Boy games are just expensive. They are so, so expensive. It's just no need. You know? I'm doing the Mysterious Shards in BDSP. This sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Chat can agree for the people who watch the BDSP streams. I got disgustingly lucky. So crazy lucky. I was finding them left and right. There was one where I found them back to back. Yeah, lucky with Feebass. Yeah, I have my lucky moments, but they I do have my unlucky moments. Like, the most unlucky aspect of the stream series, without a doubt, was Latios. Latios was- it was actually unbelievably crazy. And I understand that I reset over it a couple times because I wanted a good nature, but that was, that was like an hour and a half. 
Would you be down to do streaming 101 video at some point? No. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but you can ask me questions, chat. I have a general guideline of a few, and I I know, chat, don't roll your eyes. I know I've answered this question about 100 different times. But let me just give you a quick baseline. I'm not going to elaborate on them. But this is what you should do. One, stream. That's like the number one thing. Go stream. Don't plan it out. Stream. Figure out how to go live. Figure out what to do. Stream. Tell your friends. Boom. Okay. No need to prepare. And this is the harsh reality. Is you are preparing for essentially nobody but your friends. The odds of you going live right now and having even 10 viewers would be mind-boggling. So stream to stream to see if you like doing it. Tell your friends, tell your family, whatever. Go do that. And then do research. Find out what other people are doing and find out how you can do it better. And that, yes, includes watching streams. Watch, them, watch me. Use your Prime. <laughs> but watch streams. Figure out what the like top Pokemon players are doing or whatever you're streaming. It could be COD, it could be knitting, painting, frog jumping. I don't know, whatever you're doing. Just look it up. Do a little, do a lot Got of an research. I realized I hadn't re prime subbed. Thanks for the 26, congrats. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, yeah, just do that. Don't commit to a schedule. 99% of the time, it doesn't work out. Stream like nobody's there. Because nobody's there. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Sorry, stream like everyone's there. <laughs> stream like stream like you have a hundred viewers. Talk to yourself. Fake it till you make it. I didn't do it again. Guys, I didn't! Stop! Okay, we'll see, because Bay Davis said I didn't save my copy of Leaf Green. I'm like really confident that I did. Wait, no, I didn't put my game, guys, I didn't put my game in. I can't trade anymore. Hold on. <laughs> Boink. Now we're good. You, the fossil. No, me, the guy. Yeah, I saved. You're so silly, guys. Hold on, I'm getting ready to trade. Yeah, and I know it, it may seem embarrassing, chat, but straight up, stream like somebody's in there and you're having a conversation with them. Tell a story. What camera do you have? Um, I don't think that's important. Let me tell you what camera you should have. If you're gonna stream. Logitech, C920, or some equivalent. Because here's the thing, is I, I've mentioned it before, I've mentioned the stuff that I have. I think it's discouraging. Because people will have the mindset, I'd be like, oh, I need that. You don't. You do not need this camera. I have a 4K camera. Chad, I don't even stream in 4K.
Get a 1080p or 720p camera. Don't invest a ton of money if you have not made any money from streaming. Because why? Unless you're just like a really avid streamer for fun. Like, Dennis, what do you use? Because Denny does a little bit of streaming on the side. I used to watch Denny stream back in the day. C922. I mean, that's... Uh, that's my starting stream camera. It's like... I don't know how much it is now, because I bought it during COVID, which is a bad time to buy any cameras. Um, I think it was like 100, 110, something like that. It's probably cheaper than that now. Can you use a regular DSLR camera as a stream camera? Um, you need a cam link. It's from Elgato. And... It depends. It, you have to look up the compatibility. Because I bought my camera before I bought the cam link. Which I think that's normal anyways, but... Because um, it doesn't... Cam link does not work with every single camera. Oh, did I trade a Pidgey for a Pidgey? Oh! I just wanted them to... They were migrating to a different region. They were just migrating, guys. <laughs> it's Kanto? Yeah, but it's like Kanto too. Guys, shut up! Hey, shut up! Hey! Stop! I'm trying my hardest out. I'm really trying, guys. I'm really trying out here. You guys are just bullies. You guys are just bullying me, and I'm really trying. Wait, why am I trading Pidgey again? Stop! Ignore this. Ignore this. Ignore this. Ignore this. I trade this. In this game. I trade this. Beautiful. Wow, I don't know why that took so long. But yeah, that's the advice I gave you, chat. If you want to stream, go live. Tell people you know that you do it. Don't be scared. They're not going to beat you up. If they say mean things in your chat, ban them. Problem solved. They're not going to come back. That's the reality. Your, your mean little high school bully is going to come in and say... Oh, look at this little nerd streaming, and then you ban him, and then never worry about it ever again. John, you stink. Mods, blow up his ant farm. I don't care if you worked hard on it. I did this and post on my socials whenever I go live, and now an affiliate. Yeah, there you go. And listen, chat. If you if you tell enough people, you can get to affiliate pretty quickly. The hardest part about affiliate is honestly streaming. That is really your test is if you are able to stream. Because what's what's the requirement in a month? You gotta stream what? Twenty hours, twenty five hours, or something like that, to three people, and you are already one person. And before anybody says it, because I know people will say it, you cannot open three tabs. It does not work that way. It may potentially up the viewer count for a second, but it does not reflect actually when the time comes to like evaluate and check if you're approved to be an affiliate to make money. 100 followers, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, that's probably the hardest part then. I forgot that there's a follower count. Um... Three different accounts. No, I'm pretty sure that it, it checks IP, which is interesting, but pretty sure. I don't know. Never tried. But, um, 
Yeah. It does not check IP. All right, well, you can do it that way if you want to. Still have to get the 100 followers. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And I think that's everything. And now, chat, we're going to do something that you probably are going to wince at a little bit. You'll be like, ooh, why did he's doing that? That's crazy. Uh, I'm going to delete my, <laughs> my fire and save file that we worked on today. Why? Because I need Charmander. All that hard work, chat. Just to get one more guy. <laughs> That's the unfortunate part, chat, is I need to play this game three times. And I don't have Charmander. And I know, chat, you, you guys are thinking, wow, John. You need Charmander. Jeez. I'm not resetting my leaf green. Just the one we did today. Can you stream using your MacBook Pro camera? Yeah. Yep. You definitely can. It's just my advice would be to not use the MacBook camera audio because it's really bad. Any webcam audio. Chad, you want to know what webcam audio sounds like? I'm doing it, baby. I'm switching over. Chad, this is what webcam audio sounds like. And by the way, I have a good webcam. This is what it sounds like. Granted, granted. I'm not next to it. Okay. Let me turn off all the filters. This is what it sounds like. I'll, I'll get near it. This is what it sounds like. It sounds bad, does it not? This is with no filters. This is just that raw camera quality. Okay. It's not good. It's not even close. So, don't use that. I'm not going to say over. What I would recommend is buying a blue snowball. I'm going to look it up just because I've said it so many times. I don't know if they actually still sell blue snowballs, but I would assume they do. Blue snowball mic. Yes. Um, for a refurbished one on Amazon, $30. If you want a brand new one, $40. That is, if you are a, a do not have any money to spend on it, that is the best bang for your buck Microphone you can buy. It is, um, make sure it's not ice. Is that like a newer version? Never heard of that. But those are my, my first videos. My first videos I ever made were on that. On a blue snowball. It's an even more budget junk version. Interesting. Yeah, the quality on the Blue Snowball is not necessarily, like, amazing, but it is better than probably any other headset you're going to use. You also could just use a headset. That is an option. Just don't breathe into your mic. Let me just make sure I don't have anything else in this game. Tyler 1 quality. You do meme, but uh, he is like one of the largest streamers in the world. He's like in like what the top 25 and he uses a headset. So just, you know, consider that. Consider that a lot of the large streamers do not have any. I just keep starting the game over and over. Sorry. Um, 
I almost did it again. Am I unwell? No, I don't want it. No. <laughs> oh, I just can't press select and B in this game. But how do you do it in this game? Is it B? No. Did I do B up select? You can save over the file, but I have to learn, Chad. Hold on. It's got to be B up select. I had to do it in a specific order. Up B select? No. Whatever. At the same time, I don't think it works. Nope. Whatever. It's okay. It is. It is the, the combination chat. It just does not work on my analog pocket for some reason. Charmander! Okay. I just get a Charmander and I make it to the next area that I can trade and then I trade it over to the other game. That's all I do. Moz, you wanna do a prediction if I get a shiny or not? Hmm. It's not Leaf Green. <laughs> you guys, honestly, I really appreciate it, but dude, I'm playing this game for five minutes, chill. Are we content now? Oh, I messed it up. Oh, I messed it up. I messed it up. I messed it up. I'm, I'm bad at the game. My rival's name. What's my rival's name? E. What's my trainer ID? One seven nine five nine. That's so crazy. That's when my mom was born. Don't you need a save? Yeah. I can save when I'm ready to trade. Chad, I gotta do the litter box! I have an alarm set. Chad, are there any other streaming pointers that I always elaborate on that I skipped over? I think I covered all the basic stuff. How long have I been doing this? Um, streaming? Almost four years. <sighs> I hate thinking about that, but yeah. What are the proper NVENC coding settings for 864p? Nine or 12. It's not shiny. Can you talk about how to raid as a small streamer? Should you raid similar size streams or bigger streams? Chat, I, as much as I do appreciate the people who do raid my streams, if you do not have a similar or larger following, it's almost always a waste of time. Because let's just take it for a perspective. Let's just say I go and raid, um, like XQC after the stream. He averages between like 50 to 80,000 people. And in your head, you'd be like, oh my God, that's 50 to 80,000 people who are gonna find out about me. I rate him, does absolutely nothing. Not only will nobody notice, nobody's gonna care. And I don't, and I don't mean that from a, a 
mean standpoint. What you should do is find people who make similar content to you and raid them. Like when I, ra Matt and I have very similar viewer bases. So type one if you watch Mr. Blogs Gaming. It is probably a solid 90% of the people who watch me watch him. The fact that I didn't even say his name correctly proves my point. I didn't even say his name. I called him Mr. Blogs Gaming, and you guys are typing his emotes. <laughs> so, you know, um, my advice to you is I would find people, like, let's just say you're playing Pokemon Emerald. I, I will admit that the category currently is pretty dry. It's like me and maybe three other people are currently playing Pokemon Emerald. But let's just say you are playing Pokemon Emerald. Let's just say you have five viewers. Find somebody else who has five viewers. Because here's the thing. If you rate me with five viewers, I'll be like, thanks. If you rate somebody who has five viewers with five viewers, you double their viewer count, they are going to be over the moon. They're going to go, oh my god, thank you so much for the rate. And if they aren't, I mean, I mean, just still run with it, but you know. Typically, they're gonna be like, wow, thank you so much for the raid. What were you doing today? Is that not typically what people say to me when I raid them? Unless they're really busy? They'll be like, oh my god, what were you doing today? How was your stream? Like Steve, yesterday when I raided him. He's like, hey, thanks for the raid. What is John doing today? Because he knows that I leave. <laughs> I drop you off like parents in a divorce. I'm like, alright, you can have the kids now. Arlie dreads the raids? Why? Why is that? <laughs> We're bad boys? Okay. I, I won't- I'll, I'll ask her about that. She's actually upset about that. I won't read. That's not my intention. Obviously. <laughs> Anyways, um... Yeah, so... I would just rate people who are very similar size or less. You can maybe go, you can go a little bit up. You have five viewers, you can rate somebody who has 10, 15. Um, but I wouldn't rate people who have, you know, like hundreds, thousands. It's just not optimal. Is it wrong? No. But rate yourself double the viewer count. Okay, okay. Jace, thanks for the 37 months. I don't know why I didn't read out. Did you say something bad? Jace, did you say something really bad or did you break TTS? I think you broke TTS. Nice job, Jace. John burned my lungs with the fumes from his soldering iron, chat. He's making illegal Game Boy Kush. Guys. Okay, that's kind of true, I'm not gonna lie. That's actually kind of true. Mike in my bag. Thanks for the prime. Oh, chat, I keep forgetting about that. We're doing the special thing. Why do I keep forgetting about the special thing that we're gonna do with the special thing and the special guy? Why am I like this? I keep forgetting. Wrapped. I also forgot to check off that I have Charmander. I have Charmander now. I'm so eepy now. Okay, let's just go trade this Charmander and we're good to go. Should be able to trade by this point. Pog champion. Yes, yeah, because you said Kush. <laughs> I think that's why, Jace. You said a bad, bad word, and you should be really upset. 
Mike, thank you for the nine months. Uh, what I need to do is I actually need to catch another Pokemon. Oh, I wasn't paying attention, but yeah, that sounds pretty good. Wait, my old save! No. That's so bad. All our hard work is gone, everyone. <laughs> I really need to replace the batteries in this Game Boy. What did we lose? Hope. It's all over. After I trade this over, chat. Why don't I just get a modded one? What do you mean? Oh, with like the battery packs in it? I don't know. I just don't really use this ever. Okay. So after this, we will do a special thing as long as it works. If it doesn't, um, I will figure it out off stream. Because I really have not tried this, and we're we're just kind of guessing. My Flymon is gone, by the way. In Leaf Green, no more Flymon. Goodbye, guy. See you later. And that is pretty much everything for Fire Red. We do not need to touch Fire Red again. Which is good. Hurt. Yeah, there's anything else I need to do. It really is just XD, and then we finish with Emerald, and it takes a really long time. <laughs> there's one Pokemon left that I need to catch in Leaf Green. That is the only thing we have to do. From the looks of it, there may be some extra Pokemon that I needed, but I've caught like one line of everything in Leaf Green. Some Pokemon I just need to breed. Like I need to breed a lot of Eevee. Like a lot of Eevee. So, what we're gonna do now, this might take a little bit, a little bit of setting up. Is it only three Eevee? Oh yeah, that's true, because I have Umbreon and Espeon already. I do forget about that. I do be forgetting. Okay. I do have a little thing that I gotta do. Oh, I almost dropped that. Oh my God. Now, chat, it's time to get a special event that I know nothing about. And by nothing, I don't know a lot. But that's going to make it fun. So what I'm going to do um, is I need to go talk to... <laughs> do I just go to the Pokemon Center, chat? Pokemon and, and do it on there, like here. And I had to enter this special code. Where is it? Link. Together.
all. Okay, that worked. Okay, so now I've unlocked Mystery Gifts. Miss Mi Min Minty Grills. Red finger but whole. Okay. Mystery gift, good. So, when you save your game, you can access the mystery gift. I almost just soft reset. That would have been really funny if I did that. Talk about thanks for 300. Appreciate it. Okay. So I'm gonna soft reset. And now, give me two seconds while I do a little, little mystical magic on my end. See, this is one thing I was kind of worried about. Because I have it plugged in, and I don't think... I don't think you can use a wired for this. A wired connection. Which is really weird because, like... What what's the difference between wired and oh cuz I don't have it back I have it backwards I have it backwards that's why <laughs> I have it backwards We'll see if that fixes it it might not actually it might actually not work This might be a wireless only function. Ah, uh, dude, I keep messing. I'm trying to do it at the right timing and I keep screwing it up. It might be a timing thing. I really don't know. I've never done this before. Yeah, I don't know, chat. Hmm. Look, give me one second while I look this up. Cause I can just put it in the game. Hmm. Yeah. Cause it doesn't seem to work. Cause asking for a wireless adapter, cause it gives me this. I know you can't really see it, but Oh, you really can't see it at all. It says, please check whether the wireless adapter is connected properly and turn on the power again. Um, so. The battery, yeah, I know, I know. I mean, I do have a wireless adapter somewhere. I think it's in one of my boxes. The issue is I don't have two of them to then go with my analog pocket, which it doesn't fit anyways. I'm looking though, give me one second. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's a it's an adapter thing. Okay. Well, um, what I can do, Chad, is I can just add it to the game because at the end of the day, Chad, this is that's no different from this. Um, the question is, I don't really know how to do that in the analog pocket, if I'm being honest. Hmm. Well. How do we do that, then? Might need a little bit of time. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think the analog pocket has a backup save option. Yeah. I can use my Wii. I think I can also use my DS. Hold on. I can make it work. I'm gonna be honest though, chat. How do how do you add it? <laughs> Cause I can't just add the thing, right? Swap DS. This one, this DS is dying. Oh my goodness. DS number two can't fail. Oops. Let me just see if I have, because I had a thing for um, a certain event. I'm just trying to see if I, maybe I have it on here. Is it called the DS event tool? Is that what it is? Oh, I have it. <laughs> I have it, we're good. Okay, so in theory, it should now be on there. I don't know, I've never tried it. I just knew that I had I had something like that ready. Let us see. Big prage for this one, for sure. And Oh, no, it's not in here. In these games, that's Gen 4. In these games, you go up top. And it should be up in here. Yeah, that didn't work. Unless it's just magically in my bag now. Check my wonder cards. I don't even know how to do that in this game. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay. Back to it. Oh, 
I'll figure it out. Oops. My DS, I'm, I didn't check to see if the DS actually read if the cartridge was in there, so let me see. Okay, it does. Oh, dude, I had to change. That's so annoying, dude. I had to change to my other YouTube channel, uh, YouTube account. There we go. Is that a premium? Yep, I do. Okay, right. You can download extension. Well, I already paid for premium. That's fine. Okay. Try again. It will eventually work. I'll just leave the music on. Now it works. Sorry. Okay, so we talked to this guy. Thanks for using the mystery gift system. You must be John, there's a ticket here for you. And we get the Aurora ticket. Now chat, let me give you a little bit of backstory. This specific event was only available in 2004 during the Pokemon Rocks America Tour. It is also one word, which is um weird. But um, this was a tour that was only done in select locations in the U.S. It was uh, probably done overseas as well. But let me just look up and see exactly where the Aurora ticket was done. Because I think it was about five cities in the U.S. Um, so it was in... Hmm... It doesn't really say. It was done at the electric electronic game show giveaway or the electronic game show in Mexico um, on two days, two singular days in Mexico. You could go and then never again, which that is a trend. If you don't follow any of the events from history's past, which, you know, why would you? But gens three and four, a lot of the events were one day. Manaphy? was one day if you wanted the event one dark rye one day um obviously they had and i'm talking about the actual physical distribution of the pokemon like i remember going to gamestop um oh maybe that's where september 25th 2007 is so important in my head that was when i got manaphy at toys r us that's kind of sad but um regardless that is the uh because yesterday i had like i was thinking of that date and time and I don't, I don't know why um point is it was only released in a couple different locations the ps3 used the vermilion city port now normally people redeem this event in ruby and sapphire but i've never done it in this game and a fun fact is i don't have fly another fun fact is that this Specific event changes depending on which game version you have. And because Ruby and Sapphire are the most common to catch this Pokemon, a lot of people do not get it in this game. And it's honestly to the point where I don't even remember what Pokemon form you get from doing this, which is kind of cool. Nor do I even know how to do the event. I've seen it so many times as I was younger uh, I do also need balls. Lots of balls. But yeah, to my knowledge, this is only available in... It was like three to five days across the U.S. for the Pokemon Rocks America Tour. Uh, the obvious ones, probably New York City, San Antonio. Um, 
maybe Las Vegas. Just think of any really popular area in the U.S. And it's probably where the event took place, right? Um, I personally did not. I lived in New Hampshire, so like the odds of me going to this were zero. Convincing my mom to go to New York for one day. <laughs> no, mom, but it's so sick. It's Deoxys. Oh, I spoiled it. <laughs> No, I didn't, chat, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Uh, I didn't mean it. Oh, Parasect has Spore. Cool. This thing might be easy to catch or really hard. I'm gonna bring Bilump because it's thick. I went to the one in Minnesota at the Mall of America. There you go, chat, there's one of them. I actually did forget that I leaked it, even though it's not a leak and all of you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I do it for the... L I wasn't talking to you. Oh my... Can you believe her? What is wrong with you? I have in my head an idea of which, which version you get in this. But I'm not super confident in that. You made eye contact with her? She noticed that? I don't have cut? I gotta take the long, the long way. The long way. And here's the thing, Chaz. I, I have covered this in one of my videos a really long time ago. It was, um, it's like top 10 rarest Pokemon of all time. It was not a good video, but I remember talking about Deoxys in, in the tour, and I had photos of the Rocks America tour and stuff like that, but I don't remember anything past that. Shall, shall we go down memory lane? Let me just see what I said in my video. Top 10 rare, rarest Pokemon. Is my video even searchable? Nope. Actually, go to my channel. All the way to the bottom. All the way. Who was the rarest Pokemon ever released? Video uploaded five years ago. So let's just do a quick little a quick little showcase. We're not gonna play with audio, don't worry, don't worry. Um oh yeah. Well, I guess I'll throw in this music. So, uh at some point, these are the Toys R Us events. Ah, here it is. Um so Pokemon Rocks, this is the best, the best PNG that I could find. I remember this is such a, a specific event that that's the best PNG I could possibly find. This was, you know, before I really cared about, you know, um, cleaning them up. But besides the point, I think there were some pictures. Um, there's a Metang. I, I don't remember that, honestly, but you could get a Metang from doing that. Um... And it knew some cool moves, I guess. And I'm pretty sure there was a photo. Was there not like a photo of... Uh, it's Ray's and there's probably like... Wolfies. Is that really it? That's all I said about it? I refuse to believe that. Oh, by the way, this is how you used to get Celebi. Remember I told you there was a truck? A Celebi truck? Straight up, you put it in that machine. Um, so that's kind of neat. No. I don't remember this bit. I don't remember reading an entire bit. This must have been really cringe. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just going to, we're just going to, I'm just checking. I just want to see if this is really cringe. Yep. Yep. It was cringe. It was cringe. It was cringe. Never mind. Never mind. Don't look at it. Um, Pikachu. 
Um, yep. Okay, I guess I don't have any footage of it. Which, you know, at the end of the day, that's fine. But I remember there was like a... Pokemon Rocks America. There's like a station. I have a picture of the station. Where you could trade Pokemon. It must have been a different video I did then. Because I swear that I, I remember that. By the way, I believe that they were able to get a distribution cart for that, that Metang, which is pretty neat. Um, yeah, I guess I don't have any pictures of it, but... Oh, there was one in Seattle. There was one available in Seattle for this event. Anyways. That's an Aurora ticket. Now that's rare. Will we have to take you to Birth Island anytime? Let's go to Birth Island. Fun fact, chat. Um, is this the only time I've ever done this event? No music. I don't recall even doing this in my catch -em all I'm pretty sure I just said you can't get it. Um, there is no audio whatsoever. And you were just on a triangle island with a triangle. There's no music chat. It's just a triangle. Now, the way that this works is you click on the triangle and it will move. And this will happen about 15 different times. And I'm going to be honest with you, chat. I have no clue. I have no clue how to do it. Because here's the thing. If I click on it right here, it resets back to the middle. And so the whole part of this, because I believe you do this, is you have to interact with it at the, at the right angle or it resets. And it will turn more red as you go. I mean, I assume that I did it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Either way. Onion in the front. First try. Cool. I didn't know that there was no music. And so fun fact about this specific battle chat is what, depending on which game you do it out of the five games, it changes which form because you can't change the form of Deoxys in Gen 3. Um, it's entirely based on which version you get. And in this game, I believe... No way, it's the regular one. It's not the regular one. I thought it was going to be defense. Oh, it's the regular one. Okay. Also, custom music. If you've never heard this song, it's like kind of Reggie, but with Deoxys. Oh, it's once you catch it? Um. Um, it is also level 30, which is a really weird level for it to be. I don't know why, to me, it just seems strange. Um, I'm gonna... Drank. I think you can eat that. Oh, wow. <laughs> My bad. I remember the Deoxys movie being kind of scary. I thought you said boring. I was going to lose it. Ultra Balls, we'll run it. But yeah, Chad, this is the only way you can get Deoxys. It is not legitimately obtainable in just like a regular gameplay. It was only available for at most five days. Which is probably why they added it to Ores, because Ores was the first game you could actually get it in. <laughs> 
Okay, I was gonna say, let's, let's make it a little fun. Let's make it a little fun, chat. Come on. Ow. I honestly thought that the the puzzle was gonna be harder. I'm <laughs> gonna be honest with you, but um, yeah, this is very interesting. I don't remember doing this. Like, I know. Have I done this before? I might have done it during the catch them all, but any other time, I have never done this. Radio, I don't even know if this event was in the UK. To be honest with you. Wow. That was actually really easy. <laughs> We got it! Yeah! Let's go! Yeah, that was really easy. <laughs> what is Deoxys' catch rate in this game? Did I just get really lucky? No, Deoxys' catch rate is three. Yep, I just got lucky. Okay. Yes, as I presumed, you actually get the defense form in Leaf Green. Um, Cause there are obviously four different forms. Ruby and Sapphire, you get the base Deoxys. Fire Red, you get attack. Leaf Green is defense and Emerald is speed, which is my favorite, by the way. Um, so yeah, cool. Large, large lad. And you can actually name it, which is pretty interesting. And you can shiny hunt it. Other than that, that's it. Can you revisit this location? I believe so. Why would you? To flex? Maybe. Let's see. Let's see if you can actually go back, but I'm pretty sure you can't. Or can. Yeah, you can go back if you want to. So it's change fortune, we send it back to another game. I believe that it's actually based on which version you have, so no. It doesn't. It's based on which game you catch it in. But I've never tried, so hey, let's figure it. Well, no, we're not going to figure it out. Well, actually, we are. We are going to figure it out, because you know what, chat? You know what we're going to do now? By the way, nature gas. Run your nature gases. We're going to get a little quirky today, chatters. We're not done. Eight hours in, we're still gaming. I think bold would be good for this, right, or something? Mm -hmm. Naive. Naive. What a strange, strange moveset. Okay. So what we're gonna do now, chat, now that I have that done, um, is we are going to play a game that you Yes, you might not know about. Because I believe, chat, we are now done with Pokemon Leaf Green. We've really caught everything that we need to catch. Um, the only thing that I really should do right now is maybe... Um, catch one extra Pokemon from Route 1. Naval Rock? No, we're not going to do Naval Rock, because I, I think that that takes away from the challenge. Because if you don't know, chat, I guess I, I could I could put it into my game. Um, Naval Rock gives you the ability to catch Lugia and Ho-Oh. It's a really neat event, and maybe I can show it as a bonus, but I think doing that as part of the challenge takes away from the challenge. It takes away the fact that you have to play through the entirety of Mount Battle. It turns Mount Battle into a two-minute event, which I know you're thinking, oh, wow, John, that would have been way better. Sure. But that's not normally 
that's not normally the case. Also, that eliminates a large portion of, of playing XD and the fun behind playing XD. So. So. One additional aspect of um, getting the national decks in this game for those 60 Pokemon is enabling the ability to trade between Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. By completing that whole post game with Celio, if you remember. But additionally, it makes it possible to use other programs to trade Pokemon, which we are going to be tapping into today. Because here's one big thing. Let's just look at all the boxes of Pokemon that I need to trade to Emerald. It's only three boxes, but manually trading and additionally catching roughly 90 Pokemon to send to Emerald would be a little bit of a pain, would it not? Let's just say it's like one minute per trade. That is, aside from taking away the catching aspect, it's like an hour. An hour of uh, an hour and a half of trading Pokemon back and forth just to add it to my Emerald copy. But I came prepared, chatters. I have the method. Also, on an unrelated note, chat, what I'm going to do is once I finish Emerald, I'm going to trade all the Pokemon to probably my other games as well, just because it's so easy to do because of what I'm about to show you. Um, because I've earned it, I think. I would like to think so. Um, it's time to go back to the Wii. However, we're not playing a Wii game. Goodbye, chat. What? What? Where are you going? Where are you going? I would like to note, before anybody strikes me down, I did buy the game. It's on the way. Okay? For anybody, if anybody that makes any, they're like, John's doing the bad, John's doing some bad things. It's not true. Okay? It's not. Um, okay, so I just need to switch over. I'm losing my voice. Can you hear it? <laughs> I walked away for two seconds. Where's my sensor bar? Oh, it's over here. Hold on, I gotta get my sensor bar. I gotta put my sensor bar on the TV. Look away, chat. Look away. Secret channel. I ordered it. It just didn't come in time. It is what it is. Okay, chat. Welcome to a game you've probably never seen. With a custom intro theme. Welcome to Pokemon Box. If you don't know what Pokemon Box is, it was an exclusive Pokemon Center only video game. Um, and because of that, only 10,000 copies sold in the US. This game currently goes for $2,000. I'm actually gonna let this run a little bit because it has um, an intro ish. I made a video on this um, about four, four or five years ago. Um, but yeah, this is a very rare game and it's not even a game. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not even a game. We'll just let it go through. I just want to show you because you will probably never see this again. Let's be real. <laughs> um, 
But this is basically just an easier way to trade Pokemon. That is the entirety of this project, of this this game. Um, I don't remember how much this game was on release date. I think it was like 30 bucks. That's my guess, because it's really not, it's not even a game. But, it should in a second, after going through the intro stuff, do a little um, screensaver. It's almost like an old screensaver. Behold. Just wait. It'll happen. It'll happen. I know. And it just has these random screensavers. It has a... Uh, they're, they're something. <laughs> and it just plays this music. I think it has some other ones that it plays. Uh, but it also has, like, a woodland one. A great comparison to this as to what this exactly is, because it's like a display mode. These are all the Pokemon that are, you know, hypothetically in your game. Um, it's like the trophy gallery in... Uh, it might be in the newest Smash game, but like, I know it was in Brawl where you could put the trophies on a stand and take a picture of it and stuff like that. It's basically that. Um, but yeah, you have two options. You have the option of Pokemon Box, which is your storage system. It is basically just Pokemon Home, Pokemon Bank, My Pokemon Ranch for the GameCube. You also have Go To Adventure, which, you know what? Just for the hee hee ha ha's, let's try it. So what you want to do is connect. You've probably seen this menu 17 times. Okay. Oh, it might only be for Ruby and Sapphire. <laughs> yeah. It's only for Ruby and Sapphire, which is fine. I'm reloading. Hmm. It might might not like. I have a workaround for this. I think it just might not like my analog pocket, which that's understandable. But that's why I have more consoles. Please catch your Nintendo GameCube and Game Boy Advance system. It's plugged in. Let's try it again. Hmm. Yeah, it, it doesn't work. This might be broken. It might entirely just be broken. I have a backup one. I bought it. Hold on. is it's fine that's not important what is important chat is I have my analog pocket <laughs> did you enable 
external console connection in USB loader? What? Did I do what? Oh, adventure mode just doesn't work. Oh, okay. That's fine. You enable the functionality in USB loader GX. Bro, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> All right, Chad, back to it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on guys, I, I got it. Why wouldn't they just work natively? I don't need toothpaste. Where would it be chat? USB loader GX? I don't think I have that. Go to Nintendo? Okay. Scary. Nintendo watching. Okay. Uh, settings. Oh my goodness. What is all of this? Native control. Native control. Native control all the way to the bottom. On. And then go back. Cheats on. <laughs> yeah, my Pokemon box cheats, guys. Oh, I know what that is. It's uh, it's for melee. I'm gonna be honest, chat. I didn't, I didn't play Mewtwo for 24 hours. I used to have melee on here. I'm sorry, chat. Hey, listen, listen. I wasn't gonna play for 24 hours just so I could unlock Mewtwo. I was hacking that boy in. Sue me. <sighs> Oh, sorry, hold on. Let's just try it, let's see. It does, okay. That's really weird that that's a feature. <laughs> okay. And you get a Pokemon box logo on the bottom. Cute, look at that. Oh, does it just not work with Fire and Leaf Green? <laughs> it just doesn't work with Fire and Leaf Green. Okay, well, I mean, there you go. Well, that's cool. That's a pretty neat feature. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that chat. It's basically a ROM. I didn't even think about that. It's not even actually reading the cartridge. That's a great point. Um. Okay, well that's a silly little gaming moment. Just for the purpose of showing though, I'll pop in Ruby back in. And now it should work. And this is so you can play on the big screen, baby. I'm just curious how it's gonna look. You can now turn your Game Boy off. Oh, um, I don't know how I would do that. Oh, oh, the quality is gonna be nice and crunchy. Do I have to, oh, I actually have to close it out. Well, great, this is fun.
Okay, I think I had to close out the console. First, before I start it. I'm gonna reese all my Pokemon. Please do not unplug the uh, while you're playing. Okay. Now what? Does it work? Yeah! All right! Ooh! That's what we're talking about! That's my game! Please save in Bridget's room. I have another wife? Oh my god. Hi, my name is Bridget, and you are? Okay, how do you do? Mr. Krabs, do you how do? Egg! Chat, we got an egg! We did it! Oh my god, that's so sick. That's it. Oh, I don't have a- I don't have a thing for Pokemon Box, I'm gonna put that back. Egg! Arrange boxes. And so what I can do, is I can go in. Oh, here's all my guys. Here's every single one of them. Oh, I'm just gonna grab them all. And just, there. I would know that the boxes are, are abnormally large. They hold 60. Which is kind of strange. But I just grab them and dump them in. This is the whole game. And we can look at some summary stuff too. Um, check. Menu. And they use like... <sighs> it's not a sprite, but it is. You know what I mean? Like it looks like it's... Like, they look just like bad sprites. That's my game. But yeah, it shows a whole bunch of stuff. Um, one interesting thing is it doesn't say where you caught the Pokemon. Now that I really look at it, it doesn't say anything about that. I guess they just don't care, because they assume you got it for Ruby and Sapphire. Um, going back to Bridget's room. What's going on, girl? We're gonna save. Yep. Do I have the Absol Blocks patch? I do not. I do not. Sorry to say, please turn on the power of your Game Boy. Oh! Matt made it so basically uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green don't need the 60 Pokemon caught. It's pretty much, you know, the whole thing. Nope. Oh yeah, I do. Sorry. Bye! Oh, I need my- We beat it, everyone! We beat Pokemon Box! It's been fun!
I'm not even gonna lie to you, I had no idea that was a thing. Get him back. Watch. Okay, you scared me. You actually scared me for a second. I thought, I thought it just was like, eh, whatever. <laughs> I was so scared. I just didn't want to say anything. I thought we were cooked. I thought I just lost all those guys. That would have been actually really funny. I'm not gonna lie to you, but um, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. chill. We're chill. Oh my God. Egg. Uh, let's just get these eggs, which by the way, there are a bunch of eggs, um, and you get different eggs based on how much you fill your Pokemon boxes, and I'll be honest with you, chat, they're very underwhelming, and they're not even cool. Sorry. Um, but yeah, rather than trade all those Pokemon, now I just have them in my game. Problem solved. Yeah, Zigzagoon is is neat because for the longest time you couldn't actually is that the only way you get it? Okay, but that might be the only cool one. That might be the only cool one. Now, are there any other games I haven't done? Sapphire. I didn't play Sapphire, chat. Kinda need to do that, don't I? It's not much, I'll be honest with you. And let me tell you, chat, we're also not, you know, like, playing Sapphire. We're using a completed save file that I have. I need to get a Surskit and a Volbeat. That's it. Surskit and a Volbeat. So let's do that. Isn't Surskit in XD? Yeah, it's through the, the Poké Spots, but I need to get Volbeat in this game anyways, because it's just easier, so. I'd be walking. So I need to go to, um, that can't be right. Hold on. Yeah, that can't be right at all. Are those swarms? Oh yeah, I forgot to clarify, Bridget is from Bank, yeah. It was from Box, but it was also she was also in Bank.
I'm just trying to see if I can repel trick. 117. Oh, my neck. Um, I had to go to route 117 anyways to get Volbeat. Uh, so... Maybe it doesn't matter. Route 120 is my last little, little check here. Nope. So I can try and get Surskit. What are your thoughts, chat? Do you want me to commit? It's a 1% encounter for Surskit. It'd be kind of hype. It'd be kind of hype to get it. Um, it'd be really, really awkward though if I got Ilumise because that's also 1% on this route. Hi. And listen, my luck's been kind of okay. Maybe I get it. Oh, I didn't make a I didn't make a background for Sapphire. I probably should do that. I just kind of forgot that I had to go here. Didn't do it. Okay, it's okay. Check this out. Check out this cool little trick. Did I say? Did I save it? Oh, I didn't save it. I thought I saved it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I made an oopsie. I'm not looking, but I'm just going back and forth. If I find a search kit, just, just get really excited. Okay, that's not a search kit. That's a Roselia. I'm not even looking. I'm just going to blindfold play. Wow, I'm gaming. I'm going to export this. No, Roselia, stop. Bad. Ooh. Ah! I don't like that, guys. Hey! Cut that out! I don't like that one bit. There we go. Now it's Sapphire, guys. Fix it. Sorry. Um, yeah, so it's just, it's just Volbeat and Surskit, and then we play XD, and I, in theory, should have every single Pokemon. Which is crazy. It's crazy to think about, but. Fred, thanks for the eight months of Tier 2. I do appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Pizza Hot Dog, this for the two months as well. The Shadow, thank you for the Prime. We're, well, here's the thing, chat, is we're not really almost there. We are, but aren't. Because <laughs> you have to consider that once I have this completed, that doesn't 
once I have like XD done and all the Pokemon brought over, that doesn't mean I'm really finished. Because I have to breed and evolve so many Pokemon. So many. There are going to be like uh, two days straight of just grinding and evolving Pokemon. Okay, there's Volbeat. Cool. So I can avoid having to do the 1% in Emerald. In turn, having to do a 1% in another game. Do I have balls? Ultra Balls. Wow, I'm loaded. Hello? Also, OG Ultra Ball. If you've never seen it before, it's in Ruby and Sapphire. It looks, it's like inverted in a way. But like not. Rare Balls. Also, it doesn't click in this game when you catch a Pokemon, which I find a little bit annoying. You're just kind of left on the edge. <laughs> didn't click in Gen 1 and 2 either. Yeah, but the ball changed color. So you at least knew. In this one, you have to wait for the music to be like, Oh, I got it, guys! I found it. Yeah, unfortunately, the only way I can get Surskit faster is if I have a daily swarm of Surskit. I can do the Pokespot, and, you know, that would be faster, but it's more hype to find a 1% Surskit. Because I don't know how to do the Pokespot. John, your first shiny frame on Emerald is nearly eight minutes in. Just for funny, how would I do that? I guess I would need like a whole counter and everything. Eon timer. I feel like I've seen that. What? Yeah. That'd be kind of funny. Is that bad? Is eight minutes bad? I guess it would be, right? I Ideally, the sooner the better, but I feel like... Chad, this is a game sucks. Like, actually, this game is makes me so mad. MAD! MAD! It was one or the other! Stop saying balls! That's it, guys. I'm going angry mode. My arrow is a shiny frame about 14 seconds in. Okay. Look at you. Back to back? That wasn't back to back chat. <laughs> That's not how that works. Sleepy eep eep. Thanks for the three months. Are you? You're so eepy right now. You're about to fall asleep. Go to bed. Night, everyone. It's crazy. I've been alive for eight and a half hours. That's like so long on Earth. Earth time. If I find another Ilumise, I will leave. And we will not worry about this. I'm going to open up Pokemon Box. And that's on gaming. But yeah, after we do we complete XD, we should have
We might be like 70. There's a lot of Pokemon in XT. No, we'll still be like 100 something off, 110 off. So all that's going to be bread or evolve. Which is a very, f it's arguably the largest list out of them all. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess, yeah, Mew will be the last one. Because it is an emerald. Yep, I think that's going to be the last one. Am I going to be mewing during the mew encounter? Yeah, by the time I get find it in the grass, I'll be like this. It's going to be really exciting. I'll be looking like a real Chad. All right, whatever. No, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Surskit is in XD for the day. That was the final straw. That's actually really crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. That's actually insane that that happened. That fast. That fast is crazy. Try surfing? Hey, how would you try this? Yeah, right there. How'd you try that? Look at me, Mr. Game, getting on getting all specific nowadays. Fine. Let's send over that beat. New egg, everyone. Okay, ignore all that stuff. Not important. Party. Full beat. And... Wait, where is egg? I kind of want that egg. Oh, is the egg just here? Cool. Oh, I, I keep not reading. I was waiting for it. To, I thought it was like after. You know what I mean? Then I connected to Emerald. Um, and I think this is the, the last of using Pokemon Box. So wait, everybody wait by the Pokemon Box. That's it. $2,000. Right then and there. Spent it all.
How many boxes are there again? 25? 25. It's basically 50 boxes. These are all my guys I've got over the years. And by over the years today. How much time did you save for the money? A few hours? What? Is this a legit copy of Pokemon Box? Chat, it is not. However, I have one on the way. I do. Yeah, it's on the way. The time you say by using this over trading? Oh, I say probably about two hours. Two plus hours. was Pokemon Box. And now, we can go and play Pokemon Emerald and see how many Pokemon I actually have, because 226 might not be accurate. I might have miscounted, or it's counting entries of Pokemon, like for example, it's actually going to be higher. If anything, it should be like 220, 228, because I don't have a Mudkip and a Marsh Tom, so it should be 228, 229. 230. As long as it's above, that's fine. Um, yeah, I do need to change the game overlay. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, if you look, we're looking pretty good so far. It's a little bit empty in some areas. A lot of Gen 2 is filled. A lot of Gen 3 is very much filled. Um, as you can see, and we end with Deoxys. Which, let's figure out the question. Do I now have a speed form? Which, I just by looking at that, I would like to think that the form is locked to the version that you're in? Yeah, it does change. Very interesting. So, yeah. I thought it was based on the game that you caught in. So you actually cannot have a form living dex unless it's in Pokemon Box. I did not know that. You could, in theory, have all of them. But, you know, I'm glad, because this is my favorite form. So, neat. Yeah, we got everything. And here's the cool thing is, um, if you didn't know, compared to Ruby, Sapphire, Fire Red, and Leaf Green, Emerald has different sprites, which is neat. So all of these, for the most part, are different. Like, Firo is looking a different way. Uh, Goldine is the exact same. That was a bad example. Mewtwo is the same. Zapdos? Zapdos did not look like that. Zapdos was like kind of... You know? Blastoise looks different. Venusaur looks different. Uh, Vaporeon looks the same. Parasect has the, has the arm up. You know? It's a whole bunch of different little ones, which is neat. Like, uh, Dratini, no, that looks the same. That one looks way better. What? The Persian? More like a front profile than a side. Look at Rattata. Oh, I know. Rattata's so bad. <laughs> what did they do to that little rat? Bad. Um, Yeah, like that one? Hello? Fire. And obviously, chow. I, I don't like that one. I don't like that one. That one's, that one's kind of gross. Mad Egg. That looks like a beta sprite. I'm not going to lie to you. Ew. What's, what's wrong with Route 1, dude? Anyways, yeah. We will look at all of these eventually. When we have the full decks. Because there's a lot that I don't even see. What's New can look like? Same. That's... I don't like that. That makes me feel some type of way. Um... Neat. Cool. Cool little gamers. Wait, have you ever seen that one? That one's so sick. Neo King is different? Is it? Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. To be fair, you can see a lot of these in, um, in the Battle Factory. Because Battle Factory has, like, every Pokemon. 
So even like this one is you can find that one. I kind of forget what the what the other two birds look like, but um, yeah. That, I mean, we've we've really done every game except for XD. So that's exciting. Pretty neat. Also, I now realize that the time is way off. We have not been playing this game for 50 hours. We played it for 35. Weird. Anyways. Um, so, chat, I think... Since we're gonna start with XD tomorrow, that's, uh, that's probably gonna do it, because I, I really don't think that there's anything else that I've done. Um... We've done basically every game. We're, we don't need to touch Ruby and Sapphire, or um, Fire Relief Green anymore. We don't need to touch Ruby and Sapphire. All these video games, throw them out. Find them in my local dumpster this evening. Um, yeah, I really don't think I'm missing anything. So the rest of this is just gonna be Pokemon XD. Which is cool. Uh, but yeah. I think that's, uh, that's probably going to do it for the day. Tomorrow we come back to some XD gaming. And... Yeah. I think that's going to do it. You buy those off of Timu. Yep. You caught me, guys. That is where I get my video games. Straight off of Timu. Who's live? Hey, Mocha. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll be live like like uh, 10 or 11 or something like that. Check those primes before you head out. Drop a follow if you're new to the stream. Thanks for another nine-hour banger in the books. Um, yeah, that's going to do it for me. Bye, everyone.